Welcome, Alavastians, to a city of wonder and prosper, where our heroes task the Cobalt Ranger, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Remy the Kenku Fighter, and Greckles the Kenku Rogue collect themselves and their Sweet Dragon Tavern employees to take a long-deserved break on the beach, a well-deserved vacation, before delving into the Underdark to seek out Panic's missing mother. A cart provided by Meryl's family, drawn by horses that once belonged to the Unexpectables, leads down a three-hour trail to a private beach cove owned by the Avon clergy. Lend to the party by Brook Bronzefang, the party arrives with allies in tow and greet the white sands and rolling waters of the oceans. So, this takes place before you guys left for the Underdark during your time to gather supplies and resources. It kind of came as a surprise but you guys gained access to the Avon Training Beach, a clear and open space used to train Avon paladins and clerics. But for you guys, a time to enjoy yourselves with the ocean view, rolling waves, and the bright sunlight. Ooh. So to give context here, the employees who joined you for this wondrous occasion which you have a lot of them, I came to realize. <laughs> <laughs> kind of grown over the years. We just, you gotta, you gotta make sure you have double the staff you need in case half of them get wiped up in a dragon attack. It's just a plenty practicality. Bonnie, mm -hmm. I think we just, uh, sometimes I just feel like we don't have enough. I know. Uh, Helga has been pulled away from her job. Meryl has brought her friend Cynthia. She asked for permission. Uh, so as long as you guys permit her to bring a friend, if she's allowed to, she wants to bring Cynthia with her. Sure. Yeah. Hasrad reluctantly has shown up. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With a duffel bag of snakes on his back. <laughs> but why? Because you never know. Why, why not? Never yeah, know. Bosco, you where have you been? <laughs> Ty Borpington has arrived as well. Yeah. With plenty of lunch, lunch and food items in tow. Willow has shown up with Doros, who is there kind of to make sure you guys don't destroy the beach. Uh, notably, Willow <laughs> is covered head to toe with inner tubes uh, <laughs> are they all miss are they all oh. mismatched <laughs> oh no yes yeah so, how many swimmies though how many swimmies are those like the water the wings things on the yeah the things on yeah, the, the water wrist. wings yeah she's got one on the wrist the forearms and all the way up on the shoulders she's got one at the Fuck. waist and like she's one like john on cena but with floaties <laughs> yeah oh no <laughs> Willow! Ba -ba -da -ba. Uh, Vel is there as well. She has brought a large, uh, rounded, flat piece of wood with her. Appears to be some sort of surfing in implement. Hmm. Uh, Naragan is there as well. Uh, Louis Strong is there for some reason. Uh, <laughs> they've been sitting on the back of the cart, just sighing randomly as hmm. you guys have been driving through the beautiful wilderness. Uh, Skinny has packed sunscreen plenty of sun hats, a volleyball, and it looks so ready to relax. Iggy is there for some reason, who has just been <laughs> rambling endlessly about various things in the back of the cart. Is he still in his overalls? Uh, no, he is wearing swim shorts. I, I, am, I, I am all about the idea that if someone mentions that there are sand, like the tiny little like sand crabs that dig into the sand when you scoop them up too fast, he's just like in this fucking like uh, conspiracy theorist mode, just saying like how they're gonna get into your like into an orifice or something. Just like no, they're coming. No, no, no. Uh, Arlo and Zotira are with you guys as well. Oof, fantastic. Nice. Tarisk is there. Yeah. Oh, well, of course, best boy is here. Scarbles is shaking for some reason, but she's there <laughs> also in the back seat. Kiwi oh. is wearing. Uh, we'll, we'll get through the, the swimsuits here in a moment, but Kiwi <laughs> is also there. <laughs> uh, from your guys' knowledge, Kiwi has been forcibly hired by Helga, so he would stop free freeloading uh, ever since your other server left. I believe her name was Alice. Yeah. Uh, he has replaced yeah. Alice <laughs> because Helga's tired of him being around without working. Uh, and last but certainly not least is Log, who is there, who is very excited to go wherever the hell you guys are going. Yeah. Oh, that God, that reminds me. Just I, I, I see freaking Log and Stacy from Cannon Busters. <laughs> I just can't help but see it. Are, are we going to be given a chance to describe what we look like? 
Yeah, at this point, the cart has driven onto the sands. Uh, Meryl has hitched the horses near the edge of the forest to, you know, just kind of chew on some grass uh, for the time being. Uh, everyone is in their their beach attire, if you guys want to describe what you would be wearing, your characters oh, would be wearing yeah. for beach attire. Huh. Who, wants Who wants to go, to go first? first? Oh! <laughs> one, of one of you two. One of you two. You know what, Zeta? We're all really curious about tasks, so you go first. Okay, so... <laughs> go... Alright, so out from behind the cart, uh... What, at first, from looking from a bird's eye view, it would just look like a very, very huge sun hat that is just wafting in the wind. But as it's lifted up, it's... The hat is about maybe twice the size of Tass, so its circumference is around him as a shade. Like, almost like a small umbrella. He is wearing black sunglasses, he is wearing uh, a red Hawaiian shirt with pi with yellow pineapples, mm. uh, flip flops with sandals, and a fanny pack that is attached to the base of his tail. In his arm, however, is slung a very uh, a very strange and very methodically packed and put together uh, lunch box. Not a lunch box, but, but you know, like those red ice boxes, the red and white ice yeah, boxes that yeah, everyone yeah, brings yeah. together. Mm. He is. He is holding that like it's a prize for some reason. No, and anytime anyone has asked him in the cart, he just looks to everyone and goes, it's my LCSB, and God help you if I have to open it. <laughs> Go, Birdman. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. All right. Nice, yeah. So, uh, Greckles flips out from the back of the cart, and on him, you see a bright white fundoshi, which is basically kind of like a man thong, Except it's <laughs> it's tied it's a it's 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 tied around the front and oh, around the butt the part artists. and around oh, the butt oh, part oh. around the butt part it's this flap that you kind of tuck underneath you tuck under the rope and pull forward and it's got the um it sounds the dragon so, logo this on sounds the front. so complicated oh my god <laughs> oh no it's very simple around his around his head is an equally white uh, hachimaki which is kind of like a towel kind of rolled up and tied up in under one arm. Uh, he has a perfectly round watermelon, and in that hand, a very long and suspicious stick. Um, and around his waist, okay, so so you know those <laughs> little you know those little floaties that also has like a duck head. Yeah, he's got one of those. Nice. <laughs> nice. All right, Borky. Borky disrobes. Revealing from his knees to the top of his neck a black and white striped 1920 swimming attire. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> and tiny little goggles on his head that he's ready to slide oh. down when shit gets intense. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, Panic. Well, Panic is wearing, uh, Panic is wearing nothing. his uh, absolutely hair. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> And he's wearing his hair in a tight ponytail. Um, he's got a, a little swipe of uh, some ye olde sunscreen across his nose. Uh, he has sunglasses somehow. Uh, he figured it out. <laughs> uh, he has a, uh, a Hawaiian shirt that will never be closed yep. for the entirety of this episode. Okay. Uh, that, is, that is yellow and de decorated in skulls. And he has... Uh, sort of yellowish orange uh tight swim trunks you know the kinds that are just just low enough that you can see his hip bones yeah 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 mm, delicious and and some uh and some yellow flip flops perfect oh i should also state something because i know people who have been asking this question no the hawaiian shirt the hat and the sandals and the fanny pack is there there are no pants no <laughs> there are no pants there never is. There never was. And and it's just open vest. It's never getting buttoned. It's just there. Have fun. Remy. Huh. Uh, okay. So in keeping with like the early 1800s, or because it's, it's ancient <laughs> times, so uh, he will be wearing, for what, in his taste, it's very casual, but to the average onlooker, will be very, very sophisticated looking rich robes, almost like he's ready to go to church. Mm -hmm. um, completely gold and purple with his house sigil on the front. Uh, you also notice that he has his sword at the ready on his side and absolutely no actual beach attire whatsoever. Okay. Your employees <laughs> are also attired. I'll quickly describe them for you. 
Helga is wearing a uh, sort of like a strong man kind of unitard style uh, swimsuit. Uh, Amazing. Yeah, it's just simple black. It's all she's wearing. Well, one of us is going to have to change. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she is wearing star-shaped sunglasses. Yeah. That sit on her face. Uh, her hair is done up in a very tight bun. Uh, Meryl and Cynthia are wearing one-piece swimsuits. Um, and they each have kind of like a sort of like light sort of um, linen jacket kind of to wear over top of it and sandals, of course. Hasrat is wearing nothing different. He is the exact same dress. He's never been to the beach before. So this is new. Uh, Ty Borbington is wearing, uh, I guess it'd be a thog, would it be? Yes, the, Speedo. Yeah, the Speedo. The Speedo. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And that's Ty it. Ty Borbington is shirtless. He's wearing a Speedo and he has nothing else. That's all oh! he is wearing. This is why, this is why Panic is, this man. is why, this is why Panic isn't wearing one, mm -hmm. because he didn't want to steal this amazing thunder. <laughs> no, 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 Monty, canonically, how ripped is he? Okay, you remember, you know that, how, 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 you know that, you know that lifting, you know that lifting anime with the flexing girl, with the girls working out? It's uh -huh. their, their trainer, but smaller. <laughs> uh, Willow is, is, uh, is wearing essentially kind of like a bikini style thing, but it's really hard to tell with all the inner tubes. Uh, she didn't, begin with the inner tubes uh doros is there and he's probably responsible for that uh doros is wearing swim trunks as well just very simple swim trunks um vel is also wearing a bikini and she is toned <laughs> like this woman lifts um you yeah. see every single one of her Ugh. goliath markings she's got a whole like abs the whole nine yards i'm just imagining panic uh, doing the oh, vince gifts Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, wow, Val Rockfist, wow. Uh, Naragan is shirtless. Uh, he is wearing swim shorts. And every time he turns in the sunlight, you swear he's sparkling every single time. He's a vampire. <laughs> every time he turns, his, his dread-like hair kind of waves in the ocean breeze. And you can almost hear the shampoo ad music playing. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, Louis Strog is sitting in the sand with each leg outstretched, currently watching sand run through his fingertips. He is completely wearing the same outfit he always does, his armor, his helmet, of course, <laughs> and just slowly leaning over and watching the sands filter through his fingertips. Uh, Skinny is wearing a sundress, a big, giant straw hat. Uh, she's also covered head to toe in sunscreen, uh, and she looks ready to relax as well. Uh, she struck me as a sarong kind of girl. She's definitely like like the the flowy sundress, polka dot, like yeah. blue polka dot, big Aww. sun hat. Yeah. Mm. Iggy is like I mentioned before is wearing swim trunks. He does still have his goggles though. Uh, he course. refuses to leave without those. Uh, Arlo and Zatira are also not dressed in any attire and seem very confused about what's going on. Uh, Tarisk has a hat. I, I just want him to have a hat. So no, of course, he's... of course. Why would you never? How tiny is the hat? It's pretty cute. It's pretty tiny. It's like a little mini sun hat. Oh, like, you know, you know, you know, like toddlers wear when they go on school trips and you see them in the rows. Oh like... my God. So it only fits on one arch of his eye. Yes. Good. <laughs> uh, Scarbles is wearing a bikini. She is wearing oh. a bikini. Ah! Uh, she's also got her hair tied back in kind of like a do-rag sort of style, kind of like flowing to the back. Uh, and Kiwi is also wearing, similar to Borky, the, the, the 1800s swimsuit. It is uh, horizontal stripes of green and like a, like a slightly paler green that go all the way up. And he's still wearing his little, little pirate uh, rag up top as well. Perfect. And Log is not in his vestments. Log is in his traveling attire. So, yep. We're getting it cash Log. Low. Uh, Meryl, uh, Ty Borpington, and Helga begin to unload the cart as you guys kind of begin to wander around the beach. How big is the beach? Please uh, tell us about this wonderful beach. If you were to walk from the one side of the beach all the way around to it, it's kind of crescent. It is a cove. Mm. Uh, it's a crescent style. If you were to walk all the way around, probably be like maybe like a good half an hour or so. It's fairly wow. big. Mm. Yeah, it's a big space. But a lot of it is kind of like untamed. Like, you know, there's a lot of like wood debris on one side. The actual like beach part maybe is, oh God, I have to use measurements. Um, how many meters? Like maybe a hundred meters plus or okay, so. Yeah. Um, 
but easily the beach continues on. But it, a lot of it is just like in terms of like the comfortable part, you guys are at the comfortable part. The training part's probably beyond, which you're not there for, so. Task will uh, pull on Borky's attire real quick. Borky, a moment. Ah, my ass. What is it, Task? Uh, hold your hand out so I can stand on it, and I want you to get. I want you to put me up to your eye level. It's, you're, supposed I, to, you're supposed to be in other people's shoes to see from their perspective, but okay. Borky picks I, up Task. I, I, I grab I grab Borky by both of his cheeks and make sure his eyes are square, dead looking into my sunglasses. Ah. Borky. Yeah. I want you to answer. I want you to pay attention to me very carefully. Okay, Task. What are you? What's going on? Where are we right now? <sighs> it's a difficult question, Task. I mean. We are at the beach, Borky. Oh, I was going to say on the precipice, but okay. Very good. Well, we are on both of those right now. Mm. Do you see this box, Borky, that I'm holding? What's in the box? Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is, Borky, because the box is literally called the LCSB. That is, in, that is code word for last case scenario box. I'm not going to tell you what's in here, but while we are on the beach, I am in beach mode. And God help you if I have to reach my hand into this box. Do not disturb beach mode task. Do we have an understanding here? Okay. Or else the box will be open. Borky, okay. I, understand. I jingle the box in his face. I understand task. But the thing is, it's like, I understand sometimes mission gigs could be a little bit exhausting. But, you know, Scarbos is here somewhere, I think. And she's like, worse. <laughs> she's like, here I turn over, she's already digging in the sand. Yeah, right there. Right there. Right there. Is God. that a no-no, or do I have to stop her? Nah, Doros just... Doros kind of turns to you, no, panic, and kind go. of just shrugs, like, mm. <laughs> But okay, well, Let so... her do what she wants. All right, so what you're saying, Task, is I need to find out what's in the box. Okay. Before he puts down that. <laughs> that was the best, Monica. Just, just leave me alone. Just go uh, away. Helga, Helga, at this point, and Skinny are setting up folding chairs, like big, kind of reclining, like um, like half bed. What are they called? I don't go to beaches, man. I live in Canada. Just, Parasols. Just chairs. Yeah, they're like beach chairs, and like immediately Helga is like on one of the beach chairs, and Skinny is like on the other side, and they're just like immediately getting comfortable where they are. All right, Mr. Borpy, do you need any help unloading? Oh yeah, that'd be great. Oh my God, Mr. Borpington, you look positive. You are positively cut right now. Thank you. I go swimming every morning, Borky. It's very important. The proper exercise uses every muscle in your body. Plus, I have aerodynamic capabilities. <laughs> it's because no, of the fish. Actually, it's because of the fish head, right? It is. Where? Actually, <laughs> actually Ty, I've been meaning to ask you. Can you breathe water in that state? No, I can't. Oh, that's unfortunate. I, I tried. It was not a good time. I would never I'm, recommend it. Yeah, it's a curse. You know, it's the worst of both worlds. Part man, <laughs> part fish. The worst part of both. Oh, it's like God. what happened to you and Remy. You know, whatever curse hit you. Freckles just looks over to Remy and just not sure whether to be offended or confused. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't mind grabbing my charcoal grill and just load it over to where the campsite whoa, is. Whoa, 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 Mr. Mr. Borpington, I want to taste the meat, not the heat. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> panic, panic will go, <laughs> <laughs> Panic falls into frame going, ah! Pointing. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Okay. Hold the box close to his chest. All right, here we go. Thank you. And then this is mine. And you watch as Ty Burpington goes in. He grabs a fishing rod. And at the end of the fishing rod is this almost like this, uh, like this tiny little, like maybe like cell phone size cage. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of like little ties of rope around each one of these sort of little holes. It looks like basically a whole like nest of these big loops on this this big kind of cage like box at the end of this fishing rod. Ty, what's this all about? Oh, it's it's for catching crab. Oh. You see that you, they we I line this cage with bait and then when they go near the fishing rod, I pull it up and then I catch some crabs. Hmm. Uh. Now, we knew a crab once. 
Yeah, speaking of, hmm, I wonder if we're going to see him here. I don't know. I, I, I have a nagging feeling he may or may not be magical. Oh, come on, guys. What are the odds of Krabius the Mighty showing up here, of all places, when the last time we saw him was, you know... Look, Krabius, look, get, don't get, doubt get. Krabius. He gets around. It's true. He's overpowered. <laughs> uh, I miss Zenrio. I'm going to spend time with my son. I'm he's still he's still time. missing, right? Uh, <laughs> Tarisk is eating sand. <laughs> of course he is. Of course he is. Mm, well, who I, doesn't want to... I bap, I bap him on the back of the head. No. <laughs> I like to imagine when you said that he's just like he's eating sand and nobody coughs it up and it comes out as glass. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. It's definitely got saliva mixed in, so it comes out in like little lumps, but No. We'll find we'll find you something in the ocean to bite on. You watch this uh Taurus looks over. And uh, Meryl and Cynthia immediately are just, like, chasing each other into the water and, like, just splashing each other. <laughs> and you see Willow, like, hobbling back and forth, just like, me too! And then she falls over straight on her face. <laughs> <laughs> the wave washes over her and, like, takes her with it. <laughs> this is where the animation just cuts to stills. Ah! She's just dragged under the, under the, uh, under the shoals. You know, she comes and grabs her, and this off-camera, you see Charles just <laughs> running. <laughs> No, Doros, you're made of rock! Ah, oh, poor son of a bitch is dead. That's not I'll fair. Let I'll let Taurus go in the water, go ahead. Yeah, he goes and he frolics and like, almost like a really excited dog at the beach, like between Meryl and Cynthia, who are just like splashing each other, he just like kind of jumps at them and then they splash him and he just like, he does that thing where dogs get ex excited by splashes and he just tries to bite the splashes that he makes and thus makes more splashes, which continues the vicious cycle. Ah, uh, awesome. Borky, uh, until he's going at light speed. <laughs> you see, Borky just blows up. Bork, can Borky have a whistle for the purposes of this next thing that's about to happen? Uh, sure. Borky blows a whistle. All right, man down in the water. Borky starts running like the lifeguard. <laughs> and Borky does dives. Does appear in his hand? And Borky just does the oh. same dive as Doros into the water. <laughs> okay. You dive into the water. By the time you surface in the water, the water's warm. It's actually very, very warm. Uh, your last experience with the water was not pleasant, as you almost died. Uh, but the water at this beach is quite warm. It's kind of like this little pocket of water, so it's warmed by the sun. Uh, as you surface, a <gasps> gas for air, Borky. You turn, and, and Doros is already dragging Willow by her middle inner tube back to the shore. She's just kind of like, but I want to <laughs> swim. And he's like, mm -hmm, Borky just dragging her away. Borky just keeps blowing a whistle and not helping the situation whatsoever. <laughs> you blow the whistle and it goes under the water. It's like, <laughs> I'm going to find a uh, nice rock to sunbathe on. Yeah, easy enough. There's there's plenty of flat rocks. There's like this, actually, there's almost like this cliff face that's almost like pride rock that kind of sticks out near the side of one of the uh, one of the corners of it. Uh, Ty Borpington is fishing there, but it's so easy enough for you to just find another rock near him where you can uh, just excellent. lie down. I, I, I will perch Little Mermaid style at first, like a fucking, like a bearded dragon getting the first heat lamp, and then lay on my back and just close my eyes and put the shades over my eyes. Nice. Uh, at this point, Greckles is going to uh, put down the stick and waterman, hoist up his uh, duck floaty, and just beeline into the water. And as soon as he's uh, a good waist deep in and sitting there floating you know you know that one scene where patrick is is riding that seahorse in spongebob's dream just like blissfully <laughs> he's just sitting just sitting there like half eyes closed just kind of bobbing up and down up and down up and down yeah easy enough you you get right to the water uh and you just it's very nice there's a gentle wave that kind of brings you in but the moment you get out a little bit farther you're fine uh, it's very clear, too. You can see right through the water to the bottom. There's quite a few rounded rocks in the bottom of the water. You do see some fish, um, some other little critters, some eels. You see um, some crabs, some lobsters, urchins, but they're kind of tucked within the rocks a ways off. Right. Um, <laughs> at this point, uh, <laughs> at this point, uh, Hofstrad walks up to you, uh, uh, panic. Hey. Uh, hi. What the fuck do I do? 
<laughs> Man, I've been asking myself just, that for years there, Hasrod. And it, I, and it just sort of looks at him incredulously. It's like, you've never been to a beach before? The hell is a beach? It's this, and he motions to around him. Yeah, I see sand you know, and water. You know, do you like water? No. Do you like bathing in the sun? I guess, yeah. You could do that. I could bury you in sand. We could, wait, uh... Wait, 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 hold up, rewind a second there. You can bury me in the sand? Yeah. He grabs you by, like, the cuff of your Hawaiian shirt. Bury me! <laughs> <laughs> hold it's on time a second. to play what? the game! What? Well played, Kurt. Thank you. Yeah, you know what? You know what? I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not going to ask. I'm just going to help bury you in the sand now. <laughs> Good. He just lies down on his back. <laughs> just the keep holding the guy. All right. I'll I'll uh I'll I'll cast mage hand and I'll just uh begin shoveling him. I'll look I'll look for. Is there like an actual tools I could use to like like a shovel or something? Yeah, there's like shovels and buckets that have been brought along with the other the other gear. All right. I'll uh, I'll utilize my mage hands to speed up this process, and uh, we will we'll start burying Hasra. Okay, Scarbles <laughs> comes over and starts helping as well. Uh, and like log comes and up behind her. And log comes out and starts burying his face, just just trying to help. <laughs> now wait, let's. Uh... He has to tell the sand about. Stop Oriana. that! Stop that! I'm helping. Stop it! <laughs> He needs the mouth part. He needs the mouth part up. It'll be like a nice, warm sand bed. Oh, oops. God damn it. I'll, just, I'll press the digitation his face clean, and I'll, I'll just make sure he's nice and packed in there. I'll give him, I'll give him like the, I'll do the mermaid treatment where I'll make like sand boobs <laughs> and a tail for him. Roll Perfect. for this. It's an artistic thing. Just roll a straight charisma check as you, you make a beautiful straight. mermaid out of him. Straight charisma Straight check. Straight charisma check. Here I go. Ten. Ten. It's it's. You, you spend a lot of time on the boobs, and the rest of it kind of falls, <laughs> but the boobs look really good. Nice. <laughs> no, no. Man, I, that is the most you know, panic thing ever. I've, I, you know, I've never really worked with the tails all that much before, but I gotta say, I made a pretty nice rack there. A rack of what? Uh, a rack. Of ribs, which we will hopefully be having uh, when food is ready. Oh, that sounds good. And as he kind of like <laughs> shuffles down, you watch as out of every single little hole in the sand, like thousands of snakes just emerge <laughs> and they just disappear into the woods. Wow, I'm going to be seeing that every time I close my eyes for the next week. Every time I look around, your boobs are in my face. Da, 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 da. Pouring snakes. <laughs> I'm <All> sorry. Right. <laughs> uh, Nargan is also swimming now. Uh, Lewis Drug is still sitting sad. Like, he's on his side now, watching the waves. Oh. Like, he's on his side. <laughs> like, his arms are tucked into his chest, and he's just, like, watching the waves come in and out, and just is on his side, not doing anything. Um... Naragan is swimming now. Helga and Skinny are like have the unfolded like metal sheets to kind of bring up the rays in their face. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, and Iggy has disappeared. Concernedly, Iggy's just gone. I mean, of course. Are there trees anywhere? There are. Yeah, there's like a a tree line that is kind of like a uh, like a pine forest. Is he? Is, since he is a, a what a chameleon, is he in the trees? Can look for him. Sure, I'll roll a perception check for that. All right, roll a perception check. I'll just lift. I'll lift my shades up just to see if this stupid shit is actually happening. And character sheet. And no, I'm not in combat. Stop that. Here I go. Perception. Twenty-three. 23. Wow. And Ooh. twenty-one. It's technically with disadvantage. Uh, <laughs> you see in the woods. Uh, there's like a little bit of like a little fire smoke. Uh, and you begin to see trees felling. You get to realize that he's making a workshop, probably. <laughs> he's setting up a forge in the fucking woods? <laughs> yeah. It's idea of relaxing, you guess. 
I mean, I, I guess we relax in all different ways. Just, jeez. Love what you do. Never work a day in your life. On fire. <laughs> uh, we, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say, as long as we have time to dick around, uh, Greckles once once satiated with his floaty, uh, would like to go put that back with the rest of everyone's stuff and actually go diving to see if we can find some shells, uh, oysters, maybe some buried treasure. Who knows? This is the beach. It's an adventure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For sure. Kiwi is already there. As you kind of go to, like, more of the tide pool area, mm -hmm. uh, Kiwi is already, like, kind of Slavic squatting above tide pools and appears to be fighting with an octopus. Oh, jeez, Kiwi, what are you doing? He won't take... Give it back! Give it back! What? Oi! What? Freckles, what? how you doing, mate? Uh, I'm doing fine, Kiwi. What the heck's going on? He watches he get slapped in the face by the octopus. Oh, you bastard! Then just reaches into the tide pool. What? I found this really nice shell. It's really nice. But this squid man won't let me have it. <laughs> All right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do for you, buddy. I'll just go over and try to retrieve his shell. All right, roll an animal handling check. Mm. Is it is it, like, deep underwater, or is it just kind of... No, it, it's like you can see the two eyeballs. It's camouflaged really, really uh... well, but you do see it's kind of curled up is this, like, kind of like the scallop-looking shell. Okay, but let's it's, see. It's very beautiful. Uh, uh, 19. 19. You just literally just reach in and grab it, and the octopus lets go, and Kiwi's just like, I, what the? Uh, I don't know. I guess it's an art. Here you go, buddy. Oh, let, thanks. Let me investigate it before, like, while I'm passing it off to him really quick. For sure, yeah. Uh, is that investigation? Uh, yeah, I'd say investigation, if you're just trying to look at it and see what it is. Yeah. Uh, 17. Okay, you take the you take it. It is closed. You take it. You shake it. You hear inside of it. Uh -huh. Oh, it sounds like there's something in there. You want to cook it up for later? <gasps> Greckles. Okay. Yeah. Greckles. Yeah. Maybe it's maybe it's a pearl. Uh, maybe there is a chance that that could be the case. Uh, I wouldn't want to open this though until it's ready to cook. Oh, I guess that's true. What what else you got in here? Like, you find some other stuff? I mean. Oh yeah. He pulls up a, uh, a bucket and he goes, I found some spiky boys. He pulls up some urchins. Oh, those, are actually, those are actually delicious. I found a long boy and he slaps down an eel and it kind of flips around on the ground and then goes into the oh. typo. He goes, it flips around and it goes, darts right into the typo. He goes, and I, oh, damn. Oh, Ty, that was an eel. Those are, oh, can I, can I, can I reactively try to grab it? Because uh, sure, that shit's the, yeah. With disadvantage because it's uh, very slippery. Would that be a dex roll? Or? I just say a dex. Actually, that would be a grapple check, so athletics, because you're trying to grab it. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, I'm not good at that. 19? No. Oh my god. You no, grab it and it, it slips out of your grasp, and ah. you just, like, get like a handful of sand and mucus, and it just into the ground. Oh, yeah, the buggers are all up in the rocks. Are they? Well, let's go see if we can get some more. These things are delicious. Oi, let's do it! He just jumps into the uh, into the tide pool and like just tunnels his face into the water. All right. Uh, roll a survival check. Let's see here. Uh, ten. Ten. Uh, easy enough. You find a whole bunch of urchins, which are very easy to catch because they don't move. Mm -hmm. um, you find three very solid big size urchins. Um, you do also find like a little tiny crab, which you let go because it's. Not, too small. not good to keep. Yeah. Um, and you, I'm gonna actually have to roll for Kiwi. Or not, ki yeah, Kiwi. Shit, forgot his name. Even though I knew it. How could you? I know. You called Damn. him Ty, though. To be fair. Ah, shit. You're right. No, I said Ty. Ty had uh, a. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. A grill. Uh, Kiwi rolled a 15, so he does get another eel. Ooh. Look what I got! And it's just like waving around in his hand. Oh, good catch there, Kiwi. Oh, I can't wait to fry this thing. Oh, man, if we got some good soy sauce and teriyaki. Oh, Greco's just salivating like crazy. Remy, what are you doing while this is going on? Um, Are there Pell dummies on this training thing? Uh, You could see where they probably were put up. Are they, they took them all down? Yeah, they're not there anymore. Oh, all right. Well, then he's going to go where they used to be, and he's going to start. Uh, number one, he wants to make sure that nobody's watching them. Number two... He's going to start doing drills that he hasn't done in forever because he hasn't okay. had the time to practice. Roll uh, a stealth check. Oh, oh, Can I roll oh. against that? 
You want to notice get... him doing it? I want to notice him. Me too. Uh, okay. So roll a stealth check then. Great, it's a four nat with a nat one. one. Is that a nat one? <laughs> no, I'm not a nat one. Wait, no, I'm it isn't. Four. Wait. You're four. I'm yeah. a four. Yeah, that's you. You're okay. So boy. I somehow didn't get caught by that. As you begin to swing your sword and trade, Borky, you're in the water. You can't see him. From Damn the water. it! <laughs> yeah. Thank no, you, nat you one. You don't get a check, unfortunately. Uh, you do get noticed by someone. Okay. Oh. What you doing? <laughs> uh, training? What are you doing? i be perfectly honest with you, sir. I don't know. Right. I assume you've never been to the beach before. <laughs> There's so many tiny rocks here. They're really tiny. Ah, oh, <laughs> um, do you, li you like constructing things, correct? I am a thing you said that was. That yes. thing, that's me. Correct. Well, no, 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 no. I don't mean you are a construct. I mean, you like to construct things in general. You like to build. Maybe? Yes. All right, <laughs> awesome. We're going to go with that. So here <gasps> is what people like to do at the beach. They like to construct these things called sand castles. They're literal castles made out of sand. You should construct one. <gasps> Teach me. I, uh, no, I, I am no, I am not good at the constructing of the castles. But um, wait, um, th there was a, there was a creator person that I heard that the, the boys hired. Uh, he builds things and creates things. If he's here, he could totally help you. I'm sure. I like you. <laughs> I you talk a lot, which is great. Is it? Is it really? <laughs> Strokes your face. I like you. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna. A couple of moves. <laughs> One second. I'm just gonna be, I'll be right back and like log just runs. Why are you? Oh dear. Also, can, can, I don't see anybody watching us on the beach, right? No. From At the, this like... point, no one else sees you. Everyone else is either relaxing or distracted. Okay. At this point, Borky, from where you are, uh, Doros is kind of like standing, maybe like the water up to like his ankles. Uh, and Marilyn and Cynthia are kind of running over and like pulling at him and like talking to him. And you watch as Doros like grabs Cynthia and just throws her into the water. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> and then like Meryl's like, me next, me next. And he just oh, grabs her and just oh, throws oh, no. her into the water. Oh, you can't let her throw. Oh, no, 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 no. My good sir, Doros, if we are going to showcase strength, how far we can throw someone. I require a willing volunteer. He announces uh, to the to the uh, peach. Sure, I'll need something to, to distract me from the Yeah, just things. grabs panic without even thinking, just yeets him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Borky, roll a straight athletics check as you throw panic into the water. Grab by the Pick me up by the ankle and fucking- 14. <laughs> 14. <laughs> 14. <laughs> You throw panic like a frisbee, so you grab one leg and one arm, and you just fling him, and his arms outspread, he just crashes into the water on his stomach. That's a... Ah! See, now, Doros, that, that's a chuck. Mm. Doros, Doros turns over, uh, and he grabs Naragan. Oh. <laughs> oh. And like a spear, he just throws him. I'm gonna roll an athletics check for Doros. Uh, not bad. That's plus. Yeah, that's gonna be a 22. Uh, he perfectly like spear javelin throws oh. Naragan, who like flies like a torpedo, and like he hits the water, and there's no sound. It's like the perfect torpedo oh. dive. Borky, Bor <laughs> Borky, go golf claps. Does anyone enjoy Borky and golf clapping, Matt? Ooh, like Meryl, Cynthia, and Willow all join in the golf clapping. It's really hey, good. Hey, Bob, <laughs> I, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I sent you something real quick on uh, Discord. Is it possible I could do that? Because I'd like to do that for my next thing. Yeah, absolutely. We can do that here in a bit. Panic! Okay. Uh, <laughs> Panic! You look like crap. What happened? <laughs> I wasn't ready for you to grab me by the leg and the arm. It sort of spun out of control. The yeah, whole grabs him, him again. grabs him again and throws him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Roll another. Borky, but well, Borky's Borky. shot put this. He grabs him and starts spinning him a little bit. 
<laughs> we can make him skip across the surface. <laughs> It's fun. I mean, if you can make him skip more than three times, that's impressive. It is. It is true, and that is. Tess. He just deleted us. You throw him, and like unlike the first time where it was like a frisbee throw, uh, panic kind of topples into himself. So his head facing down hits the water, but his back collides. So he slides on his back and crashes into the water. Oh. And, like, oh. and like slowly sinks. Bad landing, panic. <laughs> Bad like wait, I'm the lifeguard. But Porky blows his own whistle on him. I'm coming, panic! Porky runs after panic drowning. Uh Doros grabs someone and throws them. Ah! Uh, oh shit. A violent throwing going on here. Oh no. What? Uh he rolled a two. Oh. Did he pick up his knuckles? He grabs Willow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thinking it's it's Narogan oh, again, no. and overhand throws her. Oh! She gets about twelve feet of air, and flies about probably a decent like thirty feet before <laughs> colliding with the water. The problem is she's covered in like the inner tubes, so she bounces and flips <laughs> over face down into the water. Oh, good. <laughs> Bo oh, and Doris and, and Doris is like, oh shit, and like immediately like just <laughs> full on dives into the water as her legs are like kicking on the surface of the water. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Dude, Doros is gonna murder someone. Log himself. comes up to you, Gorky. Log comes up to you. Throw me! Throw me! Oh uh, god. Uh Alright. Borky finally has dragged Panic out by the leg. Okay! Borky just kinda oh. lightly underhand tosses. He What's... Panic's covered in seaweed, and he's like, he fucking gets up with like his arms stretched and just penguin waddles over to his chair. <laughs> ow. Ow. All right. Ow. All Alrighty, Log. Roll an athletics check for Log. Log, hold on. Now. Okay. Have you ever heard of something called the Fast Ball Special? No. Neither have I. Porky throws him. <laughs> All right. Roll, roll an athletics check. What is... What is that? 24! Oh, God. Oh, God. You take um, log. Here's the pitch. You take log. You kind of swing your arm around like Donkey Kong when he's preparing for his super punch in Smash Brothers, like when he swings his arm around. And you full on baseball pitch log. And you see him fly through the air. And then he hits the water. And then there's silence. And then they sinks. Just, just, it's just quiet. And Borky's got a smile. Oh my god, Log, I've killed you! Borky runs back out to the water again. When did Borky become Justin Verlander? Get the heck out of here. Panic prestigitations a whistle and goes... I'm coming, Log! I'm coming, Log! Roll a perception check to see if you can find him. 15. Okay, you can't find him. Oh no! Just, he's just gonna come out covered in fucking barnacles. Oh no! Who needs oh no! He's enemies on the beach when you have the PCs. Borky just looks like right. Oh god, his tub's out over again. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Crisis of fate. Borky just holds his breath and dumb goes under. All right, roll an athletics check because you're swimming underwater now. Uh, now the uh the speaking of Donkey Kong, the Donkey Kong underwater music starts playing. Okay. He was supposed to make a sandcastle and now he's dying. Twelve. What happened? Twelve. All right. You swim down. You look around some of the rock recesses. Um, it's really hard because Log himself wears a lot of white and blue, and the water is white and blue, which is just the worst combination. Um, you still do not find him. Oh. Okay, Borky tries oh, yelling. No. Oh, no. Borky tries yelling the name Log Underwater. See if that helps. All right, you, you go ahead and. Log! You do not see him. Doesn't <laughs> seem to be any response. Bor the fish kind of dart away from you. Borky just swims up to the top. Everyone! Log's dead! He's dead! <laughs> what? I lost him! <laughs> Task is hugging panic, the box. Pa panic as you're as you're sitting there, like just at the at the chair. Skinny kind of turns over to Helga. Goes, uh, Helga, I think there might be a problem. And Helga goes, shh, vacation, Helga. 
<laughs> nah. All right. Porky goes. Uh, Porky just so goes back under again. Like, so wait, log is like magical, right? Like like a like constructs give off faint magical scents. Oh yeah, they they give off a little bit of an aura. Sure. Porky shrugs. Panic sighs. He leans. He leans up. His back is all red, and he starts doing the ritual for detect magic. Okay. Uh, you detect a little bit of a blip coming around where Ty Warpington is fishing. And you see that he's kind of struggling with something. Taz, you're kind of relaxing. You kind of hear Ty Warpington go, oh, oh. And you see now as Ty Warpington lifts up the fishing rod, Log is attached to it. <laughs> Log lives! Stop, stop! Yeah. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> I found him. <laughs> did I win? You did amazing. I can't eat this. Ty Burbington detaches well, him. Just throw, it back, <laughs> throw it back. Throw it back oh, in. Okay. He just grabs Log and just yeets him over the side. <laughs> what the? Ah! Uh, you're not there, Remy. I no. Uh, me above game is ah. Uh, nice, as a fan him. of the show. Ah! Uh, can I? Can I just grab Ty's wrist before he does that? What? I was told to throw him back in. No, he came with us. This is Log. All right. Huh? He just puts him on the ground. <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Whoever that is. Oh, it's, it's, oh, so with Panic with his back uh, to me. Log, uh, you were supposed to make sandcastles. Why are you being yeeted into the water over and over again? I'd like to roll a sleight of hand to reach into the box. For sure. Wait, we're going to the box already? Yep. We're not even an hour. Oh boy. Stop What's playing. in the box? Talk. talk. All right. Uh, so it is stick in a box. Grabbing the hilt of the item inside the box, Task thumbs his finger to put something within the item that's hidden in the box, and with a quick shot, what do I roll for it? Uh, to to hit panic with it. Just oh no! Roll, Are you kidding? Roll, roll to hit. Just a dexterity check, probably. I'm sorry. What? This is the goddamn Patrick Seeker box all over again. Uh, Panic, uh, you are being pelted in the back of the head with a water balloon. I'm gonna roll a sli- I'm gonna roll a sleight of hand to hide the item in question. <laughs> what is Panic- How- How- How cold is this water, Zito? It's ice! Oh! Well, <laughs> Panic- Wait, is it ice or ice with water or like cold mix, is ice or- No, it's mix, a water balloon. Filled with ice. Filled with cold water. You hit oh, okay. panic in the back of the head with a cold rock. <laughs> the it's mix not of a cold shock. Rock, a cold water ice balloon, man. <laughs> I would just... The mix of shock Did... and the temperature. Wait. Panic immediately stiffens up and goes. Ah! I'm coming, panic! From the chandelier. <laughs> Task returns to his bathing pose, not moving an inch. Wait, ah. Zito, Zito, did, did he say ghoul? <laughs> yes. Good. Of course he did. It's brilliant. I love you, Zito. That was marvelous. I asked Bonnie if I could hide a hand crossbow with ice water balloon. I I, I, Zito, everything about you right now, I love. Don't ever change. Task returns to his pose, not and put it closing the box. Oh, that's so door. badass. He's got, bang, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Something personal, kid. Taris is currently sitting next to you, Taz, like sleeping with like the big like nose bubble, just relaxing. Uh, I, I Remy pet is him on the head. <laughs> uh, Remy is you're kind of practicing. Two people mm -hmm. approach you. Uh, Zotira and Arlo approach you. Oh, great! All right, well, one of those people I'm happy to see. Cool. Uh, uh, Zotira kind of steps up. Arlo's just got his arms crossed and just kind of looking out, like kind of rolling his eyes at everything that's going on, all the screaming and laughing. He just kind of doesn't seem too interested in it. Um, uh, Herr Remy, I, I am sorry that I do not understand what this is. Is that uh, good to me here? Oh, the, you mean the beach? I, typically, people come here to relax. They'll either bathe in the sun or go for a dip in the water or they'll apparently drown their friends. It, it varies from person to person. Oh. So, what should we be doing? Um, what do you typically do in your free time? 
usually fly. So? Well, I don't know if you can do that over the water. I was going to suggest it, but that might be a bad idea. Someone might see you. I'm just kind of looking to see if there's any inappropriate action. Not of the party, like to see if somebody's like trying to spy on them. Uh, yeah, roll a perception check. Okay, cool. I was about to say, inappropriate actions, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Oh, boy. We're getting close. <laughs> All right, uh, that's going to be a 22. Okay. Uh, the only person who catches your eye is Doros, because okay. he's kind of the one making sure you guys, like, don't completely destroy the beach, but he, it's Doros. He's very easy to, like, kind of, like, mm. just do whatever as long as you don't do anything, like, super illegal. Um, so Tira kind of, like, fidgets her fingers together and goes, well, in truth, we're not supposed to take off our polymorph necklaces in the city. Uh, that, no, I see what you'll suggest. No, no, I would highly recommend against that. There is, you would draw a lot of attention. Um, and the last thing I want to do is stress out Doros and he, he yes. She's giving I, you big puppy dog eyes. No, look, uh, with all due respect, that does not work on me. I'm not a child. Give in, you motherfucker. <laughs> you, look, why don't you, why don't you go swimming? Swimming is fun, yes? Dragons <sighs> love to that... swim? You... Um, but what's, what's you take me for a bronze dragon? I do I don't know the colors, I'm sorry. We are metallic, not colored. I can't believe you, Remy. She kind Racist. of turns her head away. Oh. I don't, well, I don't, oh. Oh. Can I shoot Remy? <laughs> He's far away. You can't Damn probably it. hit him from here. <laughs> Arlo, Arlo kind of turns to you, Remy, goes, it's here I thought that you were the fun type. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Remy, the fun one. <laughs> I'm sorry, Arlo. Do you, do you have a demeanor other than cross-armed pouty kid? <laughs> do you have a demeanor that's not stick up the arse? Oh, yes, I have many. I just haven't seen any of yours. Why don't you go then follow your sister? And All then right, he's gonna go back man. to fighting. Oh, <laughs> All right. motherfucker! This is happening. Panics, like, panics off in the distance, just staring at this whole scene. I hear something about up the ass. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, hold on! What's going roll on? A roll a perception check, Remy. Me? All right. Yeah. This is uh, a is hearing, hearing is one, it? no advantage. It's so. a hearing one. Got it. That's gonna be a twenty-four either way. Ooh. All right. Damn. It's a good number. Oh, they're proficient. Interesting. So you roll a 20. Okay, so it's a match. Okay. So for what the does sake that mean? of fun, you hear a. And then immediately the ground begins to lift off and you are being pulled upwards into the air. Yeah, the... <laughs> By what? Big, large dragon, silver dragon talons. Uh. Did I see Arlo do anything? They walked away, and then you heard a t -t 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 and then wings. Okay, then all I know is I'm grabbing my sword and I'm trying to hit this thing. Because okay. a dragon just grabbed me. And Roll I'm not okay hit. with dragons. Uh, what am I rolling? <laughs> uh, roll to hit if you're using your weapon with disadvantage because oh. you are technically being grappled oh, in this, this instance. Is gonna stink. That's going to be a 14 to hit. 14 will miss. You go Ugh. to swing and you like scrape across the nails and immediately you're being risen like 20 feet, 40 feet, 60 feet into the air. And then they begin to spin rapidly, almost like a barrel <laughs> roll in the sky. What is happening? You spin and you spin and you spin and you're used to flying with your griffin, but this is very high velocity and very uh, intense. Yeah, not okay. All of a sudden, they begin to free fall, and you just begin to fall down and down and down and down. And then suddenly, it goes into a nosedive, but then swings right back up. Your feet touch the water, and it sprays across the rest of the ocean as you're brought up higher and higher and higher. And you hear a voice go, Dog cache. And this lets you go above the water, and you fall. I need to roll an acrobatics check for me. Oh, Jesus, Mary. Did I, did I recognize the voice? Oh, yeah, it's Arlo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a 16 thanks 16. goodness 16 uh you you kind of like you're like flipping around in the air and you just kind of go and like tuck your arms in you kind of nosedive you push into the water immediately bubbles are up next to you you look around and you look to a little tiny fish and you like 
puffs up and like scoots away a puffer fish that gets startled by your presence. You grab your sword and sling it to your side and you swim up to the surface, <gasps> gasping above. For the rest of you on the shore, you just saw a silver dragon fly out of the woods, flip its shit, and drop Remy into the ocean. <laughs> Panic, Panic starts clapping, goes, hey, and he, he presses digitation to the sound of applause. <laughs> oh, 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 Remy is getting back on the shore. Skinny, <laughs> skinny, skinny, like, turns over to Helga, goes, uh, Helga, it looks like the dragons are, shh, vacation, Helga. Is, uh... uh you're, like, about, like, 30 feet out from the shore, by the way, Remy. He's just going to start swimming and let me know when I get there. Is, is Roll an athletics check. Oh, God. Uh, this is going to be bad. Uh, You're saying task, sorry? Is Zatira n near me? Uh, she's now making her way towards, like, the main part of the beach, so you can see her, but she's about 20 feet off from where I, you I are. I motioned for her to come over to me. Uh, you see in her hand she's got uh, Arlo's pendant, and she kind of runs over... Ah, a hair task. Hello. Uh, so I point over towards uh, Remy as he's coming over towards the water. You see that? I did, yes. Um. I hand her my short bow. Ah. Uh, Wait till he gets out. Of course. Uh, do you mind taking this for now? Sure thing. I hold on to what she's doing. Uh, what she hands to me. Uh, she hands Arlo's pendant. Okay, I, I kind of, like, return back to my lounging position with the pendant behind my head. Uh, Remy, as you're kind of swimming into the shore, mm -hmm. uh, Arlo 19, is, like... 19, by the way. 19, yeah, you're, yes. you're, you're doing, like, a full, like, breaststroke, like, perfectly. Um, Arlo is, like, like buffeting his wings above you, just kind of looking down and watching you swim, like, hovering above you like a helicopter, in a way. <laughs> Great. Uh, Remy's not even gonna bother. It's a dragon. He's just gonna keep swimming to the shore. Eventually, you get. <laughs> eventually, you get near the shore, and like Meryl is like sitting in an inner tube, and she kind of turns. She goes, "That was really impressive." <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, Remy is going to march up the shore and go back to vaguely where he was, and. Plop a squad unless he gets hit with something on the yeah. way. Uh, so Terry's gonna roll a crossbow shot, which is gonna Great. be very weird because I have to use dragon stats to calculate this. <laughs> Did I know Jeez. what? <laughs> okay, wait, Bye, question. Bye, Remy. Bye, Remy. Would Remy have any idea this is coming? It's up to you as the DM. I'd say no because you're Okay, then I'm not even gonna remotely try to block it. You just, you hit me with my base AC, which would be. Jesus Christ. Well, that. I chose the right person. It's a cross. It's a crossbow, right? It's a it's a hand cross. It's a hand crossbow. Yes. Can you use strength or can you use? Is it just dex for that? It's just dex. Okay, then it's not as bad. That's still going to be an eighteen to hit you, and you are not wearing armor, Remy. So I am not. So that absolutely hits me. So you immediately, as you kind of turn your head to go and walk towards your training area, ice cold water explodes in the base your head and runs down your feathers. Slide a hand to steal it back from her. All right, she's going to slide a hand, too. Uh, not, she's... <laughs> 18. Oh, slide a hand is not proficient with that. Uh, <laughs> so she, like, she, like, shoots and, like, their kickback kind of throws it out of her hand and she kind of, like, bounces around her hands and then quickly tosses it towards you and you just quickly shove it into the bag. I'm still sitting in my position. Nothing's changed. <laughs> would would uh, Kiwi and I see this, or are we too far? Oh off the yeah, you just you just see the two dragons going at it. And you see Remy like covered in water. At this point, you guys are coming <laughs> back with buckets of like different seafood. Nice. Oh man, I want to do that. Look look at. <laughs> so so wait, where where are we all in relation to each other? How far away are we? I will make a map real fast so you guys know where you are. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly pull you over here, just as a nice example. I I hope I roll. I, I hope I fail a roll so someone can call me out of my bullshit. I hope it happens. <laughs> so to give you a sense here, this is where the tide pools were over on the uh, western side. There's a nice rock cliff here. Helga and Skinny are around here. And there's this big cliff over here, and this is where everybody's swimming right now. Gotcha. And then there's a tree line right over here. 
And then it continues on, like, further that way. Okay. Yeah. Um, her task. Task lowers his eye, his, uh, eyeglasses and, uh, not his eyeglasses, his shades and looks to her. Yes. Do you mind taking mine as well? Oh, by all means. Uh, it'd be a great, this actually wouldn't be a great place for you to actually just fly around and even dive into the water. It would be so nice to stretch my wings. Task <laughs> holds his hand out for her to give it to him. As she slips it off, immediately, like, her size increases, and you see a very beautiful um, silver dragon. Unlike Arlo, who has kind of, like, the, the sort of the chin fronds, she doesn't have that. It's all smooth. Uh, her, mon uh, her like, kind of, like, thin mohawk around the back of the neck isn't as pronounced. Um, definitely a bit more elegant than brutish as compared to Arlo, who's got, like, a lot of, like, big giant mohawk and the whole nine yards. Uh, with one talon, she kind of hands off the uh, her pendant to you. Task will take it. Greckles is gonna run up to Zoltir. Hey, hey, hey! Can, can you do that thing that that Arlo did with Remy? That looked awesome. Uh, <sighs> if that is what you would want, sure. Uh, Zoltir, just just between you and me, it's always been a dream for me to fly. Oh well, uh, I don't consider myself a pony for amusements. Oh, no, 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 no. I just, I just want you to take me up high and just, just let me dive in. That just looks so thrilling. Grab him by Both. the talent. Grab him by the talent and throw him in the water, Tasha says bluntly. Roll a persuasion check with advantage. That is a okay. 19. Ooh. Very well, but if you get hurt, it is not my fault. No problem. All right, and she... Brings up and it kicks up a bunch of dust and sand. Unfortunately, a little uncomfortable. And Ty Barman's like, ah! And it kind of falls off the side, but then climbs back up. Um, she grabs you and Kiwi. Kiwi's like, I do! <laughs> All right. <laughs> and begins to soar out towards the water. Borky, from the water, you see... <laughs> you see this giant dragon carrying Greckles and uh, Kiwi kind of hovering above you. Mm-hmm. And just let's go, Greckles. You feel the wind rushing past you as you collide headfirst into the water. An eruption of splashes echoes across the water. Burke, you get immediately a mouthful of, of seawater as as Kiwi like falls and lands on your head. You're like, ah! and as he falls back into ah! the water as he hit you. <laughs> Greckles just pop. Greckles pops up, just shaking the water. Says, "That was amazing." <laughs> He was doing he was doing the straight up bastion luck dragon. Yeah! Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you watch now as Arlo begins to scoop people up as well. Uh he scoops up Doros. <laughs> no. Oh Arlo Arlo wants to die, because Doros and I are about to break a foot off in this dude's backside. Ugh. Doros gets snatched up and just immediately tossed, and you just hear a. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna assume it's like an atomic explosion going off in the ocean. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see a mushroom cloud in the distance of water. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and the As he lands into the water, there's this large wake of water that begins to like begin to lift up at the central point. And okay. Meryl and like Cynthia are like, hit the deck! And they start swimming rapidly. Oh no, okay, and, like, oh, can, can Borky and Kiwi just white. see it? Borky and Kiwi just have this shadow fall over them. Oh. Uh oh. Uh. Doros flies through the fucking air. Greetings and salutations to the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Connor. So do we just have a full-on <laughs> tsunami coming in? Yeah, a huge tsunami comes in. Everybody roll athletics check, including Meryl, Cynthia, and Willow, and Naragan. Task looks up. Athletics? Uh, just like that fucking one scene from, uh, what was the movie? Uh, Iron Giant, where he looked at the fucking typhoon and then just, like, yeah. put the shades back down. That is exactly Mon it. <laughs> oh. Monty, that's gonna be a soft 20 for oh, running. Wait. That is a 23 from Borky. Oh, that is a no. 9 for Greckles. I keep rolling the same fucking thing over at 10. Oh god, Meryl and Cynthia. All right, Naragan, you're a stronger boy. All right, that's that's not bad. Uh, I'm going to I'm going I'm going to Piccolo for Helga uh, because I know if if Helga's having a bad time, we're all having a bad time. So I'm just going to stand in front of it. No, you got to do that you moment. Watch. Where you got to block up energy blast as it goes around you, so everything else. Is uh, <laughs> Mister Crypto, no. 
uh, this giant cascading water just like flows into the beach, it hits the coast where the trees meet the beach all the way up. Uh, as it comes back into the ocean, Hazard's like, ah! as he gets <laughs> <laughs> No, my glorious boobs. No, your breasts. As you all guys kind of like settle, you see Scarbles go, no! Oh, and she's also dragged into the water from her hole that she was digging. <laughs> you see Log come in and land next to Helga going, Wee! And as soon as the water subsides, everybody now is on the coast, and you just hear this gregarious laughter coming from Arlo, who is literally, like, holding his sides, keeping himself aloft in the air, swinging side by side, howling his ass off. I shoot at him. Okay, roll the hit. <laughs> I would shoot at him, but it would do actual damage. So good on you, Task. <laughs> Dirty. Here we go. Come on, hit him, please. Oh, oh yeah. That that hits him. Yep. Cool. <laughs> uh, you shoot him right in the face, and he staggers. And as he kind of tries to resort himself, so tear flies in and kind of like kicks him, and he just pushed right into the water. Oh no! <laughs> Is there oh, another giant back wave back coming now? Water. Another giant wave? Not as big, but. A wave uh, comes in as well. <laughs> Panic, you block, you manage to block the majority of the water as Helga just licks her thumb and flips through the book that she's reading without even <laughs> oh paying any mind. Full on scruffy <laughs> while Panic is echoing. Wait a minute. I have Tass now looks at his head. He's been holding on to their amulets this whole time. Tass puts one on. Okay. <laughs> I nothing happens. Okay, but I, just to get, I was <laughs> like, he turned into Tesk. a human. Yeah, Task is cursed with humanity now. <laughs> I just wanted to see if that would work. Okay. He turns okay, into off, actual Chris Zito. He just oh, no, like a oh, poor son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! Oh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even want to have anyone get cursed on that. Not even a fantasy character. Uh, I was gonna say Danny DeVito, but you know. I mean, same thing. Chris is basically just a Texan Danny DeVito. I'm not from Texas, though. You're basically from Texas. You're in uh, Texas. Uh, so, gobble, gobble goo here. What do you mean by gobble, that? <laughs> gobble goo. Gobble goo. In Dallas. No one in Dallas says gobble goo, okay? Oh, it's true. That is fair. Hey, even... you got that your grinder fair. on my grinder. Uh, hey, Monty. <laughs> yeah. Remy is going to go back to his perch and keep a lookout where he was, but the second Arlo gets the hell out of the air, you let me know. All right. He managed to struggle out of the water and, like, basically, like, you see Zotira and Arlo kind of, like, almost, like, playing tag with each other in the air, kind of, like, kicking at each other and trying to, like, fuck the other one up so they fall into the water. Uh, Meryl and Cynthia, like, go to the side of the beach. They're soaking wet head to toe. And they're like, us next, us next! Um, and Arlo and Zotira come down and kind of begin to fly them around for a little bit. And eventually, after about maybe an hour or so, of just, you know, relaxing, all that stuff, uh, eventually, uh, you hear a ding, 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 ding. Actually, I can make the sound. One second. From Ty Borpington. Is he banging Louis Strong's head? Yeah. Louis <laughs> <laughs> Strong is I like. I'm gonna sleep because of y'all. <laughs> y'all not gonna sleep because of me. Louis <laughs> Strong is like literally like 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 set up against a piece of driftwood, looking really sad and dejected. Like at no point does this person look happy. The entire time being here, he's still looking at the sand as it falls between his fingers. I shoot Lewis Drog. All right. <laughs> Eleven. That misses. Damn it. It like explodes Whoa. next to his feet and he turns. He goes. <sighs> <laughs> what if I can have fun? You can too. <laughs> By the way, I have really fun. Can't. Damn it. I really fast because Jack kind of like we were talking about what was going to happen and very perfectly Jack found the perfect image to represent what Lewis Strong is going through. I'm just going to send it in the discord so you guys can enjoy it. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, all right, that's good. Oh my God. That is the greatest. Uh, that all right. is the greatest. Artists, oh, artists, we're going to need you on this. We're going to need you all <laughs> on. Please put that in the chat. I'm Let's doing play. it. <laughs> I'm doing it already. Thank you. That is Lewis Strike the entire time on the beach. <laughs> like the entire time. What is he time. doing? 
I fucking He's love sad. that image. That is the Why greatest. Why is he always sad? I no, don't no. understand. Okay, you gotta understand. That image is one of the most theatrical images I've ever seen. The complex story we're seeing with this picture. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this photography. So that, that chat, that's your homework. Draw that. <laughs> that's Louis Strug on the beach. Draw Louis Strug in that, those poses, whoever that is. <laughs> Soup's on! And by soup, I mean sandwiches! Borky's there immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it soup sandwiches or soup and sandwiches? Or are they soup sandwiches? They are very, very nice, very thick, uh, cut in half for each triangle shape, various different types of sandwiches. There are loaded grilled oh. cheese. Oh. There is Rubens. Oh. oh. What? I are you kidding me? I will Ruben take sandwiches, yeah. I will take a Reuben with two... Um, two of the grilled cheeses as the bread. There you are, Borky. You can construct that yourself. Excellent. Because in my opinion, For that's an affront to nature, and I don't want to partake in such things. I need shade so God can't see what I'm about to do. Excuse me. Ass makes a big one and gives it to his son. <laughs> All right. Her hand off a, a, a sandwich, and Tars kind of devours and gobbles it up. Oh, you dutiful idiot. Oh, do you got any tuna? God, I almost called him Kiwi. Oh, God. Tiger, Kiwi, hey. do you have tuna? <laughs> Get in the fuck of the game, Greckles. We have to cook it right now. We got a bake. Uh, Tidy, have Greckles, any you ask him about too much, Greckles. <laughs> Tidy, have any Tidy, tuna fish? Oh, I have tuna fish sandwich. Do you want that? Oh, yes, please. And here, he, Greckles just hands him the bucket of seafood. Uh, oh, just perfect. For yes, this is for dinner. I'm trying to catch. Look at these suckers. He pulls up two big giant rock crabs like they're huge nice like they're, they're maybe like like maybe like a quart like two thirds or three thirds of a quarter in width like they're massive crabs um he takes the bucket he goes oh urchin we can just eat that as is really well if it works for you it works for me i'll uh, debone just... the eel he takes the eel and you watch as he goes and he nails the eel to a board and like begins to carve it. It's very beautiful how he does it. Like he cuts it at the length. He takes out the spine. He like starts cutting it up and flattening it out and starts to prepare it and puts it aside for when they cook it on the charcoal later. Perfect. There you go. Here's your sandwich. And here's some drinks too. Helga, do you want? Helga just lifts her hands. Shh. Vacation, Helga. Hey, uh, Task kind of just like moseys on over to Borky. Hey, Borky, how's that sandwich? Don't look at me. I'm a monster. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I pat him. I pat him. God damn it. All right. I pat him on the side, and I, I, I show him the box. Hey, do you really want to see what was inside here? Yeah, see it. I, I take out. I, I actually just open the box. I show him the crossbow, and I load it up. Uh, I ask him to hold one hand out. Like, I'm going to give it to him. Okay. I shoot Helga and then hand him the crossbow. All right, roll to hit. Oh, no. Who are you shooting? Helga. Why? Damn, seven. Okay, one second. I mean, okay. if she's not expecting it, it has no armor. <laughs> I'm probably still I'm probably still in front of her if, it, if this misses. I have to find something really fast. You ever you ever walk up to God and just backhand him? Just like, like yeah, what are you gonna? And you just backhand wait, God and wait, just so moonwalk away. Just like just has, 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 not only hands Borky the fucking crossbow, puts it in his hand. He grins at Borky and just goes. Monty has to go find Helga's AC because she cannot because she never thought that either of us would be any would be dumb enough. This is, what, this, this, is, this is the sequence of events that happens, okay? You shoot, and she catches it. <laughs> looking at it, like, out of the air, oh, and slowly lowers her book. <laughs> and, like, and, like, the red beams, you know, when people edit in, like, red beams over people's eyes, you hear, like, oh, the loud, like, a loud screeching noise. And motivated me, Helga, I can't believe and and immediately Skinny gets up and goes, Hey y'all, how about a nice walk? Let's go, let's go. <laughs> I concur, let's go. And the cut we cut there and that's where we're gonna take a break. Oh, god. oh, my, god. oh my god. I had god. to. It was Wait, uh, can, it, can I Aw. Oh, I wanted to see what my sandwich was. 
Do do do. You guys each get it. We'll continue lunch on your walk. It's gonna be. Oh boy. She's got sand. Oh my god, it's sand's Helga tail. I do 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 do. Uh, Black Black Wing Hellkite with ten thousand bits. Can Monty Jeez. say the Deep Gnome King biggest dickus? <laughs> say as the Deep Gnome King biggest dickus. Now, no. No, you you that wait, is a re oh wait that's that's a that's a reference to the Monty Python, Python. that's Monty Python biggest dickus. <laughs> I I that's the biggest dickus. I I, I, I what I love about that joke is how like he's the only one who doesn't get it and no matter who they are everyone else laughs because it's just too ridiculous. They have like a an entire just horde like a thousand extras just laughing at this guy biggest dickus is the big is the hardest man I know. They're all the crowd's just howling with laughter. Just some random Steve with five subs gifted to the community. Just some random Steve, thank you so freaking much, dude. Uh, Dapper Teethly, thank you for the 400 bits. Daisy, I think for the 500 bits. Uh, Neko Girl 862 with a thousand bits. Uh, so excited to get to watch the 100th episode live. You'll help me through some dark times. Love you all. Well, thank you so much. Hope you're doing okay. Uh, okay, Greylay dropped 25,000 bits. Woo! 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 Damn. 25. All right, so y'all y'all need to calm down. Yeah, yeah Grey Lay with 25,000 bits and no message. No message, just look, uh, look, I know I know everybody missed me, but you don't need to do all this. Uh, like, really? Like it's okay. No, they're actually paying us to get rid of you. It's it's wild. Oh, it's <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's, it's it, no no it's called it, welcome to Punch Stopper. It's uh the new program we're starting up here. <laughs> oh, took you a, took you a second. Uh, S Wolf ninety five, oh, thank you for that thousand bits. Well, Borky's a dead man. Oh shit. Ah oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. It just cuts to a Borky. I can't believe you've done this. this. That's literally the perfect way. Uh, Frost Dragon, thank you for that five hundred bits as well. My goodness, Lee bits from Blackfoot Ferret. Thank you. This is awesome. This is awesome. Clap, 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 clap. Oh my god. Great lay though. Thank you so much for the 25,000 bits. That is incredibly kind of you. Shadowy Sphinx! Shadowy Sphinx! Dropped another 17,000 bits earlier. Jeez. I know, Good right? Breeze. Sorry, I couldn't make it earlier. It's okay, Shadowy Sphinx. Thank you for the 17,000 really bits. And Shadowy Sphinx comes right in afterwards with another 3,000 bits. This is like boom, boom. Jesus. I'll go to one, two. Link Hylia oh. with 2,700 bits. Bury him good, Paddock. Link Hylia. Not gonna lie. I, I'm, I've missed this. Oh, we missed you too, bud. We really did. And oh my god, the one and only, the beautiful, the incomparable, the greatest guest star we've ever had, Joe Cat with two. Wait, it, I, it's, I'm right I here. know, I know, it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my gallows humor. 2,000 bits from Joe Cat. I don't know why people call it beach episode filler. Characters are way hotter in swimsuits when they grow up and develop. If anything, it's the biggest payoff of a series. What? That was, no, that I was know. creepy. Yeah, that I know. I, um, the, here, here's, should... here's, a, here's, a, here's the thing. Rats wear a rat has binoculars from the bushes watching. <laughs> That's what's important <laughs> to know. They, <laughs> them not knowing I'm here gives me power. Princess Boots with a 1,500 bits. Oh, my God. Uh, Monty, no, don't bring the albino girl to the beach. Can vouch as I've been an albino girl brought to the beach. 1,500 bits and three unifier with 1,000 bits. I'm looking forward to seeing this later. <laughs> yes, you're doing for a fun try. Power Gems with 1,000 bits. First time watching live. Happy 100th from Montreal, Canada. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. I got to go back to the top of the list here because people have been so kind. Good grief. I, I know, right? I, 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 py, pyro, pyro, oh my, pyrotic na napalm, pyrotic napalm, Borky meets his end today, 1100 bits from pyrotic napalm, thank you so much, Chalem, Froggy's mom, oh, Froggy's mom, 1500 bits for Froggy, that's bonus, 150 Froggy sends bits, she and I have been watching since episode three, and we, we've been blessed to have you involved in this community. JLM, you have been such a kind person to so many people, and the good that you have spread yeah. can not even be oh, understated. Saiyan Wolf, 10 with a thousand bits, and suddenly behind Borky Helga. Oh, fuck! Nanny! No, Borky would say, Nandato! I don't know what any of that means. Go Blue Jean Sama! 
cool shirt guy with 700 bits. Put the Nasslisk on Tarusk! Ice Booth with 500 bits. Love y'all so much. Here's to the 100th episode. Thank you so much, Ice Booth. Uh, I tried, man. I tried to be that guinea pig. Gamma Leo with 1,500 bits. Bonus. I can't stop smiling. It hurts, but it's a damn good hurt. Thank you so much, Gamma Leo. <laughs> Bruno Bob with 500 bits. I'm happy Remy is back, Bosco. Aw. Aw, thank, thank you, you Bernard. I appreciate that. Master Monster with 1,050 bits. Being with you guys since episode 12. Glad I could make it to episode 100 with you guys. Thank you so much. Jordan X Infinity with 1,000 bits. I have been laughing so much I'm in tears. Episode 100, baby. <laughs> Woo. Thank you so much, Jordan X Infinity. Dino Might with 500 bits. I just imagine the dragons took off once they saw that. <laughs> Uh, Scar Scarlet Korchik, Elf Lord 89, and Lay's Last Kerfuffle. Thank you so much. And Greylay, after everything Greylay's already done, guys, right? I mean, Greylay's been incredibly kind today. Greylay just dropped another 10,000 bits. God. Another 10,000 bits from Greylay. Just waiting for Borky to be yeeted. Yay. Bloop. It's like the end of that one boss fight in Great Cave Offensive when you're fighting the fucking whale. Amazing. Oh, man, the RPG Maker one's gonna be fucking next. God damn it. What is? Hmm. The RPG boss. Oh no! Fucking hell, the RPG boss people, was way people too. In the live, people in the live chat have already fucking put in tombstones with Borky and Task. Rip your <laughs> life's two heroes. They messed with Helga. <laughs> they played with God. They this played is with. The beach episode. I don't care. Jesus, drug or not? What the? Can you read that off so I can go to the bathroom? Sure, that's a 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then some ones. A lot of bits. Stay out of the water lest you tangle with me. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. No, oh, here's no. the thing. Chat pointed this out. We cannot die. Because if we die, we're going to have a time paradox. That's, I, I, I know. Get away with as much shenanigans as you, you possibly can. You can't do that, Snake. Can. You've changed I, the future. I literally chat. got dropped you from You created a time feet. paradox. Going to loop subscriber. <laughs> no, Monty, that's cringe. <laughs> you posted cringe, cringe snake. No, that's going that's to what Helga subscriber. says. That's what fucking Helga says when she grabs the water balloon, looks up a task. Post cringe, bro. <laughs> also, Grizzly, no, Remy can't die because he has to go do the stuff with the mercs later. So no, he doesn't. They all have plot armor, which is fine. We're not here to die. What is with you people? <laughs> Welcome to die. Welcome to die. <laughs> I miss that game. 110 bits from Pyro. Tango in a Speedo attacks the party. No. Tango in a Speedo is weird for a lot of reasons. I just wonder if we're actually going to fight <laughs> something. And if we do, what are we going to use? I already, I already said in before Krabius the Mighty shows up and we have to fight a hammock, a beach ball, and a blanket. We have to... How do we... How do we... Shit, dude, look. I already fought a rug and that went down pretty bad can we not i know look but i'm here so we're fine okay script daddy holy crap jesus script daddy with the 5500 bits i'm still craving eel i actually oh, really want to get sushi what? after this but i can't excuse oh, me i would i would like to re uh, to to make a, an official announcement that the new term for for script daddy is now glucose guardian <laughs> amazing it's the best the gentle neutral term for sugar daddy is glucose guardian. Bracky, please uh, get those butts out of here. And into my dreams. Get into my car. You're on the East Coast and everything is closed right now. What the fuck? You're on the East Coast and everything's closed? That's a problem. It's, al it's 1130 please. East Coast time, that isn't it? That doesn't mean shit. It depends where he is. What if he's in butt fuck nowhere? That's true. I live in Buttfuck yes. Nowhere, and everything is closed except for McDonald's after a I live in I, I live in a place where everything closes by at least 1030. I live in a place where everything closes by 8. I hate it. So so you understand then. Actually, everything really closes down about 9 or 10. What the fuck? All the places I, I like. Then you have I live in a place taste. where I have a gas station and no standards. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. There is a I mean, I do, I do have a couple uh, of 24-hour diners near me. That's a lifesaver. Not everywhere is New York. Oh, why can't it be? I, uh, I do New have York sucks. Oh, mm, motherfucker. Mm, okay, I'm okay. So, so Bosco, I do have some bad news for Help. you though. Hold on, hold on one second. Pyro with the 2,500 bits. 
to Bosco, what would it be like if Remy and Alistair from Has Been had a date together? They wouldn't because Alistair is uh, not romantic at all. Are He's ace. Evil? So Alistair's ace. He's not dating anybody. Sorry. They're, I thought they're... <laughs> I was like, whoops. I was going to say their sexual orientation is evil. I like how someone in chat... Oh, oh Monty, you're being so rude. <laughs> and STL, I have grease and cigarettes. Yeah, I, I, I Sorry, guess, what were you going to say, so. Guy? I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh, I was going to say that, unfortunately, uh, eels, particularly freshwater eels, are getting uh, hunted to death. Oh, like they're, 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 start, they're starting to get close to going extinct because people keep hunting them. Can we, can we, get, can we clone them? These are, we these are saltwater eels, though. Can, so I don't can we do with, with the bananas? Can we just, can <laughs> we, like, uh, we make, ban we make eel? banana eels, so, like, the bananas get, like, they get their own fucking genetic, like, mutation, and they're gonna you've, die in 30 years? You've, see, you've seen that, right? You've seen this, right? Where someone's just like, this is the banana eel, also, also known as the bastard moray eel. How did the naming convention happen? And someone's like, it looks like a banana. Let's name, a, name it a banana eel. Gets bitten. All right, motherfucker, change of plans. <laughs> 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 also, oh. S will put the uh, 1100 bits. I'm waiting for the Helga for Helga to pitch the balloon clear through Borky, leaving a perfect hole. <laughs> also, 100 bits from Cryptic Sigen. Thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Uh, saw a documentary about Gardner and 911 called You and Here. Now I really want to see Come Far From Away. Interesting. Uh, 321 Agamo with the uh, 220 bits. Just a reminder that using the subway bits has a 10% bonus. Yes. Remember to do that. Remember yep. to add your bonus bits. Mm -hmm. Will curse with the one, two, three, four, five hundred bits dropping bits because, or as he spelled it, because. Oh. Also, bear in mind during September, uh, tier one subs are half off. Yeah, yeah so half it's off. like tier one subs. So if you want to drop a like, share, subscribe, sub. make sure to hit that like button so you'll never be not notified when the unexpected no, that's my are job. on. What? What? It's my job as a YouTuber to talk about the notifications. Oh, sorry. Um, you can do it now. No, no they, they, they know. Don't post, Grin. Right. <laughs> Guy Jin, I'm just trying to be helpful. I'm going to be gone next week. It's just, <sighs> oh. I just want to help. By the way, I want to say really quick, I was ah, listening to ah, as much as I ah, could of the Mercs ah, while ah, on a train ah, in Japan, ah, and I loved ah, it. I appreciate that. I fucking love those guys, and Monty did an amazing job. She somehow outdid the first one that she did. I don't know how she keeps doing it, but it was amazing. Yeah, I was I was in Minnesota. I was in Minnesota lying in bed watching that, and I was like, I can't sleep because I need to listen to the end of it. <laughs> I was on bed with painkillers popped in watching that. So. Why were all of you either fucked up or on vacation? <laughs> because this is the vacation time. Oh, fair yeah. enough. Mm. Uh, Juggernaut28 with the 200 bits. Take my last bits of the night because this thunderstorm is probably going to take me out. Curse you, Mother Nature. You win this time. Fight the thunderstorm. Punch buddy. it in Make, the cloud. Is yeah, Kurt back? Oh, I, I, thought, oh, I, 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 I You never hit a thunderstorm in the cloud. I, I, I thought I heard some groans of pain. Uh, CG oh, with 100 bits. I demand a luau this evening. No. A wekawahi. Uh, 110 bits from Burnout Vaughn. Monty, I picked up some new publications. Is it okay to cover it in a workshop on 5e races in the future? Yeah, I mean, as long as you purchase it, it's fine. There you go. Like that's that's the only like the the only thing is you have to purchase it and you can't claim that you've obviously made it because that's correct. Uh, Iro with the two hundred and twenty bits. Oh, oh god, Zoltira and Arlo having a yeet spree just before Helga destroys poor Borky and Task. Wouldn't call it a yeet spree. Might want to work on the phrasing, but yeah, that'll work. Uh, Sage the oh, something thirty three k. Yeah, that uh, with a hundred and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen bits. These are some weird numbers. Someone needs to make a supercut of Monty's food descriptions. Are we good? I, yeah, I, I don't know. Is Kurt back? Going. I've been here yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Oh well, then yeah, we're good. We're good. Go ahead, Monty. Take it away to a magical land of eating. All right. So you guys take a quick walk. You guys sit down in various parts on driftwood and eat your guys' lunches. Helga returns right. back to her state of comfort. Uh, Crushing but, the balloon in her hand. Uh, Zotira and Arlo uh, eat in their dragonoid forms as well. They don't seem too so, preoccupied with food. They probably don't need to eat too frequently. I'll tell you what Panic picked up from the lunch menu. Okay. Panic picked up a uh, a beef patty with a, a pineapple, onions, Monterey Jack cheese on a Hawaiian bun with some teriyaki ketchup. Uh, he's got a big kahuna burger, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. mm. Nice. Panic is the big kahuna right now. I don't even remember packing that. It's crazy, right? That's really... 
Did you did you sneak that into my my crate? Uh, Panic looks at the hard camera. We might never know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking about all the characters right now and what they're doing. There's so many things happening. Lustrog's still there. He hasn't moved. I shoot him with a balloon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, come on, come on, come on. You're shooting everybody. Oh you guys at this point are all the way over here, and he's like right there. So that's not happening, buddy. Sorry. Look, listen. I just what, what is the range on that? <laughs> whenever well, it's a short crossbow, so it reaches ninety feet. Does does Lewis Strong's helmet have a mouth? Piece? Uh, no. It's just like kind of the eye slit, if I recall. Could I try? Okay, so if I uh, if I like, tried to guide it like under under the mask or through the eye slot, could I possibly try to finagle, like, a piece of big kahuna burger down <laughs> <laughs> Like a coin? Like you're putting in a 25 cents into an arcade machine? Just yeah, I'm just like... Just I'm just like... Patty. Yeah, I'm just like, come on, lighten up, man. Have a burger. <laughs> that is a tasty burger. Uh, if you roll a stealth check and do that, you have <gasps> to move quite a bit to go close enough to do this. Seven. Mm, well. Uh, <laughs> you take one step on that beach and you hear like thunder crackle, but there's the skies are completely clear, but you just see Helga's head turn towards you and your blood immediately runs cold and you just take <laughs> one step back. Well, what, what's, what's Helga got to do with this? <laughs> she gets, all she has to do is look at him and he's not moving. Can't you sense her reatsu? <laughs> Panic, Panic's, got, Panic's got like like the same smile he had on before he thought of this idea, but like now his face is all like drained of color. Uh, hey Monty. Mm hmm After Remy finishes whatever he's eating, he's gonna go uh, find Arlo, who shouldn't be hard to find if he's still a bleeping dragon. Yeah, they're on like kind of one of the precipices of rock. Uh, he towards he the... is gonna go wherever those rock. I assume like in the like the top left corner or the bottom left corner. Yeah, they're like kind of near the edge of the water on the left side. He is going, he's going to go over there while the folks finish eating. All right, yeah. You guys can do whatever you want. I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait. Oh. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just... I, we're waiting for you, so you walk. All right, then I'm doing my thing. I'm going to go find do Arlo. You, What's he doing? Do you, do you speak Draconic or no? Uh, no, I don't speak Draconic You're going to need me then, buddy boy. Well, there, it's just more like he's just having casual conversation with his sister up on, like, the rocks or kind of, like, pointing yeah. out things and, like, chatting. It's very weird because they are technically a large creature. Um, mm -hmm. On their hind legs, they're maybe, like, 20 feet from head to tail. Um, and they are huge. They're, they're bigger than a horse, like, twice the size of a horse. They're quite large. Um, and hearing his voice coming from that dragon is kind of surreal. It's a lot like meeting your internet friends in real life. Oh, I know what that's like. Uh, okay, cool. So not understanding what they're saying, I'm going to wait for a pause in the conversation, and then Remy is going to call out, Arlo! Come to bar. Give me a moment. And Zotira takes off into the air. Yes, what is it? We have to talk. <sighs> He's gonna, Remy is going to start climbing up the rocks now that there's a spot free, even though it's probably going to take a minute. Okay, roll an athletics check to see how oh, gracefully you climb. Yeah, it's going to take a minute. Uh, you said athletics? Yeah. Yeah, it's a seven. You go to climb and, like, you slip on some, some kelp and you, like, kind of shoulder check part of the rock, but then you, like, without breaking eye contact, you stand back up and dust yourself off and keep climbing. And Arlo's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Continues to climb, going to get up there, uh, and he's going to look him dead in the eye as high up as his, like, long neck is possibly going to be. Arlo kind of reclines like a lion and crosses his front arms together. Oh, Val, good. what are you going to do? Scold me? I'm going to talk to you. And I'm going to try to teach you. Do you know why I was on lookout? Uh, because that's your prey and you're scared that some big hawk will come and pick you up and fly away? No. But you're comedic timing is as poor as ever. The last time I was given a vacation, it was by your father. 
and I had a wonderful time on a sled with Borky winning a race. And do you know what happened, Arlo? I don't know, you got a personality? No. <laughs> your Damn. father, your father kidnapped Willow. So you'll oh. forgive me, you'll forgive me if I'm a little paranoid about history happening twice. So you do not like it when the silver dragons kidnap people, hmm? I do not like it when my friends are hurt. Ugh, you're so boring. He kind of like slowly, like, kind of like rests his head on like the two fingers of one of his uh, one of his arms and kind of just stares at you. Here's a piece of wisdom that I'm going to impart on you now, and I pray that you learn it. If not from me, then someone in the future. Because Lord knows you don't listen to Greckles or I. <sighs> you put your hands on a noble today, and I want you to think about what that means. While I might not have sway here, I have sway in Valithia, and I can make life very hard on your father, and I will not, because I respect that man. I have come to do so. You however, need to learn that your actions have consequences. And if you put your talons on me again, then we will have a problem. I will treat you with respect, and I demand it in return. Are we understood? So do not touch the nobles. Do not touch the nobles. Do not touch anyone that does not desire it. <sighs> Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Very well. Now, another lesson I'll teach you. When you wrong someone, you make up for it. Tell your sister I wish to speak with her. When Tell she her returns yourself. from her flight. And he just takes off into the air and you get buffeted back. <sighs> the poor boy. Remy's just going to sit on that rock and wait for Zoltira to come back. And they just kind of stare out of the water. pretty distracted. He's, he needs a minute, so he's going to stay on the rock anyway. So where's Arlo going? He's just in flying around in the air. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Greckles I'm... is actually going to wave him down. So it's like like big, outstretched anime wave. Hey, come down here. We got food. You wave, and Zotira comes down. She kind of skids and lands on the beach. Oh, we already ate, but thank you, though. Oh, well, sorry about that. It's just, it's Ty's Borpington's food. It's amazing. It's quite good. Hey, Arlo, how about you? Mm, I would not bother him right now. Oh. Every time he talks to the bird, he gets really moody. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. This is a vacation, after all. You think with how much he wants to be a father that he would have his own child, in my opinion. He wants children? Points to Remy. Oh. Oh. I thought you meant your brother. I was like, oh boy. <laughs> oh God, no. <laughs> Maybe later, but for right now, it's all about the treasure and the princesses and the castles. I'm beginning to see where nobles and dragons become so friendly with each other. Similar goals? Similar wants, really. Uh. Hmm. Yo, so I'm gonna like call this meeting of the cold, uh, the cold scale crew, the cold blooded <laughs> crew together, because we haven't had that in a while. Yo, get all in here, boys. Let's have a chat. Let's rap. Naragan and uh, Strat are the only two. Not Iggy. Not the not. Oh, yeah. Iggy's gone. You guys don't know where Iggy is. He's like in the woods. I thought somewhere. he set up. Wait, did he set up shop? Somewhere, you don't know. Yeah. Just yeah. Cause, cause, right off. Cause that's where, yeah, like, you know, funny enough, that's where Porky wants to wander while he's eating his last half of his sandwich. Uh, go for it then. Go, go for oh. it then. I'll let you have that. Oh. What, what do you want? No! It's my sandwich. You couldn't have it. I don't want your stupid sandwich. Wait, is this Hasrod? It's Hasrod. Oh, I'm going towards Iggy's, where Iggy made that, uh, where he's making all that noise yeah, in the woods. He was talking to Tass, because Tass was calling for it, the cold blood crew. Oh, okay. Well, continue on with that. Sorry. Oh, I just, I just want to like shoot the shit with the, with the rest of everyone. Like, I want to like actually like make a friendship with Naragan and Hasrod as much as I can. For sure. What, what would you like to do with them? Uh, so I just like, so first off, I'd like to 
tell like I'd like them to at least like tell me so what are your uh, needs and wants at the Sweet Dragon as of right now? Like what's going on? We haven't spoken in a while. I think an upgrade to my shed would be great. Like maybe like a window? That would be amazing. I don't see why we can't install that. What are we so... made of windows? I'm I'm quite I'm actually quite shocked you actually want to start peering out. A big leap for you. Well, it's more I don't want someone coming around and stabbing me. But yeah, sure, that's a positive outlook, I think. I mean, a positive outlook with you is always a win. Yay! <laughs> How about uh, you, you? You, oh, you, you turn over and Meryl's just like, Hasrat, I got one of your snakes. He was in my sandwich. And she's like holding this kind of like red and, and black and white snake. Oh, yeah. Meryl! Meryl, what kind of snake is that? Um... Uh, a mamba? No, that's a cor- What have I been teaching you? How to read and write? You're right, but also wrong. Put the snake down. She puts the snake down. It goes, disappears. Naragan kind of turns to you and looks at you, Task. Yep. Oh, he's waiting on me? Yeah, he's looking. He's very happy to be included. So, have you spoken to the woman I uh, pointed out to you before? <laughs> uh, I'm guessing yes. that's a no. Oh, yes. Uh, it went great. And his mouth kind of twitches. Do I see that? <laughs> yeah. Define great. I'm actually rather interested. I am uh... working with. I am working with her. So, technically speaking, to me about that might aid you in a benefit. Mm. You see, I, uh, <laughs> you see, I, 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 I went, I went to the temple, like you said. It was very lovely, very nice. At this point, everyone's like listening, too. Oh yeah. And he's just like sweating. So I went to the temple, like you said, and I, um, <clears throat> I, I dressed in my finest robes. Um, I smelled beautiful. Um, <clears throat> and I entered the establishment, and immediately tripped. Uh, on the tiling on the floor and crashed right in front of her, presumably. And I said, ha ha ha, I'm an accident waiting to happen. It appears that I happened to you. And so I left promptly and I can never go back. I aim my crossbow at him. <laughs> <laughs> I shoot him in the chest. Oh! <clears throat> Thank you. You're welcome. Take the punches, man. I understand that it wasn't the most graceful thing ever, but hey, accidents happen, mistakes are made. But listen, I really feel that you should at least give it another go. Uh, I, I, I will try. The other thing is she is a lot older than me, <laughs> notably. Um, mm. Very nice, but there's a bit of a difference, but that's okay. Ah, uh, very well. I understand. I apologize. I Again, I'm not... I'm only I'd... too familiar with kobolds more than I am. Well, Tass, like, kind of, like, stops saying the word kobold and just, like, blank faces. Shit, I'm not even close to that. Well, with Dragonborn, it's sometimes, depending, the female is, like, a more mature, um, not embarrassing male, um, and does figure crossbows towards you. Not really so strong in that department, respectfully. Uh, but I am trying. <clears throat> and, uh, and Scarbos goes, Ah, uh, you should just, like, find a half-dead rat and give it to him. You know, that always works for me. Speaking of rats, what's going on with, uh, your little project down below? <laughs> Scarbos does, like, a thousand-yard stare and looks at the sand. Progress! <laughs> but in a direction that I will never be able to fathom. I like that. Good. She, like, for some reason, she just brings up a glass that she randomly has and just takes a long drink, <laughs> and it disappears behind her. Well, keep your chin up, mate. I know you'll, uh, you'll probably find someone. I mean, hell, I helped out those two. I look over to Doros and, uh, Willow. <laughs> At this point, like, Willow's trying to get out of the floaties, and every time she's like, I just, I can't swim with these on. And she's like, I just, let me get off the arm ones. He just puts them right back on. Doros! If I can make that work, I can help you. Uh, <clears throat> sure. <laughs> mm. Well, then again, I'm one to talk. Can't even help myself in that department. Tass takes a sip of his drink. 
Uh, Greckles would like to go do a thing. If if go for it, go for okay. it. Uh, Greckles is gonna go over and just kind of plop down next to Helga. Not really saying anything, just just kind of sitting with her. <laughs> oh, Dead you got walking. a death wish. Greckles, you make your way over to Helga, who is back to reclining on her on her chair. Uh, Greckles just kind of plops next to her just to see what she does. Oh. She like with one hand lifts up the star-shaped sunglasses and kind of looks at you. Can I help you? <laughs> you know, it's it's not very often that we get to just stop and talk once in a while. And I know you're tough. But you're also one hell of a tough mom. And that's something that I never had. So I just want to say thank you. Roll a persuasion check? Oh, <laughs> man. Panic's blood runs cold at the mention of mom. 17. <laughs> oh, shit, my dice. Oh, no, I, t I packed them with me. Fuck. Well, well, oh, well. No, well, well, well. I guess well. I'll have to roll on roll 20 like us plebeians. No, I just don't have my dice tray, so I'm going to be living on the edge. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a deal. If any dice land on the floor, they're gone. I can't use them anymore. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to. Well, this is where we run out of all the d20s. Okay. Helga, like, like, kind of like does that thing where she kind of turns over, but she can't really be bothered to. She mm -hmm. stares at you and she goes, Sure. You are like <laughs> giant bird son I have never had. Well. I just want to let you know that it means a lot. And uh, by the end of all this, I'll make you proud. <laughs> she kind of laughs and leans ah! over. <laughs> Remember this for later. <laughs> Panic is just still right in front of both of them, so soaking wet from blocking yeah. the fucking water. <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck is happening back there? Helga like looks up and turns to you, Panic and goes, you're blocking the sun. Stands in front of Greckles. You're sort of blocking like... the other sun. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Panic sort of like waddles to the side and prestigitations himself dry. Ugh, fuck. Okay. At this point, Meryl comes running past you guys. And she goes, I got the perfect dessert. And she goes running into the cart. And Greckles, you brought a watermelon with you. I want you to roll a d20 to see how big the watermelon you brought is. Oh, fantastic. Uh, well, bam. That's seven. a seven. Okay. So it's That's a nice little walnut. Like, it's, a, it's about the size of, like, you know, like the little snack watermelon you can get at the grocery store. I hope sure. they have those in America. Oh. You, you know Aww. what I'm talking about. No, though, I, right? I, know what you, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah it's, no. It's, 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 like, it's like the moe of, uh, of growth. It's dodgeball size. Okay. Meryl brings out one. She rolled an eight. Meryl brings out one that is slightly, just a tiny smidge bigger than yours and kind of brings it over and she sees you and she goes, oh, I guess we had the same idea, huh? I mean, you can't go wrong with watermelon. No way. This one's from my family's farm. Where'd you get yours? Uh... Just, uh imagine it's Krista Greckle <laughs> stealing a watermelon at night yeah, from no, the he, same he yard. Probably, he... Honestly, he probably he probably would have either bartered or stole from Baca. <laughs> wow, wow, what a thief! I'm gonna oh, say, look, there's, it's not like there's a bunch of Asian food stores around. You gotta get that stuff made just right. I'm gonna say for this, roll a persuasion and a stealth check, and whichever one is higher is the thing that you did. Fantastic! <laughs> All yeah. right, looks like I stole it. You stole a watermelon from Baca's store. Oh, I can't so, fucking believe you. So Meryl is like waiting for an answer. She's looking at you, and like your eyes, like kind of like after having like this sort of flashback, you come back to to consciousness and look at her. Just realistic bird face at this point. I I bought it. <laughs> roll, a, <laughs> roll a deception check. Ah, <laughs> goddamn it! Twenty two on the other it's side. It's Meryl. Meryl has the stats of a commoner, so she's no addition. So that's five though. She stares at you and narrows her eyes and goes, I don't believe you, but I'm not going to ask any more questions. <laughs> she puts down her watermelon next to yours. I handed the crossbow. Oh, God, you had Meryl the crossbow? 
a hand marrow the crossbow. Where are you in relation to everything? <laughs> he just always... teleports next oh, to people. It's, so it's like Meryl baby. Takes... <laughs> Meryl takes the crossbow from you and shoots Cynthia in the back, who's been eating a sandwich next to like the rest of the party. And she gets shot right in the back, and Cynthia goes, ah! It's like kind of launches forward, and Meryl quickly hands you back the crossbow. <laughs> Task just... puts it away. Hmm, that wasn't the target I was in, as expecting. Task uh, gets around kind of like uh, Baby's Day Out. Like, no one ever looks down all the time, so he always gets around. <laughs> 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 Alright. So you guys set up two watermelons on, on mats, and each grab sticks. Oh, yeah. Let's break into teams of four. Alright, who chooses teams, then? Actually, let's do... Shit, I don't have the list of your guys' employees. I put everything away. Let's just oh, assume no. everyone who works for us is here. Yeah, okay, I got the list. I found it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, Borky, you're going to have a team. Okay. Task. Greckles. And I'm going to say... Uh, panic, I guess. Sorry. Sorry, oh, Remy. All right. <laughs> Actually, no, let's put fucking Remy in, because... Five teams. Five teams. Five teams. That's a lot of teams. Let's do Your it. Your employees stand in a line. line. Uh, I want everyone to roll initiative to decide who gets it first. Um, and you since, do not get a re-roll. Since what? I am a barbarian, I get to do two initiative rolls? No, you don't. Not Dobby. for this. Not for this. Six Money, can we... I'm begging you, can we have appropriate music? <laughs> appropriate music, for sure. Yo. Please. I was thinking more of like the banjo barnyard crazy... Zeno, you know the song I'm talking about, right? I do. We got him up. It's playing. Oh, yeah. There we go. Mm, now that's right. the slapping theme. So, Greckles, you got a 23. Forky got a 16. And then Remy, not bad, with a 14. Panic. I got a 6. Got a six. Task got an 11. All right, Greckles, you're up first. Who do you pick? Oh, to choose teams. Uh, yeah. I assume Helga doesn't want to join, correct? Yeah, Helga's out. You don't know. That's that's too much of an OP character. That's like having Golden Soup Tanuki Mario in your team. You're not allowed that. <laughs> Golden Peach. Golden Pink Peach. Oh, boy. Um, I'm sorry. It's been a while. Can you can you just say really quick who is available? Meryl, Cynthia, Hastrod, Ty Borpington, Willow, Vel, Naragan, Louis Strog, Skinny, uh, Iggy's gone. Uh, Arlo and Zotira are out as well. Taurus, Scarbles, Kiwi, Log, and Doros. Uh, Vel. You gotta grab Vel? Alright, Vel's on your Belle. team. Alright, Vel's out. Borky, who do you pick for your Ty team? Ty Borpington! Okay, you got Ty. Uh, Remy, who do you pick for your team? What are we picking teams for? Uh, you guys are gonna do like kind of like pinata, but it's with watermelons. Doros. You gonna pick Doros? Oh, okay. Good call. Mm, it's not bad. Not bad. We'll uh, 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 task. You're next. Who do you pick? Naragan. Naragan. Okay. Okay. Just... Uh, and panic. Was Louis Strog an option? Yeah, Louis Strog's an option. <laughs> oh God, I didn't Louis know. Louis Strog. <laughs> All right. Louis Strog comes hobbling over, just kind of dragging his hands on the ground, just like. Oh. <laughs> Use him as the club. <laughs> All right, back up around. Greckles, who do you want as your next member of the team? Uh, who's left? Uh, you have Meryl, Cynthia, Hasrad, Willow, uh, Skinny. Uh, Taurus, Scarbles, Kiwi, and Log. Uh, let's get Skinny. Skinny? All right, you get Skinny. All right, Borky, who do you yeah, want? Yeah, I'm going to have to go with another amazing physical specimen, Log. Okay, Log's coming in. He's covered in starfishes, and he's really happy. He's got two fists with those urchins on either side. And he just runs <laughs> up to you and he goes, I'm lethal! Yes, you are. <laughs> A weapon. A lethal weapon. Remy. Willow. Willow? Mm. Okay. Oh, oh man. Log comes up to you. You see, Borky, it's a deterrent. Oh, my God. Um, hey. Taz. Remy's got both Willow and Doros. That's strong. Uh, Taurus. Taurus, okay. Uh, Panic. She's been taunting me with her abs all day, so Bell. Already Bell's already been picked by Greckles. Ah, beans, you bird! 
All right, who, who do I have left? You have left. You have Meryl, Cynthia, Hasrod. Uh. Oh, go with Hasrod. You're gonna do Hasrod. Okay, you got Hasrod. What a team you have. <laughs> Hasrod comes over, same sort of like tone as Louis Strong goes. Moves forward and joins you. <laughs> All right, back up again, Greckles. We've got some fucking physical specimens over here. <laughs> uh, Cynthia, because she should be aware of what this is. Yeah, she's actually super excited when you pick her. All right, so I'm just knocking off who we've already got picked. All right. Sure For time. those of you that don't know, this is actually called Suikawadi. Um, okay. Ty, Log, who you right. who you feeling? I've got an idea, but I want to see if you agree with me. Oh, oh okay. All right, we have decided. Scarbles. Oh my god! Oh my god, Stop you're it. right. Oh god! In she... your faces! In your faces! And she just kind of like kicks dirt towards Meryl. Meryl's like, hey! And she wow, like runs off to the team. <laughs> All right, Scarbles is in. All right. Re uh, Remy. Kiwi. Okay, you got Kiwi. All right, and that brings us back to task. Who do I have left? Are you uh, sure? I think Kiwi Scarbles. Uh, it's just Meryl. Meryl's the last one. All right, I'll take her. All right, you get Meryl. Oh, it's a shame right. Panic is a man down or a lady. Yeah, you only got two people, Panic, unfortunately. Great. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll be the all stars. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, God. don't worry. Don't worry. With you, we're like a hundred guys, right? He just like falls on his side you in the sand. Asshole. <laughs> wow, dude. No Dick. one knows what it's like <laughs> to be Louis Strong. Uh, he's lived too long. long. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh... <laughs> Everyone except Come on, man! <laughs> Cut loose a little, goddamn you! I oh, miss the old stars. <laughs> <laughs> the way they stared down at me, reminding me of better days. Don't worry, we can be the all our stars! <laughs> Are you gonna get free food out of this or something? What's going on? No. Now scarbles. We have to get we have to get Louis Dog in the fighting spirit. Hey, kind of kicks Louis Dog aside. Get up! No, I, I, not like that. <laughs> oh, sorry. Come get on, up, everybody. Earl. Get up, Earl. Gonna, kill you. Come on! No, no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I need everybody's help. I need everybody. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, my round team. Round of applause. We got. To say, we got the chant for him. Lou is strong. Lou is strong. Boo Lou is strong. Boo is strong. Boo is strong. Shut the fuck Boo. up, Bookie. <laughs> I'm sorry, we can't help you. Our, yeah, our team is currently I'm... oiling up Ty Borpington for the competition. I, 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 Let's get I, it on I'm there. Get Scarbles are oiling up Ty Borpington. Ooh. Oh, we gotta get it. We have to. Uh, he's not. Uh... I shoot Lou is strong with a water balloon. Okay. Oh, come. Roll the, roll, roll the hit. Sorry, I think I might have shot twice. No, you shot once and you missed. That's fine, whatever. So you like miss him and it just like deflates and like, it's like, you know when you hit like a little water balloon, like a little streak of water comes out of it at the top and sprays out like a little bit, like a little sprinkler. It like, kind of like sprays on his helmet. Tasha All right. shrugs. All right, well, I tried. Pick your first competitors to take, we to get blindfolded and take the stick. I'll let Meryl go first. All right. I choose Ty Borpington. Uh, I choose. You know what? I'll choose Cynthia. Okay. He's oiled and Ty ready. Warpington, uh, Meryl, Cynthia, and then. Because I know she's jazzed. Remy, who do you want to pick? Kiwi. Kiwi. All right. <laughs> Kiwi like like rips off his shirt and is like ah! <laughs> like holding. He runs into the woods, never to return. <laughs> uh, Panic. Who do you want to pick first? I'll choose Hasrod while okay. I try to I try to convince Louis Strong. Okay. All right, I need everybody to roll a d20 for your character. Okay. This is for perception. 17. Okay, 14. Four. Four. <laughs> All right. Wait, it's for perception? Yeah, so it's just it's just roll a straight d20. 
17. Nice. Mm. All right. Four. Oh, oh no. <laughs> so everybody except for uh, Ty and uh, um, Hostrod are able to walk up towards the melon with everyone else kind of yelling at them as to where it is. Hostrod and Ty meet in the middle and begin to like full on lightsaber battle in the center, <laughs> smacking each other. Oh no! Oh no, Ty, he has the high ground! Oh! All right, uh, I'm gonna need. Uh, so, Task, Greckles, and Remy, I need you guys to roll another d20 for a strength check for your characters. Here I go. Okay. Oh, that's a three. three. Nat 20. Oh, natural 20. I'm sorry, you thought I was playing when I picked Kiwi? Nah. <laughs> I mean, he was ready. He's going to hit then... that damn watermelon just like he's Ralph jumping through the window. 16. <laughs> All right. Uh, Greckles, you watch as Cynthia. She's not a very strong person, naturally. Sure. Um, she takes it and she goes, eh, and she hits the melon. And there's this kind of this, this thwacking noise. And then she comes back, takes off the thing and looks. And she's like, oh, darn, and then runs immediately back. Kiwi right. starts like flailing like wildly and like swings and hits the side of the of the watermelon, cracking it through the middle. It doesn't burst it open, but it cracks it down the middle. And he like lifts off his headband and goes, ah, ah, like racing up the, the stick in the air. Uh Task, Meryl comes down and whoom, gets a solid shot, making kind of a hole in the top of the watermelon. She takes off her band and runs back. Hasrad and Ty like take out their bands and are like kind of like like slapping each other at this point. Like the sticks have been dropped, and they're just kinda like, eh, eh. And they make their way back as well. When, he, when, when Hasrod pulls his fucking sheet over his eyes, Ty gets a nice shot across the cheek. Bam! Yeah. Perfect slap. All right. Choose your next individual to go up. Starbles. Uh, Starbles? Vel. Okay. Tars. Vel? All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, Panic, you, you managed to get Lois Strong up yes. reluctantly. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> He's like, okay. What about Takes Bosco's team? Yeah, Bosco, who do you choose? Willow. All right, you choose Willow. All right, I need everybody to roll another d20. Strength, or sorry, perception for all your characters. Here we go. 11. Five. 11. That's, five. that's me, I'm at 11. Oh. Five. 11 as well. Oh, five 15. for me as well. 16. 16. <laughs> All right, uh, Remy, you watch as like Willow takes the, the, the branch and immediately you see Duros just like sweat. And you watch as he starts running, but she starts running towards the water and he's like, no, and like starts running after and like turns her around in place and she runs back towards the watermelon. Um, let's see. Uh, Taurus goes like galloping forward with like the bat in its mouth. Uh, just like, <laughs> like running full sprint towards. Blade uh, wolf's in. Scarble starts digging a hole. Like she puts the stick of wood in her mouth and she starts digging a tactical Inter hole and disappears. This is a smart tactic. The long haul log. The long haul log. Why? Why are we hauling? Now nah, that now nah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. I won't. <laughs> he just sits down in the sand. Uh, Greckles, Vel, like puts on the bandana, kind of shrugs her bicep shoulders takes the stick, takes two strides, and she's right in front of the melon. Want everybody to roll a strength check for me. Oh, Louis Strong. <laughs> Louis Strong just like drags the stick behind him and walks up to the melon. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, you can do it, buddy. Nine. Eleven. Eighteen. Eighteen. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah, tactical melon. Nine. Nine. Alrighty. So, uh, Task, you watch as, like, by the time Taurus gets to the melon, they drop the stick and just start biting on it, like, ah, ah, like, mouthing it over it. Of course he is. And, like, kind of, like, pulling chunks out. And, like, Cynthia's like, hey, that's against the rules. I shoot him with, I shoot him with a water balloon. Okay, you rolled a hit. Where in the room would you say a dog can't play this? 18. You hit. You hit. That's enough. Come on back. Yeah. She hit him in the butt and his like tail gets like completely wet and he comes galloping back with like a piece of chunk of watermelon in his mouth. Pat him on the head. Alright. 
Scarbles bursts out of the ground, like like just like um, like oh. one of the worms from Tremors <laughs> through the watermelon, and like it flies in the air and lands on the ground. And Scarbles is like, ah, ah, and then starts swinging crazily, missing the melon because it's no longer on the mat anywhere. She lifts up her thing and looks around and goes, ah, damn it! And then walks back. Good attempt. Good attempt. Vel walks up and. She has a really good stance, but she just misses the cusp of the watermelon. And she, like, hits the side of it, which kind of, like, pushes out a chunk, but doesn't completely smash the melon. It's a really solid hit. Uh, it makes the ground shake. Uh, Louis Strug lifts up the piece of wood and goes, eh, and, like, hits it, and it kind of just bounces off. Eh, he hits it again, and it kind of smashes and then stumbles on back. You did it! Yay! Everybody, round of applause. Yay. Ooh. He's still wearing the bandana, too. He doesn't seem to be actually, like, needing it. He could kind of see, you think, without uh, it? What a, what, a, what a sad turn of events. The guy who has blind sight and has no energy to do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Willow takes up the piece of wood and like smacks it, and I'm gonna have to roll a d20 for Willow to see if something good luck or bad luck happens. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a natural one. Oh no! <laughs> she hits it, but she lets go of the piece of wood when she hits it, and the ricochet bounces it up and it smacks her in the face. Oh. And she like falls over <laughs> backwards, and it's like, ah! And then Joros is like, ah! And runs over and like Joros picks her up and brings her back. Fucking lifeguards over. Uh, it wouldn't be a day without Willow being injured by accident. <laughs> Sadly true. Mm. Yeah. All right. Your last combatants. Mm. We have for Borky Log, Tass, Neurogen, Grekel, Skinny, and for Panic, himself, I guess. Me. And for Remy, it's Doros. So. Fuck it, I'm going. All right, everybody roll perception checks. I cast Confusion. Oh 19. my god. You gotta be kidding me. 15. No, you bastard. 13. It's a nine. Okay, he casts conf... Mm. He casts confusion. Can you click on confusion for me? Yeah. Are you, give me a second. <laughs> Fucking <got> pissed. <laughs> <laughs> the spell assaults oh and twists creatures' minds, sprawling delusions and provoking uncontrolled actions. Each creature in a 10-foot radius sphere, centered on a point I choose, must see a wisdom saving throw. Okay. I'm gonna roll some saving throws. Uh, log automatically succeeds. Yay! That Good means... choice. Because they're log. Do we need to roll saves? I'm about to roll them for you guys. Nuragin's the last one for you, Tass, and luckily he, he is a paladin, so he has some... Yeah, way. buddy! And he's proficient with saves, but not when he rolls a two. Nope. No. Nope. Roll a, a, a d10, correct? Yep. So roll a d10 One for d10. Noggin. And that, that, that. A, a four. One. So, a one. Well, that's Zito's Yeah, Connor one. has to roll it. Sorry. Oh, oh okay. Sorry. Four. Uh, actions this turn. Uh, no, it's one. The creature uses all its movement to move in a random direction. To determine the direction, roll a d8 and assign a, a direction to each face. I'm gonna say roll a d4. Mm -hmm. One is north, two is east, three is south, and four is west. Counterclockwise. Two. two. So Wait, that's gonna mean clockwise. he is going east. So he runs into Helga. Like, trips over Helga. And Helga just kind of lowers her glasses and then looks to the rest of you guys, like kind of kind of annoyed, but she's like, fuck it, they're having fun. I don't give a shit. But Nuragin trips over face first into the sand. You just hear a, I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> I just glare at, I glare at panic. Skinny has commoner stats. Uh, she rolls an eight and fails. Roll a d10. Oh my God. Two. <laughs> The creature doesn't move or take actions on her turn. Eight. Or eight, sorry, you rolled an eight. Uh, she yeah. randomly makes a melee at attack against someone in her reach. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> uh huh. 
Uh, that is going to be a soft 20 to hit you. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> That's fine. I'll a get bonk damage. on the head. Uh, you take a whopping two points of damage with the wood. Yikes. Your beak, it's your just beak. like, I got it! Punk! As you get bashed in the face. Dabby Good job. Duck, your beak falls to the side three inches and you just put it back. And Doros <laughs> is gonna roll a wisdom save. Uh, yeah, he got rolled an 18 plus a lot, so he's <laughs> fine. Ooh. Yeah, he resists. he's fine. So Log and Doros need to both roll a strength check. So so just straight D twenty for this. Okay. Three. Three. Nineteen. Mm, I think. <laughs> you watch Borky as Log runs up, drops a stick, and hugs the watermelon. Damn it! Ah, <laughs> oh, he's a lover, not a fighter. I should have known better. <laughs> um, uh, Remy, you watch as Doros just takes the stick and then charges like like a sweeping claymore strike and like uppercuts the watermelon and it explodes into pieces. <laughs> Remy, you win. Well, now how, how how are we gonna eat it now? We're supposed to eat it? But I am but I, I haven't I haven't gone yet though. It's your you turn. You don't get yeah. to go, you little cheater. I, I cast can't. shatter. Hey, he's a, he's a <laughs> cheater, a big fat cheater. No, he's not allowed. Now you missed. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a Constitution saving throw for the watermelon. <laughs> Well, okay, but it's with disadvantage. That's unfortunate. The first roll was a 20. Like Ooh. a natural 20. Uh, the second roll is a 19. Damn. Well, it's the a season saving throw. Menacing presence of this watermelon, except it's... for roll the damage. Oh my god, it's emitting so much pressure. 10 thunder damage. <laughs> it fucking explodes. <laughs> hey, you see it's that? Like... It's when, like, people fill, like, watermelons with molten metal and they just fucking explode into nothing. That's what happens to your watermelon. It's like the watermelon from Nietzsche hold... Joe, okay? That's what happens. I hold, I hold my stick up and I'm like, eh. I spin, I spin my, I spin my crossbow and I hold it up in the air, holding the trigger up. Who wants a shot? Um, oh, right here. Right here as well. Directles. Get panic! Get him! Next roll. God damn it! Oh, you oh, shot now he's gonna natural one, bitch. Oh, you, oh, yeah. you shot me in the ass, Greckos. He's gonna he's gonna break the gun. <laughs> Maybe roll for severity, no, I motherfucker, guess. Motherfucker, that's oh, mine. <laughs> I didn't fucking end you. Not my fault you buy on the cheap. Uh, I rolled a natural one for severity. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what happens? Wow. So you like you like fall on wait, run. Wait, wait, wait. That was, that's what happens. But wait, that was a deck save that I rolled. It, same so. stats, same stats. So you oh, run, okay. You run, you run, and you slide Greckles on the ground, and you aim your shot, and then you proceed to like it like shoots out, and you're like this intense music, like da 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 da, and you shoot, and it just kind of <laughs> lands on the ground in front of you. Oh my <laughs> god, that's Jason Bourne. Wait, wait, wait. Does it? Does does the balloon burst? No, it just bounces on the ground. I it's may ch I may chant it to throw it in Panic's face. All <laughs> right, roll uh roll to hit with your spell. Your your spell casting modifier. Uh, okay, then I'll just firebolt this. This isn't an actual firebolt. That's a nat oh, twenty. My oh god. my god! You get panic right in the face with water, with the water balloon. Good job. Good thing you're not the crossbow user. <laughs> I go collect Nirog and I just like panic it up. Borky, Borky, Borky slides, Borky slides up right behind Panic. Nothing personal, Cade. And Porky <laughs> grabs him and eats him into the water again. <laughs> All right. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, Borky, roll an athletics check. Uh, uh, panic, you can roll a acrobatics or athletics of your choice. Uh, I'm that. going to assist Borky in attempts to giving him advantage. Yeah. All right. Borky, you do Grab the other again. leg! Grab the other I, arm! I got Crackles. it, I got it. Everyone help out! We're going to go make the cheetah swim! Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, Borky. Bye, Panic! 21. <laughs> 21. Roll an acrobatics or athletics panic. <laughs> no, you're grabbed 15. and you're thrown. Ah, you get thrown into Here the I water. Go. <laughs> Do you salute on your way into the water? It was like... <laughs> We're all diamond dog. <laughs> Standing. <laughs> That's what you get for being a big old cheetah gr Wow, what was that? Uh-huh. I was gonna call him Greckles. I was just I'm just so 
Tash, Tash just like shakes his head, goes to his box, tips it over, and lets all the water balloons out. Go nuts. All right, people go absolutely buck wild nuts. Uh, <laughs> Kiwi goes insane. Like, you know that clip in like Cloudy with a chance of meatballs where the main character oh. learns about snowball fights and he just starts like abs like bursting into people's homes and hitting them with like snowballs? Like, that's him. He starts running around and just absolutely goes ape shit. Uh, <laughs> he's the kind of guy who would strap a giant water balloon to himself just so he could run into people with it. What you don't know is he's actually got a fucking paintball grenade strapped on him. Damn. Yeah. The absolute. Hostrad is like hiding from me. Whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. Connor. Oh. Crackling. Connor, you're, you're crackling, Connor. I hit mute on him real fast. Throw me in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Connor. I, I did mute you because your, your mic is popping like crazy. Yeah, it's really bad. Okay. Oh, oh no, it's no, still, oh, still oh, there. Oh. Still there, buddy. My god! The mic's busted underwater! <laughs> you yeeted him too hard, Borky. I what happens when you cheat? All at once, everyone starts throwing, like, water balloons at each other. An amazing series of events happens. Meryl is just and running around. Now? Yes! You're fine. Yeah, oh, you're, yeah good, you're, you're good, you're good, you're good. Great. Uh, you guys watch as, like, Kiwi's going absolutely ape shit. Hosra's just avoiding everything. Skinny's like laughing and having a good time. Meryl and Cynthia are splashing each other. Uh, Naragan is just kind of running. Uh, Scarbles is just like tactically dodging. Log is just standing in the middle with his arm outstretched, like, yay! Yeah. Hooray! Ty, Ty is like, oh, oh, like dodging as well. And Doros is like full on, just like protecting Willow, like just like diving in front of her, like get down, Mr. President, whenever like a water balloon comes. By. I'd imagine that she's just cowering behind him. He's unflinching, just water balloon slap. I just imagine him picking her up, holding him in his arms on t as far as his arms will go, and just walking away from the fight with her. Okay, so with seeing Doros do that, I'm gonna pick up one water balloon, walk over to Doros with the water balloon hidden behind my back. I I tap him on the on the shin of his leg. Okay, roll a persuasion check with advantage because he trusts you. Hell yeah. Not for long. <laughs> no, you're right. 12. He rolled a natural one. He turns down and immediately looks down at you. I, I point off in the distance. I, I make him look the other way. Okay, he looks the other way with a natural one. He gives I you throw the... the balloon at, I throw the balloon at Willow and run. <laughs> okay, roll, roll, roll to hit. Roll to hit should be very easy. Uh, a dex or... Yeah, just what you've been using. 13. 13. She has a 10 AC. They're not wearing armor. You deck her right in the face, and it's like a headshot, and so she falls onto her back. And Doris turns around and sees you running and immediately, like, full-on, like, starts body sprinting you, towards you. You remember, the sound, you, you remember the sound that an angry Big Daddy made in Bioshock? <laughs> <laughs> That's, that is what I, you have wrought. I just I just imagine the, 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 the something of series... Remember with with the uh, with the with the Pokemon Battle Royale with the freaking yeah, yeah, yeah. bolting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Dude, our task is just have a. He's like fucking riding high. This is fun. Fuck it, I don't give a shit what uh, happens. Zotira nose dives, uh, and grabs a water balloon and like flies forward towards you, Remy, and just lets it go and it splashes into your face. <laughs> <laughs> he just stands there. Tactical bombing. <laughs> uh, Meryl hits you also, Remy, with a water balloon at the back of your head. And your feathers, like the back feathers, kind of get flipped upwards. Have some fun for fuck's sake! Come on, Remy! He's gonna try to push down the feathers. Remy has. Okay. War Borky has war paint on somehow. Come on, Remy, it's fun! <laughs> Come on, Wolf buddy, it's a good time. Wolverine! <laughs> Wolverine! <laughs> Scarbos is like shaking two water balloons and spinning them like 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 Molotov cocktails, just like spinning them in her arms and throwing them. Bosco? Oh yeah, hi. Are you gonna was do I supposed anything? To... Uh, you didn't know he's gonna anything. he's gonna push his feathers down. Okay, you're not gonna and partake. He's gonna, he's gonna attempt to dodge the next balloon that's thrown at him. All right. Uh, Kiwi swings and throws. Uh, that's an eight, and your AC right now is ten because you're not wearing armor. Okay. So you you like unless you have a dexterity modifier. Um, uh, no. Well, yeah, I have one. So okay. Eleven. It's eleven. Eleven. Yeah. So it swings and it crashes, and you kind of dodge out of the way. 
And Kiwi's like, this is the best ever! And he's just running and like diving into the water and coming out and throwing <laughs> balloons. It's just absolute pandemonium. Uh, Grackles is gonna grab a water balloon and try to stealth around to get to Remy to hand it off to him. All right. Bork is keeping an eye out right now for the one who's coming for his head. The one known as Panic Grim Tongue. <laughs> At this point, Panic. Out of the ocean like Poseidon. <laughs> That's it! <laughs> I'm just imagining him coming out of the water like Principal Skinner. I just... <laughs> 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 Uh -oh. <laughs> I emerge. <laughs> My God! From the depths. Borky just, <laughs> Borky it, just said. Borky mutters under his breath, so only Greckles can hear. Masako. Wait a second, Connor. You have horns, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just picture I underwater. Think so. dun, 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 dun. War, war never changes. So yeah, do I need a do I need a stealth check to cut amongst the pandemonium? I'm gonna say sleight of hand. Yeah, I'd say sleight of hand. Alrighty, let's see here. That is a 26. Oh yeah, Remy, you blink and suddenly you feel something kind of cold and squishy in your hand, and you look down and you see you have a water balloon in your hand. Come on, man, it's a lot of fun. Why don't you go throw it at Lewis Strong? No one seems to be bothering him. Lewis Strong's in the middle of this entire fight, just like on his side. I pour like... a bucket over his head of water and run away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Come on, Remy, what's wrong? We're just having fun. And you are more than allowed to have fun. I'm gonna pick, he's gonna pick up the, the water balloon that was that missed him and hand that one to Greckles as well as the other one. I'll go throw it at him. You throw it at him. I've been throwing enough today. Come on. Hey you have. What did what did Greg, what, what did Panic say? He said, yeah, you have. <laughs> Oh, so you're approaching me? <laughs> oh my god, this is just memes now. Yes. Uh, yes. All right, Remy is gonna take oh, the your one. Husband! Um, Remy is gonna take the one water balloon that's in his hand, and he's gonna turn around and punch Greckles in the face with it. Okay. What the fuck? Oh. Roll with advantage because this is a surprise. Uh, okay. It's a strength check. Yeah, I'd say just a strength. That's going to be an 18. Oh, oh. That'll that hit. I, was, I was about to say it's 15. Good. Cool. <laughs> so he's, it's not going to be for damage. He's just going to basically face palm him to the ground with it. Yeah. He's got a <laughs> burst of water in your face, Greckles. With with his talon over Greckles' beak, Greckles is going to do that double thumbs up on his back. <laughs> yeah, are you happy? Yeah. Uh, I yeah. suppose so. What are you gonna? What have you been doing this entire time? You've just been kind of by yourself, screaming at dragons. <sighs> Arlo. As you look up into the sky, you see Zotir and Arlo kind of flying around. It looks like they're kind of like talking to each other, kind of staying aloft above the water. They kind of look down to the crowd and kind of look back, and they're very clearly talking about something. How far up are they? I'd say they're probably about 30, 40 feet up. Cool. I'm gonna take the last water balloon and just like try to pelt Zoltira with it with Mage Hand. All right. Uh, I'd say once again roll a spell spell attack. Let's see here. That is a 24. Wow. Nice. Yeah. You hit her. And you kind of see her kind of loft her wings, and she kind of begins to fly towards you, like come into like a bit of a nose dive. And she hovers and she tries to grab you. It looks like she's trying to try to grab you and run. Oh, Grickles would be peeling out by then. You're going to be running? Oh, yeah. I got 40 foot base speed. Of course I'm running. I'm sprinting. All right. I'm just with a big, stupid smile on my face as she chases me. It's a shot from Never Ending Story with Falcor chasing those bullies. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah! <laughs> this is not what I expected when leaving the house today. Let me find their stat block here. I put it away. Oh, I'm just, I'm waiting for a non-lethal spell at this point. Do, 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 do. I'm pretty sure she's gonna have like a fly speed of sixty. Uh, yeah, a fly speed of eighty. Oh Jesus! Okay. Oh goodbye. As it's like like a like a B eighty two just starts barreling towards you. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I'm, gonna assume, uh, I'm gonna assume they make. First, plane. she's gonna try and grab you, Remy. So I need you to make either an athletics or acrobatics of your choice. 
<laughs> Great. I'm gonna I'm go with the now. Oh, oh, yeah, no. uh, grabs you yeah. like face first. <laughs> yeah, she grabs Why you. Why did I get right? I didn't do anything. Fuck you, Crackles. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I? Why? He See, rolled no, a, for those fun. for those on the podcast. He rolled a nat one. <laughs> yeah, he rolled a natural one. So Tira just grabs you by the entire front part of your chest. She's pretty big as 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 a as a in her dragon form. Uh, Reckles, I need you to roll for me either an acrobatics or athletics of your choice. If she catches up very quickly to you. Can do. Ooh. That is a seventeen. Uh, I think she's gonna beat you because she got a athletics. No, she doesn't have. That's still that's gonna be a plus six. That's gonna be a twenty-four. Well, of course, it's a dra you. it's dragon stats. She grabs you and takes off into the air with you guys in tow, and like flies out deep into the water. It's kind of bringing you down, so your feet kind of touch the water, and you're kind of like skiing on the water with your bare feet. Greg was just screaming happily the entire time. And she brings you up in kind of like this big sort of spin into the air, and then lets you go up into the air. Uh, I would like to do an acrobatics check to do some cool flip shit. All right, go ahead. That's a 26. Ab oh yeah, you do like oh, any cool flip shit you want with a 26. Triple sow cow, gold medal. Absolutely. Oh my god. The quadruple triple. You must go for the legendary uh, I, move. I, and and uh, for the entry, I, I'd like, can I can I roll for entry? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, acrobatics again or? Yeah, acrobatics. Uh, that's a 10. <laughs> Yeah, Belly it, flops right at the surface of the water. You, you do that thing where you, like you you hit it like going forward, but your back kind of falls back into the oh, water. The, the one. Oh, and the thigh slap or the 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 calf yeah, slap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Remy, as you get tossed into the air, what do you do? Um, hold his arms. Hold up a little <laughs> sign that says "Yikes!" Come on, it's the right thing do to I do. See, do I see Arlo? Uh, as yeah, being... Arlo at this point is heading towards the beach, flying towards the beach, probably doing what his sister is doing. I'm gonna th uh, how far away is he? Oh, he's like maybe 120 feet out. Okay, this should reach him. Hang on a second, what's the distance? Uh, I want to cast Chromatic Orbit him as I'm falling. What? Okay. And I want to make it like a water ball, essentially. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I was like, what? Man, you're out for blood. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, not, it's, it's basically conjuring up water and throwing it at him. Okay. okay. And if Zoltir is in the way, it's gonna hit her too. Roll to uh, hit? Or is it an okay. area of effect? It's an area of effect, so I'm basically just casting it near him. Okay. It's to make a save, correct? Uh, it is... Uh, da -da 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 -da, range spell attack, choose the damage, uh, if the attack hits, so I have to roll to hit him. Okay, so it's your okay. attack bonus. Uh, yeah, my spell thing. attack bonus. I'm gonna roll a d20 plus four. So that's that oh. one. Oh! Great. <laughs> oh. You hit Sotira right in the face. That'll and work. She, That'll work. She spins out, and as Greckles, you and Remy land into the water, this giant shadow of a dragon begins to descend, and you're like, oh, and you guys down and bound below as, as Zotira <laughs> crashes into the water. Do we all pause on the beach and just look at the giant wave that's coming? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Borky, honestly, honestly Bork, that's Bork. the best nat one I could have ever rolled. Borky, that was badass. Borky grabs both Log and Scarbles and holds them to his breasts for safety. Okay, roll a uh, roll a Constitution saving throw to stand your ground. <laughs> this is gonna be wild, guys. Buckle up, buckaroos. Twenty one. This big wave rushes forward and washes everything down. As you hold on to them, they're they're safe. They're fine. Surprisingly, not as bad as the Doros one for some reason. Um, at this point, uh, Remy from the water and the rest of you see as Arlo swings down and grabs, uh, Skinny and Meryl and begins to fly out and he goes farther and farther and farther, farther, just kind of trying to beat his sister. And in the water, uh, Zotira kind of yells out, uh, in Draconic, uh, which task you would understand. Stop, you're going too far! And you hear the sounds of like a tree branch snapping. Uh, Task and Remy can make a perception check with advantage because of your soldier backgrounds. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not 20. That's gonna be a 22. Nice. <clears throat> Let me find something here real fast. Oh dear. Oh, uh, why? Arlo, stop it. Arlo. We're like, oh no. You guys both recognize what that sound is? That's the sound of like a trebuchet. 
I'm sorry. And you watch what? as a bola comes out of nowhere in the depths of the ocean and immediately catches Arlo and his wings, bringing them closely in. You hear this horrendous roar as Arlo begins to plummet as he expels a piece of ice breath and collides with a piece of ice he creates and crashes and splashes into the water. That was a fucking siege weapon! What, what the hell was that? What? Zoltira, get me out there! <laughs> of course! And she takes off and she swings and she grabs you and uh, Greckles and then flies back to shore to pick up Borky, Panic, and Task. I and knew she it! Takes takes off into the air and flies, but as she flies, you see a rope just hovering in air, dragging in uh, Arlo, who is like gasping for air. You see Meryl and Skinny clinging onto him at the moment as he gets pulled in and disappears Ooh. out of nowhere. Into the water? No, on like something invisible in the water. So is he underwater now? No, he's above water. But it looks just, like he's like, constrained. It looks like he's been constrained and the rope has pulled him into something invisible. You're not sure. Like, it's like a... Knowledge Arcana for those of us that can? Absolutely, yes. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a five. So you have no idea what this is. Nice. 22. Task and, uh, task and panic. Six. That's five. Task and panic. Uh, this is some sort of invisibility spell or some sort of invisibility aura, you're not sure. Uh, Zotira breathes out ice onto wherever her brother disappeared, and you begin to see the, the sort of like the, the shape of a ship. And as the ice kind of falls off, it disappears again. It seems to be some kind of ship! It took my ah. brother! And she kind of goes in for a nosedive. Ah! Oh, wow. Here we go. Perception with disadvantage. Ooh, no, you watch as this horrendous impact. I need everybody to make dexterity saving throws for me. Cool. Okay. 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 Right. Okay. Remember, double jump as we're landing. Five, 10, 21, 13. All right. Eight, eight, 17. Zotira flies in. You suddenly watch as she gets completely tangled. You guys feel ropes and cloth as Zotira starts screaming and thrashing. She gets tangled. You guys fall off her back and tumble onto solid ground. And as you touch the solid ground, it becomes visible. And you see now you're on a ship deck, an invisible ship deck. And you begin to see all these different kinds of like seabirds fly in, a pelican menacingly looking at you. Whoa. And you see Meryl currently being held with a blade to her throat. And you see Arlo thrashing, being pinned down by these individuals <laughs> in these black cloaks. And they immediately <laughs> pull weapons and point them towards Are you. Are their faces obscured? They are obscured, yeah. They're wearing, like, goggles and, like, have, like, cloths over their mouths. And y'all thought Remy was crazy. Uh, uh, Remy's, gonna pull his, Remy's gonna pull his sword and summon his shield. Can uh, you, uh, you watch as someone presses the knife a little bit closer to Meryl's neck. Can, can I see what kind of ship this is? Uh, it's invisible, so... Wait a minute. Wait, uh... Wait a minute. Captain Acula? They all kind of like all the, you see now there's a lot more people than you think. There's maybe about 50 people on this ship. It's a big vessel. Bulky, what kid. are you talking about? This ain't no Cap Macula ship. You're on the Lady Mirage's ship. Oh. Okay, so it's not Cap Macula. Never mind. You Does the Lady Arlo... Mirage sound familiar? Uh, roll a history check. It's a death. Oh, it's uh, 14. 14, okay. <clears throat> yep, same. Okay. Uh, you two have not heard of Lady Mirage. Uh, you watch... Uh, I got it. 17? 17. You know about Lady Mirage. Woo! Um, wow, I need to open up my notes. I was not ready to take notes. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. All right. Uh, give me two seconds. And... Okay, go ahead. Uh, Lady Mirage is a mercenary, a okay. seafaring mercenary uh, for hire. Specifically, her expertise is in hunting and slaying sea beasts. Oh. And you know, you know from your experience that she has been working with the Monster Menagerie as of recently. The Monster Menagerie? Yes, yes. That, is the, yeah. that is the one faction of uh, odd creatures. 
right? Uh, that is Lobo Slackjaw's Shit. group. Shit! So, sorry, sorry. Oh. A lot of lore, a lot of lore. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they are currently holding Skinny and Meryl hostage at the moment, and Arlo is like breathing out breath, and he watches a man, like a pretty strong man, slams his head to the ground, and he's just like fighting and twisting, and they just kind of take a bunch of rope and tie it hard and taut as Arlo's, like his eyes are flared sharp and pointed, and he's thrashing and flailing, but they keep pinning him down. Arlo, I need you to relax. We're going to help you. Just calm down. <laughs> Yes, this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's let's not be hasty here. I'm sure we can come to a uh, understanding that all of us are, uh, all of us benefit. Yeah, seems we have yes? ourselves a Tracadian standoff. We do. R Remy is going to put his shield on his back and sheathe his sword, seeing them put the knife to Meryl's throat and step forward. Okay. As you step forward, you begin to hear footsteps. <laughs> as the set of double doors open, and as they open, uh, the ship comes into view. It's almost like a rippling effect, like water, as the entire ship comes into view. It's a very large vessel, very beautiful. And notably, with most ships, you usually see some sort of semblance of repair, you know, either from cannon fire or something like that. This ship doesn't have a scratch on it, probably given the fact that it can turn invisible. Yeah. You watch as the two doors open, and you watch striding out is a woman with long, like, sort of, like, braided black hair that gets kind of pulled back into a hairband. She has a bunch of sort of white markings running down her face. Uh, she's wearing a very fine um, sailor's sort of, like, dress jacket, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, a really nice set of pants. She has two rapiers on either side. And as she strides out, behind her comes padding. <laughs> A humanoid faced creature of a large size, about the, twice the size of a lion, comes pushing through the two doors. It has a set of baleful black bat wings, a human face with serrated teeth, a mane of fur, and the tail oh, no. of a scorpion. Oh, fuck. Fuck. God. It's a manticore. Oh, it is a manticore. Yeah. It is a manticore. It's a, probably her pet. It's a man eater. It kind of goes for it and kind of smells around Skinny and Meryl and goes, we've got a little extra bounty in this hunt. It talks. It talks. Holy shit, it talks. Now, now. She kind of pets it and goes, and it seems we have some boarders. Good cover fire, gentlemen. May I help you? Let our friends go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty obvious why we're so here, ma'am. Uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, the large one and the, and the two smaller ones, especially the, uh, <clears throat> the human child, uh, they're, they're, they're employees of ours, associates, yes. And, uh, we would really, we would really like them, uh, like them back, if that's at all, at all possible. Oh, I'll give you these two back. She kind of points to Meryl and, uh, Skinny. Uh, but this is my bounty. And she kind of, like, takes a rapier and taps Arlo's shoulders. This uh, stays uh, with me. Uh, me, me, uh, That's a problem. She's one. He's one of our employees. Yeah, he is. But like, how much is his bounty? Odd question. I know, but it's curious. Bulky. What? I'm curious. <laughs> well, dragon teeth and bones go for a fair price. A set of skin is very. Oh, well, like that, dragons. Uh, ma'am, ma'am, uh, ma that's not bounty. That's just that's just parts. You see, I thought he did something wrong. He did nothing wrong. You used to be a bad person, I think. Uh, we <laughs> may have. Come to blows over this, I do fear. But I'm gonna err on the side of the most mature one here. Remy. So, Remy, take it away. Thank you, Walkie. Uh, Lady Mirage, correct? Yeah. I presume. Of the Monster Menagerie. Hmm. Lobo Slapjaw, personally. I see. A world renowned hunter and slayer of sea beasts. I know of your reputation well. I understand why you have captured our friend. It is quite the catch for someone of your status. However, if there is an accord to be reached, he is a friend of ours. Perhaps we could set you in the direction of even greater prey. For you what see, he is but a boy. Be? There have been dragons all over the land of Alavas that I have seen. 
Surely yeah. there must be greater challenges than a mere boy to pick. It's not a boy. It's a beast. And you watch as she slams her foot down on Arlo's snout. And you... <clears throat> yeah, um... You're delusional, sir. Dragons are not people. I'm standing right here, bitch. Uh, Task, please. Look, I... The... I have not properly introduced myself. My name is Remus Corbeau. I actually have dealings with this one's father. Have you ever heard of the Silver King? Don't know, and frankly, I do not care. You are wasting my time. Kindly leave my ship, or you are forfeit. You hear a bunch of crossbows cock. <laughs> Remy's gonna pull his sword back out. Hold on, hold on. Everyone needs to call. The manticore kind of like leers in front of her, like just stands in front of her, just kind of smiling and licking its lips. Miss Mirage, is it? <sighs> you may not know and not care now, but he is a dragon king. And if you hear that you've slaughtered his children, there may be much horrible repercussions than what we or Alavas could produce. Monty, can I sleight of hand the pendant to Arlo? Uh, I believe you gave that to someone, didn't you? No. No, he Wait, still has it on him, but you also, you also like, aren't near he's him. He's, like, really far away from you at this position. Like, she's between us and him, so you'd have to, like, walk over to him. You so, guys are, like, in the center. Uh, she is tangled currently in the fucking mass. You see now, as you look up, she is completely wound up and, like, tied up in all the different rigging on the vessel, and she's trying her best, but now there's a whole bunch of armed crossbows pointed towards her as well. Fuck. Borky, Borky's gonna, can Borky sleight of hand slowly slide Gripples out of his back pocket and slide him down to the ground? Go ahead. Go ahead and make a sleight of hand check. <laughs> I didn't think we had any gear on us. Yeah, we don't have any gear. What, what's Borky always hides him conveniently in his pants. There's a four. Never... As you reach forward, I need everyone to roll initiative. Ah, yeah, beans. I, I tried, guys. All right. That's a nine. Oh, uh, uh -oh. can we take a quick pee break? Yes, this is the pee break point. All right. Oh, uh, that's gonna be a fourteen for Remy. Soft twenty for Greg for Borky. I kind of noticed that everyone kind of like. Twenty one. On the Discord, people kind of like winced when I said that. I'm just like, I'm sorry, but she kind of like is being like super racist to dragon folk. No, no, no. Hey, t t that was the perfect reaction for Task. Like, that was on point. Panic. If you like walking up in the hood in and just starting talking shit, you're going to get hit. It's just that she's in a position of, of power right now with young hostages. <laughs> exactly. Where it's like, man, fuck you, bitch. Cuts throat. Oh, oops. No, oh, she, no. Gave, she, she gave us the other two. No, she didn't. She has no. No, she didn't. They're still there. That's oh, the good. problem. Oh, uh, so j can you, while we're on break, by the way, if you guys want to get uh, food and water and pee, uh, could you give us a general? Lay are you going to have a map for us, or can you give us a general? I was, of but because this is so situational, I didn't finish it because I'm like, fuck it, I can't make this work. So we're going to use no, the like mind. Yeah, can you just give us a general idea of, like, the number of people that we see in their You parking? see at least, like, visually within your radius, you see about 30 different sailors. Okay. And then okay. her and, they... and the manticore. And they all have crossbows? I'll be right back. Yeah, they're all armed to the fucking teeth. Oh, boy, this is not going to be good. All right. Are there any loose weapons within sight? No. Okay. The deck is the the surprising thing is the deck is very clean. There's no cannons on the deck either. Hmm. But no trebuchet like launch or anything like that. There is at the front of the ship. There oh, is. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. It appears to have not been reloaded. It, it seems like a bola thrower. Like it's a it throws bolas in the air to catch mm -hmm. things out of the air. Uh, do we know what material is holding Arlo? Does it look like rope? Uh, chain and rope. Yes. Oh, chain, chain and rope. And rope. Got it. Okay. okay. That changes the idea. Okay, good to know. What's the What's the ship made of? Like a. It's made of like a really metal? nice hard, hard dark wood. It's like it's like a dark deep like deep wood. Like you know Minecraft, like the dark wood. Yeah. Like that with like a very nice like purple red trim. Hmm. Do um. Do any of these guards have sheathed offhand weapons? You can't, they're wearing like big cloaks. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, yeah. I didn't know what they looked like. Yeesh. 
Is this what you had planned for last week? Yep. Oh, because uh -oh. <laughs> we were like at the hour mark. That would have been interesting. It was going to happen sooner, but then you guys want to have a water boom flight. I'm like, this is fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Oh, man. Also, hi, chat. How you doing, chat? Yeah, I just popped in here to see everybody. Hello, I am back. Hello, right. welcome back. Hello. I am going to grab water. I wanted to do that, but then I was getting asked questions, which is fine. But I need water really badly. Someone said, hi, bulls. That's not really my name, but I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering what Helga's doing at this point. Uh, Vacation Helga. Vacation Helga. <laughs> Oh. Burnout Vaughn says, Busco, save Arlo. He has to owe you. I mean, I'm going to try. Uh, a game I player mean, says, hello, Goomba and Bosco. I, I hope we fucking do this, because that would be a huge paradox if it didn't. Well, here's the thing. There is a time gap between now and when you get back, so we don't technically have to save him. Like, he could be captured, and then when you guys come back, we have to go get him. I'm so back. What if, oh, jeez. So what if one uh, of us gets, like, killed? Okay, so guys, don't ruin the theater of the mind. Just stop. <laughs> Just don't, don't even bring that up. Just let people enjoy the show. There are stakes here. Dark says, "How the Bears season looking? Not bad. That we didn't double doink it last time. That was a fun game on Sunday." What does that mean? So double doink means so doink is the sound that people have made up for when a ball hits this metal crossbar. And so a double doink is when it hits two different crossbars because there's three that make up the goal. And so in the playoffs last year, the ball hit it twice and the Bears lost, so it's called the double doink. Uh... That's as plain as I could probably describe that. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, TM Sking, thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. 18 months. We appreciate that, good sir. Oh. Jeez, last kerfuffle. Last kerfuffle with the... Uh, 1,200 and... 1, 2, one, two five, six, 3, 4... Seven. I'm going to say 20. Yeah. 220? Yeah. Uh, I woke up this morning with a sore throat to immediately take a calculus test. Damn. Oh. But I think I did well, and Unexpectables later made my day get progressively better. I'm loving the session so far. Well, that is all compliments to Monty. We're, she, we're drinking... She is... Ahead, I was gonna say she's the best bean. Go ahead. Sorry. We're we're drinking it in while we can because next week is just gonna be combat, oh, combat, combat, crazy combat. combat. Yeah. yeah, you guys are in trouble, and what I'm not there to mean? tank. I don't know if you could tank this, honestly. I, mmm, mmm, Bubby. Could you? Let's could put you? This, let's put it this way. I have enough hit points for you could run away. We can't run. We're in a stationary position, buddy. Oh, right. The entire oh, well. hell is coming after us. Well, then, yes, you would just quiver behind me in fear. Oh, okay. No, I, that was a very appropriate response, Zito. I was actually like, hell yeah, you tell her. Okay, cool, because like, I, the last thing I want is people to think like it was directed or anything, you know? No, she's an <laughs> asshole. Okay, she, cool, cool. She, she is a la bitch, yeah. Hey, Bosco, how was your Monday? My Monday was great. Thank you for asking. I appreciate that. And yes, I am explaining sports ball. That is the thing. The, the Talibs with a tier two subscription. Uh, thank you for subscribing for four months. We appreciate it. Three month streak. We definitely agree. Uh, Ice booth with the 300 bits. Hey, y'all, my character might die in my next D&D session. Should I use a rat folk bard or a wild magic yuan tea? As a backup, okay. wild magic is a lot yeah. of fun. Wild actually. magic, yawn, rat, tea, yeah. Rat, rat, folk. That brings me right back to power. Listen, climate. I like rat folk as well, but yawn yeah. tea in the current meta is busted as fuck. So take that. It don't is. say, don't say D and D meta. Those words shouldn't come together. <laughs> also, yeah, don't. Why would you meta game like that, Dino? Uh, as, uh, uh, as a DM, uh, don't you want people, people, people to not break your game? game? Don't you want people to not break your game? Hi that guys, I can. The, 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 I came back at the, the right meta moment. is. The meta right. is being on the DM's good side. Ah. Uh, oh go. no. It's true. Okay. What if, what, what if you're related? The, the that best, sounds like the a... best. The best. The best way to win a D and D is to get everyone at the table laughing all at once, or everyone grabbing each other in anticipation all at once. It's true. That's how you. That win is it. how you win a D and D. 
which is why the weekend was amazing, because that happened over and over and over again, which was great. <laughs> nice noise. All right. You guys back? We're ready to go? Yep. We are. Let's do it. Let's... All right, task. Immediately, everyone, it's almost like a, like a, like a shootout. Everyone grabs their crossbows. Uh, what are you doing? You have nothing on your hands at the moment. I grabbed Runfold. No one said they had gear except for Remy. Oh, no. Yep. Well, Borky has his wrestling. Nobody said they had gear. There's a reason Remy brought gear. Uh, I wasn't right. sure that was an option. I, th I thought it was, yeah, he brought, I didn't know like, that minimal was an option. Gear. He brought minimal gear. Well, none of you are wearing your armor, so you just for you to carry your weapons. You don't have your... Okay, so, so time out, nope. time out. Let's make an official call. Monty, what would you allow us to have? You have your spells. Mm -hmm. so you can use. You can do your spells. Mm -hmm. But you do not have weapons. Okay. There okay. you go. Borky goes Except in. Except for the gear specifically guitar. stated, you do not have your guitar. I would expect you would not bring that shit to the beach. Press the digitation. <laughs> <laughs> a Borky goes into a frenzied rage. There you go. Borky goes into an orky rage! Oh, it's not your turn, apparently. It's Task's turn, currently. Oh, task, you up first. You do uh, have Task. You do have your water balloon gun. Like, you have your water balloon crossbow. Do bar. it! Oh my god, do it! Can I equip the pendant to shoot it at Arlo? Uh, I'm gonna say no. Damn it. What, what the fuck good's a water balloon gonna do? Who's the closest, like, Nimrod to me? Uh, I'd say the Manticore. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, no, like, random schlub I can take their actual weapons? The closest random schlub would be the person currently holding Meryl at knife point. <sighs> the hot situation. I, the only thing I would do at this situation, if I was allowed, I would shoot, uh, I would shoot the guy holding one of the hostages so they have a chance to get out. Alright, go ahead and roll the hit. Do it right in the face. Nineteen. Nineteen? That hits. It totally hits. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking doink the dude in the face with a water balloon so one of them can escape. All right, oh, you oh, do oh, that, oh. and the guy goes, ah! And he gets splashed in the face. Uh, he is currently holding Skinny. That's the one you hit. Which gives Skinny an opportunity attack to slash him with her claws because yeah. she is a taxi with an unarmed claw attack. Yeah! Come on, Skinny. Uh, that's good. That's a 17 plus 2. So she swipes out. All right, roll for damage here. Claw attack is... Okay. Fucking A, max damage. All right, you watch as Skinny swings around and slashes the guy in the throat, and he's like, like, covered in water, and grabs his throat and staggers to his knees as Skinny runs towards you guys. He's looking really terrible already. Okay, Monty. cool. Uh, as a move action, I'm gonna try and find a way to circle around back to Arlo. All right, you go to run around and you bump into something and you turn and immediately someone comes out of visibility. Oh jeez. What of a bitch. Oh well. All right. Mm. Wait. Panic. Mm. Okay, I got an idea. But continue. Panic. It is now your turn. Mm. How how clumped together are all of these? <laughs> Yeah. Closest they are, uh, besides the two people holding the, the hostages, everyone is about probably 20 feet apart at most, or if not 10 feet apart at a time. Mm. The most you can hit are the two hostage holders, uh, Lady Mirage and the Manticore. Uh, I am going to... With the power of my voice, with my devil blood that runs through my veins that I don't know about at this current juncture, <laughs> I'm going to cast Fairy Fire. Okay. Uh, that's a dex save. They all need to make dex saves. Yep. Okay. I love so... the idea of people using their abilities without knowledge before and they learn what the hell it is. Set fire to this uh, boat. <laughs> the Lady Mirage rolled a 15. Nope. He Hell yeah! Fired. The Manticore. Let me grab his stats real fast. Oh shit! Unfortunately, I had to take out all of my Post-it note tabs, so I forgot to redo that. So just give me two seconds here. Actually, I just page thirteen. Manticore. Uh, rolled an eighteen plus uh three, so that's me. He, he, he succeeds. He succeeds. He's he succeeds. Fine. 
The two hostage takers, the one that Skinny got, uh, rolled a 19. Natural 19. Uh, plus. One succeeds. Yeah. The other one, uh, rolled a 9, so he fails. The yep. one holding Meryl fails. I'm going to bonus action barb hide. All right, you, <laughs> you spike out immediately. I'm gonna look at this dude uh, that I just very fired, the one that's holding Meryl, and I'm just gonna yell at the top of my lungs, Aah! and I'm gonna start <laughs> charging at him. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Roll an intimidation check for this. <laughs> While I grab some. 11. Music. Oh, I was about to. I was gonna ask about that. Yeah, I'm the king of the forest. <laughs> All right, you definitely startle the one guy who's already injured. Uh, Lady Mirage and the man of course seem unaffected, but the other men are like, "Whoa! <laughs> like, what the hell is this?" <laughs> All right, Porky, it's now your. Oh, I think. Well, I wait. I actually, I actually, I think something happens while I have barbed hide on specifically. Uh, uh, no, never mind. I thought it was, I thought it was something to do with the uh, intimidation check specifically, but no, it's fine. Never mind. All right. It's now good. Borky's turn. Well, Borky, I guess at the same time as Panic also charges forward. All right. The Bork Manticore at this point is going to try and grab you, Borky. Good. I want to wrestle it. with the Manticore. All right, it's gonna try and get a bite attack on you. Uh, ooh, that was cocked. Roll that. Uh, all right, that's gonna be plus. That's gonna be a twenty-two to hit you. Yes, it hits me. Don't forget, boys, your AC is plus your dex. Mm -hmm. Plus your dex. Although uh, thankfully I have a shield, so it's plus my shield too. All right. I have this. Nine points of piercing damage. Have down Ew. to four. Uh, by the way, I did go into a frenzied rage too. Yeah, that does. That means you get half damage. So you're gonna have advantage on your attack. Or uh, you can do with your bonus action. You can do an additional attack action, so but re... not this turn because you just activated that using that bonus action. Okay, so I didn't get an attack then. Yeah, you get to attack, but the Manticore was waiting to see if someone would run past it, and you you triggered oh, its reaction. Oh, action. okay. Yeah, that, it held that, its action. There we go. You. That's why I was confused. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Strategy. It is, it is still your turn. What do I take? Um, How much damage do I take again? Four. If you raged, four points of damage. I did rage. Uh, oh. I would like to grapple the manticore. Oh, oh my man. god. I wish to place the manticore in a headlock. Hey, you know what? That's actually really helpful considering. All right, go ahead and roll an athletics check. How I, wild would it be if we I, start up next right, episode and Borky's just not there anymore? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what happened? This will be your action. You'll have advantage on this because you're raging. All right, this will be, uh, you said athletics? Yeah, with advantage, because you're raging. Ah, and Borky, 25. Uh, it was almost a natural 20, but then it just took, went over one more. Woo. Uh, that's going to be a 19 for it. No, you grab it, you put it in a headlock, <laughs> and it starts roaring and whipping its scorpion tail around. I slide down to my ass to drag its face to the freaking floor. Uh, is that is that is that it? Is that it for me? That's, That's your turn. That is your turn. Ah! Uh, we're just roaring at each other's faces right now. It is now the enemy's turn. Uh, that's bad. They have a hostage. All right. Uh, the person holding Meryl is gonna try and knock her out with the blunt of his blade. Bitch. She is a commoner. Hey. I'm yeah. He, I'm surprised he didn't just cut her throat. He is very fired. They, they are like, because she sees this hunk of hunk of burning love running towards her with <laughs> all of his barbs out. A hunk of hunk of burning love. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's gonna hit. That's a 19 plus a lot. Damage. Yeah. She takes the back of his blade and punches Meryl in the face, and she just goes limp in his hand and he just takes her hoists her over his shoulder and disappears through the cabin oh, he disappears bad. yeah he goes through the double doors that the captain came out of and, and slams the doors closed with meryl well she's dead all right lady mirage is going to pull up a hand crossbow and she's going to aim it towards you panic 
Oh, don't do it, bitch. Don't do it. Uh, that is going to be plus. Uh, her deck. This is going to be proficient. That's going to be a fourteen to hit you. You are yeah. unarmored, so that is going to hit. Yeah. Okay. Just barely, actually. <laughs> My uh, my uh, unarmored AC would be thirteen, I think. Uh, that is going to be a five points of damage to you. Ooh, that sucks. Hellish rebuke. Okay. <laughs> oh. Dexterity saving throw for her. Yeah. Uh, that is going to be a fifteen. No. <laughs> no. He takes. Ew! 22 points of fire damage. That definitely, her coat ignites into flames, and she screams and throws it off. Bitch, I told you don't do it. All right, so <laughs> she's going to use uh, the only legendary action that she has. Huh? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> None of Snap her fingers, and the boat goes completely invisible, including all of her allies and herself. Oh, yeah? Except for the manticore. Well, fuck that. Because she's fairy fire. That is fired. true. She is fairy fire. So you do see it. And as she kind of fades out, she goes, what? And kind of looks at her hands. Yeah, that's what I'm talking I told about, you Connor. don't do it. I told you don't do it. And was All she right. the only one hit or was it anyone else hit with it? <laughs> there was the guy with Meryl. The guy with Meryl was hit and the manticore. Did manticore pass? I think the manticore pass. Manticore. Yeah, 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 yeah. passed too. All right. Don't uh, let go, Borky. I told him. I warned them. I told them don't do it. All righty. Uh, and then they're gonna take some shots towards you guys. So the first one is going to be uh, you cast. If it beats a 15, it, it wins. All right, I just need to kind of close enough tab, sorry. I have like so many stab locked out again. Your unarmored AC is 15? It's yeah, it's two. It's five. It's yeah, Dex. Just, my, my, just my, got to that. My, ar <laughs> my unarmored AC is 15 by default. <laughs> Oh, come I on. I don't think it's how it's calculated. It should, I think, just be 10. It's when you wear no, leather is. armor, it adds your dex, unless it's just, that's how it is. No, it's, I thought I mean, it was unarmored, it's with dex. Unarmored, unarmored is with your dex, yes. Oh, okay, I'm an idiot, sorry. Uh, yeah, right. that, you got that quick it's feet. The, it's the specific unarmored defense things you get soft. from Monk or Barbarian, which adds constitution or wisdom. Yeah, yeah. Correct, yes. Uh, soft 20 to hit you, Tass. All right. Uh, wow, what a great roll. Uh, it's gonna be two points of piercing damage <laughs> to you. Uh, <laughs> next one is going the to pack, no! Yeah, you just get shot and then you hear like a popping noise is when your water balloons just kind of deflate. You're like, damn it, <laughs> motherfucker! Uh, Borky, that is going to be a, uh, 16 to hit you. It hits me. Uh, that's a bit better. That's going to be five points of piercing damage cut down to two. Oh my goodness. I love rage. Oh. Remy. Yep. Uh, 13 to hit you, unarmored. 13 is exactly my AC. Hits. Ooh. Really? Nine points of piercing damage. Oh, that's fine. I'm running. I'm still running. We're good. Arrow straight in his forehead. I, I, I almost feel like this music's great. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, did you say you had your shield with you? You summoned it? I summoned it. It's so it's plus, plus two. two, so it'd be it'd be eleven plus two is thirteen. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, Greckles. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is going to be a eighteen to hit you. Mm -hmm. Uh, you take two wait, points. Wait, was this an wait was this an arrow that hit me? Yeah, it was a crossbow bolt. Oh damn. Uh, you take two points of piercing damage, Greckles. Okay. And I'm gonna say panic again. You're gonna uh -oh. get hit again. Uh, no, completely misses. It's an eight. It kind of whiffs and all it strikes near your feet out of nowhere. I would like okay, everybody. Still <laughs> I told would... them to do it. I, uh, I would like everybody to roll perception checks for me. Uh, vision or sound? Uh, vision. Okay. That's going to be a 16. 14. 12. 14. Okay. Forky? Hurt? Yes. Well, so sorry, you guys. Perception. Oh, perception. I am sorry. You guys cut out there for a second. I'm, I'm no, you're good. Okay, I'm rolling perception here. Correct. Yeah. Is yep. there a lag going on here? There we go. There you go. Nine. Nine. Sorry. All right. Task, Panic, and Remy. You see something coming over the horizon towards where the beach was. 
Can we tell what it is? <laughs> I give me a second to describe this really fast. Oh. Oh, ever, it's Helga, isn't it? Have you ever seen like the steamboats, like that have like the big kind of like um like the rolling? I don't know what they're called, but like the little um the rotors in the back that almost yeah. like a water wheel. The propellers. Yeah. You, know, yes. you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. I want you guys, as you see coming over the horizon at a mock pace speed, is a completely fitted log. Uh, steamboat like that, currently with smoke bellowing out of it, like speedboating towards this pirate ship. And as you look no closer, Remy, you see everyone from the beach on that boat. Let's go! You All see of the running. Warriors. Is, you see as running in the rotors is Taurus galloping on one steam rotor, and you see Scarbles like running on all fours in the other, keeping the engine going. Good. It's good that our it's good, it's good that our pets are doing that. Uh, you watch as Doros is gonna make a strength check here. He's gonna do a Superman. And Lewis Truck's hanging like face first in the water off the side of the boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You watch as Doros like swings his arm around and throws something towards the boat. And you see flying through the air like like Mission Impossible style kiwi, <laughs> who lands and tumbles right in front of you guys and pulls out two sticks and is like, I'm ready to fight! And he just runs in. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Ah, just stabs a guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, kiwi is going to attack. That's gonna hit. Oh uh, he God. goes for he goes for the guy who had skinny like tied up because he's bleeding still and he takes the bat of wood and that's gonna be six points of damage he slams the guy in the face and the guy goes flying off the ship and into the water below and Will kiwi just like great. like will head like he just like screams at the top of his lungs your allies have arrived fantastic <laughs> all righty it is now remy it is now your turn okay uh so i saw the reinforcements coming yeah uh, is Greckle still behind me? Uh, yes, he's behind you still. I haven't moved yet. Okay. Greckles, we have reinforcements, but we need to get that amulet to Arlo. I'm already on it. Uh, Remy is going to charge the lady if she's still visible. Okay, yeah, she's she totally is. visible. Okay, cool. So obviously there's no charge in this, but he's going to run up to her. Uh, how far is she away? Uh, she is probably forward about maybe 40, 50 feet or so. Okay, perfect. Uh, so I can make in that. running this way, you, you the Manticore will get an attack of opportunity against you, but it is grappled, so it would be with disadvantage. That is totally fine. All right. I'm gonna run. The Manticore, who's currently in a headlock, uh, swings. Where is my Manticore stats? Come on, that's a troll. I don't need that. I need Manticore. Yeah. God, I hope there it's not go. a troll. That's much worse. Oh uh, shit, they brought a, they brought a cave be... troll. A 10 to hit you. That's gonna miss that as it miss. swipes. Actually, that was. Advantage. No, the other one was a natural 20, so it's That's a five plus. Thank you. Five, so it's a 10, it misses uh, you. Ooh. As you charge towards Lady Mirage. Cool. Uh, I have a question. The crossbow, two handed or one? Uh, the crossbow in her hand? Correct. Is she, did she fire with hand, two hands? Hand crossbow. Hand crossbow, okay. So uh, I am going to attempt an attack, but it's going to be a disarm attempt at the hand crossbow. So. Uh, if I understand how 5e works, I make an attack roll, and that's the DC she has to beat with either an acrobatics or athletics. Uh, I'm going to... Okay. S roll it back. Disarming okay. strike, I believe, is a specific uh, fighter subclass option. You cannot do that. Oh, you can't you have do that, that. normal thing. No, you, it is... Actually, you can. You can disarm, I... but battle masters are better at it. Okay. Yeah, because normally it's just a straight roll. It's basically attack versus either athletic. Yeah, or that's an action. Yeah, that is so an action to do that. It is an attack option. If All right, you, I you will prefer... say if you hit, I will yeah. say it'll be it'll be contesting athletics checks. All right, perfect. That'll work. If you uh, so, do you want me to swing to hit? Yeah, swing to hit. Got it. Uh, so it's gonna be it's... a ten. That's gonna miss. Uh, uh, All right. Uh, uh, fuck. At least I still have one more swing. All right, swing again. Okay. Uh, that's going to be an 18. That hits. Awesome. I'm going to say for this, she can use her acrobatics because of the nature of her it's, weapons. Oh, no, you get to it's, pick. It's whichever one you want to use. It's athletics yeah, it's or a acrobatics. Con, it's, a contested, it's a contested athletics or acrobatics check. Correct. Right. So she has to beat an 18 unless we want to do it a different way. All right. Uh, she rolled a 19 plus. 
Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, man. So that'll be a 27. So. Yep, oh, that wins. Eight? Yeah. All right. Yes, that's good to know. Plus eight. I mean, to be fair, I have a plus 10 on short bow, so. She's, she's a pirate captain. She knows what she's doing. Yep. All right. He's All right. going to. Good try, though. That was a really yeah. good idea. Wait, yeah. isn't she fairy fire? Oh, she is. Mm. You need to what have advantage. Mean, yeah, she is fairy fire. So that would be a nat 20? Would that cancel out the invisibility? What do you mean? You're the fairy dude. fire, fairy fire. You cannot benefit from invisibility when you're fairy fired. Okay, good to know. So technically, the first the one hit. The first one would have been a natural 20. So, the the a first... natural 20. Okay. so let me just roll here and just see if she beats a natural 20. Okay. Uh, No, so that I'm gonna say retroactively, like you swing the first time and she kind of parries your blow and you swing the second time and you manage to like loop the uh, hilt of your sword in her hand crossbow and like toss it over the side of the water and it boop, disappears. Nice. And uh, narr narratively, he's just gonna hold the blade uh, to her throat okay. um, when he finishes that parry. This is the part where you stand down. Greckles, go! And then- All right, Greckles, it is now your turn. Greckles brings up his hands. Shakai Shin. Boost the And uh, casting uh, mirror image. Okay. So let's see here. This is a bit lengthy. It is, uh, yeah. I've seen Connor use this spell multiple times. Yep. Three, so, so you have you have multiple duplicates. We'll, we'll we'll figure it out once we get to that point and so people start three, trying to hit you. Three. You you see uh, Greckle's image blur and, and hasten as it splits into uh, four complete images. And uh, with my bonus action, I'm going to bolt. I got 80 feet to work with. I'm going to tr attempt to grab the amulet off of Task and then try to beeline it to Arlo. Okay, I'm gonna say that's 10 feet to grab it from Task and then the rest of your movement. Okay. It's a good ass spell. Are you, are, are you double moving or? Yes. Oh I'm no, you can't. You cast. I can dash as a bonus action. Oh, nice, badass. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's rogues, baby. That, okay, that's what I thought. I'm like, All I right. know you can run fast. You run over and you reach Arlo at this point, uh, but that will take your actions at that point. That's fine. He is surrounded by a bunch of dudes, and they That's aren't going to be just letting you run up and slap him on the face. So That's why I casted that, so yeah. go for it. Oh, righty. It is now your ally's turn again. <laughs> Yay! Get closer, Boat. Uh, I need everybody to make strength saving throws as, a, as the steamboat, which you now see is being piloted by Iggy. Yeah, Iggy! Oh, let's go, baby! that one. Oh, uh, no. Ooh. That's going to be a 17. Okay. Uh, that'll be a 10. Oh. Soft one. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. blasted one. I have an do I have an advantage on strength saves right now? Yes, you do. Yeah, you're yes, you do because you're raged. You're, you're raging, yeah. so yeah. Which means you should also be really 24. good at them. 24. You yeah, you're fine. Uh, you watch as Iggy, like, initial D, like, drifts. Yeah. The, this, this, like, little steamboat. And immediately, like, crashes into the side of it. And the entire boat buckles and like wanes over to one side. At this point, I actually have to roll uh, for Arlo as well and Skinny. Like, disadvantage because he's restrained. That's really bad. Skinny, natural 20 for Skinny. Damn. Skinny's live. Uh, you watch as Skinny like jumps into the air and does like a front flip as the boat shakes over. Arlo though, Greckles, you watch as Arlo, who hasn't been fully secured to the boat yet, oh, no. slides off the side of the boat and oh, God. In the water. Cool. And all the men kind of try to go, damn it! And like reaching over to try and grab the ropes as they slip through their grasp. But at this point, all of your allies have no boarded the ship. You watch as Doris lifts up with like Willow on his back and Willow has pulled out her spell book. You watch as Vel just kind of cracks her knuckles and climbs up the side of the boat and grabs like a piece of wood that she probably had at the beach, like the driftwood she was training with over her side. And immediately they turn to you and they say, your orders, bosses. Unexpectables, members of the sweet dragon. Let's show them something they never expected. Immediately, everyone starts charging off the boat, except for Iggy, who's just like, I'll stay here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm idling. I'm parking it. Beep, beep, beep. I, I, will, I will scream to them, though. Meryl's inside. Find her. Uh, Task, you get thrown off the side, and you are holding onto the edge of the ship at the moment as you get flung through the air, almost like, you know, when you're tubing and you get bounced into the air. 
<laughs> that was you. You managed no. to catch a rope and like land before crashing into the water, but you're definitely displaced at the moment. Cool. Alrighty. Back around the turn order. Task. You are holding on. Technically, you're prone. I'm going to say it's going to take half your movement to pull yourself back onto the ship. Wait, am I on the side of the ship? Yeah, you got almost uh, flung over the side, but you is, caught the edge. Is Arlo hanging off the side of the ship? No, he went off the ship. He's in the water, and you see I'm bubbles. diving after him. All right, go into a full nose dive. I'm going to say for this, uh, roll a athletics check, I'll say. The save on this won't be too terrible, because the water's not that bad. Nice, roll yeah, 10. Easy enough. You, you like, let go, and you, like, do, like, a backward swan dive into the water, and as you go, you see Arlo sinking, thrashing and twisting at the chains around him. Uh, I dive after him just to get the pendant to him. All right, you're getting closer at this point. You're maybe, like... 30 feet or so away from him as he's sinking. Buddy, I took the pendant from you. I have two it of looks them. Like you... Oh, you do have two of them. Okay. He has both of theirs. Okay. All right. Panic Ooh, is now me. your turn. All right. Where, where am I right now? I, I was charging at that dude, and then he just fucked up. <laughs> yeah, he left. You're currently standing next to Skinny, who's standing uh, neck nearby the ship captain at the moment. There are a whole bunch of other men, though, specifically the ones nearby who are, like, tying down Arlo, um, of which have pulled out weapons now. So you got you got quite a few juicy targets to choose from. Um, so the, 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 the dude who escaped with Meryl, mm -hmm. he it just, just went through, like, some doors? Yeah, he did. Also, he's very fired. Yeah, he, he is. He is very fired, so I... All right, so... Are the doors open? Yeah, they're like kind of eh, 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 swinging a little bit. Uh, well, first of all, I will say this: see. if you try to go through the doors, uh, Captain Mirage will get an attack of opportunity on you. Uh, that's all right. Um, just first, I'm gonna cast uh, blindness on her. Okay. He needs to make a Constitution saving. Okay. Wow. Uh, oh, natural 20. I'm so sorry. Nah, beans. Plus one, 21. Son, not Bob. All right, Panic, what you doing? Uh, Come on, take the hit. Be a hero. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna I'm gonna charge down towards the guy that, that took Meryl away. Only one swing. You got this. Let's go, Connor. As you crash into double doors, the uh, Captain Mirage is gonna take an attack of opportunity on you. This is with that her is... fist, though, correct? Because she has no other weapons. She has a rapier. Oh, got it. Did she have it drawn already? Yeah. She Damn. kind of crossbows one hand, rapiers with the other. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so that's gonna be a nine, which I think is gonna miss too. Ooh, yeah. nice. You rolled a three. Mm. Uh, she swings and you jump over her rapier and do like a front tumble and burst through the doors. Jack you see now, yeah, you see there's like, as you open in, you can see the inside of the ship. Um, and as you go inside, you see that in front of you is a staircase that we're on the other side, you can go down. So currently like you're looking at kind of like a, um, a series of like, um, um, railings right now in like a U shape. But on the other side, you see the head of the guy going down and you see Harold, like Meryl bobbing down. So he's heading down to the lower deck. I am going to, as soon as I dodge out of the Lady Mirage's strike, I get up in her grill and I say, if Lobo couldn't stop me, what fucking hope do you have? And I'll bolt after the guy that has Meryl. <laughs> All right. That brings us round. Bonus action. Wait, you got a bonus action? I... I'm going to use the, the battle cry that I did when all the employees boarded to activate Mantle of Inspiration. Okay. Mm. Uh, I'm, five, how many people can you choose with that five ability? People. Only five? Okay. Five. All right, I choose, we... uh, wait, ta Task is underwater at this point, right? Yeah, Task yeah. is underwater. All right, I can't see him and he probably can't hear me. So I choose Forky. Pikachu. Yay. Doros. Okay. Vel. Is Helga there? Uh, she doesn't appear to be on the ship yet. Uh, then, then, then yeah, her. Uh, 
because it'll give her she can use a reaction to board the ship. Okay, yeah. Uh, so and this is why I didn't make a map. Uh, too crazy to have all these tokens. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, and my and, and and my boy Louis Strong. Okay, yeah. Louis Strong hears the music and immediately perks up, grabs like a board of wood with a nail in it, which is close enough to his war pick. And like, <laughs> like hears the call of battle and begins to board the ship. And as he boards the ship. You know, in like in anime, they have like the shadow behind a character and like the the premonition sort of like bubbles kind of oozing off of uh, them. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. currently Lewis Strong with his head slipped down, and when he turns up, all the people like all the people who you've been fighting are just kind of like, ah, uh, Captain. So it's 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 like Sauron walking in on on the yeah. army. <laughs> oh, she. <laughs> oh, knocking away ten By of them. By the way, uh, with cast it to the fire. Uh, Doros has entered the scene. So with that, you guys receive uh, two auras. You gain uh, <clears throat> God. Jeez. you gain aura of protection. Okay. okay. So uh, you gain a bonus of I believe it's where's your fucking charisma modifier, Doros. One second. I love you, Doros. Minor characters. What the fuck is Doros? Ah, you tell us. I think oh, he's on there the he is. <laughs> there he is. Uh, you guys gain a plus three to saving throws. Ooh, all of them? All, anyone within 30 feet. So it's going to be Remy, Greckles, uh, and Borky at this point. Bless. Plus three. Uh, Panic's too far away, and, and Task is too far away. Uh, you guys also gain an aura of courage, which means you guys cannot be frightened as long as Doros is near you. Yay! I'm usually oh, like hell yeah. anyways. Having accomplished his dream. <laughs> Panic is going to run at this dude that has Meryl, and I say, I hope you ran track in school. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that ends your turn. Borky, it is now your turn. All right, so Let's I got go, this. Borky. So I got this fucking manacle on a headlock, right? Where's the main yeah, mast? You do. Where's the main mast? Uh, it's in front of you, and above it, maybe by like 20 feet, uh, Zotira is like trapped up above. Borky is going so that to. That is the main mast. Now, I am in a frenzied rage, as you want. Mm -hmm. That means I have an extra attack. You do. Now, you are grappling, so technically all your attacks will be with disadvantage. Really? What if I make my attacks reckless? Then it won't be. It'll be just straight rolls. Good, because Borky's going to run repeatedly into the main mast with the head <laughs> of the manacore. <laughs> ah! Borky just going to ram. Oh, my God. But okay. Me, I'm right now. <laughs> okay. Roll three unarmed attack. I might. I don't know if I have those currently in your. Oh God! What are unarmed? I don't it's, have that. It's your you, you. It's one d4 plus your strength modifier. One plus d... proficiency because he's got tavern brawler. Okay, so I got a lot oh, of numbers are thrown at me here. Okay. So... Okay. Okay. So so you so roll, roll. Have him roll a d20 and then tell him what to add. To I'm it. I'm I'm making it for him right now as okay. a command. In the, okay. In the... There you go. Oh, you are. Yeah. Right there. Borky's right like there just he's cinching it up it. nice and tight. Ah! Oh, Borky just runs right what? at the motherfucker. 25! Yeah! Damage. Roll damage. <laughs> okay. Six. Six. Jesus. You bash the manicure into the mass and it kind of wanes, like, kind of leans, like, uh, uh, and then ah. leans back. Roll your second attack. Or he just backs up and does it again. <laughs> but first, you know, succeed. Try! Oh, okay. 20. Uh, no, 15. That hits. 15. That hits, 15 hits. Eight. Eight. Jesus Christ. Plus rage, by the way, two. Plus rage on two of those, by the way. Oh, yeah, so that's an additional two. Yeah, okay. So eight and ten. Eighteen. Wow. And Borky, one more. Another. Yeah! Borky just runs with all his might. And that is 25. <laughs> wow. And another Damn. ten damage. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Christ. Yeah. Just like, like you grab the main, the head, the front part, main of the manticore, and you're just like, bam, 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 into the mass. And the manticore looks dizzy and it snarls. It is now its turn. It is going to <laughs> bite you. It's going to attempt to bite you. It is still grappled, technically. Uh, oh. That is styled. It's going to miss. That's going to miss. That's going to be an eight. Completely missed. It goes for a bite attack. And you just punch it in the mouth. And it's no. Like, oh. no. 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 Go for another one, that's a 19, and then that's going to be a 14 plus 
five. It's a 19 to hit you. <laughs> Bork. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, oh, that it hits, hits you. That absolutely hits you. Sorry. Yeah, that's going to be seven plus. I'm turnbuckling the motherfucker right now. Yes, you are. <laughs> One, two, three. No, wrong, wrong die. Sorry, wrong die. I used the wrong die. It's a D6. Uh, that's going to be a eight cut down to four as he slashes at you with his claws. Uh, and the last attack, he's going to go for a tail spike attack. Hey. Uh, towards Remy because your back is turned. Oh, no. Ow. Wait, isn't it at disadvantage as because at disadvantage he's grappled? It is. But it is a tail, so he can he can aim for Remy. But it's, I'm not going to balance it out. It's still going to be a disadvantage. Okay. Uh, ooh, that's an 18 for the first roll, and a natural 20 for the second roll. So it's an 18 plus five. So that's a, that's a 13. Or sorry, 23 to hit you. The 23 is going to hit me. All right. Uh, poison? There's no poison. Oh, okay. Uh, that is going to be five points of piercing damage right into your back as like this 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 barrage of porcupine spikes strike you in the back and you, you get you grunt forward. Uh, all right, and it is now the captain's turn. She is in front of you, Remy. Okay. Uh, locked in a duel. She is going to do a rapier attack. Ow! And she's gonna pull out a Bitch. dagger. Did oh. you not learn your lesson? How many times have we got to teach you, old man? 17. <laughs> uh, 17 would hit me, but uh, you are going to, uh, hear, or anybody on the deck is going to hear uh, Remy shout out, Clepum Valentia, and cast shield as a reaction. Okay. So that will put his AC at 18, so that will miss. Okay, that misses. Ooh. She, she like, scar snarls at you, and she swings again with a dagger in her off hand. So AC is 18. Uh, that is going to be 17 plus 6. It's going to be 23. So that will hit. All right. Dagger is going to be 1, 2, 4. Ah! 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 I got you. Uh, oh. That's going to be uh, 5 points of, of splashing damage okay. to you. And then she swings one more time with the rapier. Cool. Uh, that is going to miss. That is going to be a 10. Got it. Sweet. All right. The boys in the wings who are now extremely distracted. Only two are going to shoot towards you guys. One towards, actually, both are going to be towards you, Greckles. Uh, one guy in front of you pulls out a sword. Alrighty. And is going to go for you. It's a scimitar. It's I just... dropped a die. So I'm going to grab a new one. Well. All right. Uh, well, he rolled a natural one. Cool. Uh. Die. So I'm going to roll severity. <laughs> Greckles just uh, sticks his Minor down. severity. He just kind of trips over you and falls over. Uh, the second guy is going to fire at you with the crossbow uh that's going to be plus five be a 19 to hit you all right so that will hit but it activates your image so okay it says if you have three duplicates you must roll a six or higher to change the attack's target to a duplicate uh based okay. on a roll 20. yeah so i'm gonna roll a 20. uh that is a six so six or higher it's gonna hit the duplicate and it's gonna yep. roll to hit so uh that is an 11 plus uh, one, uh, 11 plus 3, so it's a 14. That actually misses. Really? Ooh. So, listen here. Oh, wait, yeah. Wait, a duplicate's AC... AC equals to 10 plus your dex mod, which is 15. Yeah, there All you right. go. All That's right. high dex for a mod. Oh, boy, yeah. All right. He swings and the, your form shifts over his blade. All right. It is now your ally's turn. Yay. <laughs> wait, they came in. Oh, wow. They're <laughs> They sneak right in after the enemies. Willow nice. is going to cast Fireball at the front of the ship. Oh! Oh, oh my oh, god. No! Well, well uh, uh, Mama, Mama, Mama Corbo has been training her good. She's about to cut off the rest of the of the people at the front of the ship who are running in to help reinforce. So all the people, I'm going to just do a group check for all the people running in. The 20 or so men in the front of the ship. Uh, they all fail. So that's gonna be eight d six. Guys, we need to take them with us sometimes. You ever just have like a DPS shredder? Cause that's what we got right now. Dude, we need to be like, hey Willow, do you want to come on an adventure? <laughs> uh, Willow just did thirty two damage. God. You, you joke, but I want to have a door that we can just bring with us Ooh. and open up, and then all of our fucking warriors come out of the door to fight the big bosses at the end. 
No, it's just the the door is just a portal to Willow's room. She just points her finger out, casts fireball, and then we shut the door. <laughs> you watch as a massive explosion explodes at the front. You see men just like ah! stream into the water and like fall across. Oh, like water world. Mass at the front cracks and begins to fall and psh, lands in the water on the side where Task and Arlo have fallen into. Uh, Task, as you're swimming down, you hear like you see in the reflection like a large like red explosion and you begin to hear as you see men crashing into the water doros doros grabs an inner tube and attempts to grapple a man with an inner tube uh that is going to be a 27 with his athletics he takes willow's inner tube and like grabs a man like puts it over a man and then kicks him off the side of the boat the guy with his arms hung like falls over the side <laughs> Uh, yeah, let me grab the rest of your employees because they're all contributing to this shit. Uh, Scarble's has... like, like Kiwi is like spinning around like like nunchuck style with the pieces of wood and are just like smacking people's ankles. Essentially, he uh, is a Dynasty Warriors character. It sounds like he watches Bell grabs a man and like elbows him, like brings him down and gives him the people's knee. Oh, nice. <laughs> Lewis Strong is like swinging that board of wood and like smacking people around. Dark Souls fat rolling. You watch as this one guy is like charging towards you, panic, and you watch as Scarbles goes, Wah! and like immediately hits him in the face, like a face crawler, and he's like, ah! Ah! like gripping the kind of your crown, and just like biting his face. Watch <laughs> out, Sule Ah, oh, wow, well, she's fine. <laughs> you watch as Nuragin comes and sweeps in and begins to cast a spell. Uh, he's casting Healing Word on you, Remy. Oh, bless. Uh, one of his Paladin spell slots, plus three. That's gonna be five. He heals you for five. I'll take it. You watch as Ty Borpington, like, front rolls on the ship and go, Let's go fishing! And casts out his fishing rod towards a guy who's, like, up in the crow's nest. And he's gonna make a... <laughs> I thought he was actually just gonna... Oh, I thought he was gonna work. For, for just a moment, I thought he actually just casted his line over the side of the ship while this is happening. Uh, he wins. He grabs the guy and pulls him out of the crow's nest, and the guy goes... Ah, it crashes right in front of uh, in front of you, Borky, where you're fighting the Manticore off. Nice hit, Mr. Borkington! And you watch this log comes on, and he's just like, Wow, this is great! He's like la, looking la, la. around, watching as the chaos is happening. Like skipping on, like, la, 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 la. <laughs> The captain Amazing. looks bewildered, like, what is happening right now? <laughs> All right, that brings us back to Remy. It is now your turn. All right. <laughs> So, uh, this lady is still in front of me. She's got a dagger and a rapier, you said? Yeah, she has a dagger and a rapier. Got it. I need to catch her attention. Uh, is anybody focusing on Zoltira, who is still struggling up in the crow's nest? No, and not at the okay. moment. She's kind of like, like she stopped struggling. Now she's like watching the absolute chaos of all these little, little two-legged mortals fighting and duking it out. Is there anyone of our allies with a quick glance that I can see that is not preoccupied? Uh, skinny. That's <laughs> uh, <laughs> sigh. Uh, all right, then making a more general. You there, let's try to help the dragon. And I'm gonna point up. Even All right. Even if you just tell somebody else to do it. Uh, she she gives you like a little swing, goes, I'll get it done in two shakes of the lamb's tail. Sure. Swing. All right. Uh, I'm gonna swing at the lady in front of me. Uh, that is gonna be a nat 20. Natural 20. Ooh. Very nice, roll your damage. Uh, it's gonna be, is that seven plus six? Yeah, 7 plus 6 is 13 points of damage. Cool. Oh, she staggers. Aw. Oh, okay. Uh, he's going to swing again. Okay. That's going to be a 17 to hit. Uh, that does hit. Okay. It's going to be 7 more damage. 7. You swing and you slash her against the front of her chest and she staggers. Okay. And then as a bonus action, I'm going to use my shield bash to try to knock her to the ground. All right. Uh, you're trying to do what, sorry? Oh, I was trying to knock her. To, it's going to miss anyway, but uh, I was a uh, nine. But, but I, Shield Master allows me to make, if I do an attack oh, yeah, action, yeah, yeah. I can try to knock her down, but that one's going to miss. Yeah, it's totally going to miss, unfortunately. Okay. And then I would like to action surge to take another turn. All right. <laughs> so here we go again. So miss with the sword or with the shield. So then he's going to come with a cross slash for a 20 to hit. That'll hit. All right. It's going to be a nine. Yep, that totally hits. Okay, how's you she looking? slice across her front, and she is unconscious on the ground. Uh, At cool. this point, the manacore roars in anger. 
okay. in Porky's grasp. It seems enraged now. Oh yeah. All right. Does she? So she doesn't seem dead. She seems unconscious. She is unconscious. Unless you want to kill her, she is unconscious. Uh, will you will. It's not like a cootie grab, but will you allow me to make sure that I knock her out so that she's alive but not dead? Like she's not gonna yeah. get back. Non-lethal. Up. Non-lethal. Yes. Non-lethal. Yeah. 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 So do I need to roll for that? No. You. This okay. attack. You just say so you want to. The secondary attack. I'm gonna knock her out, and then I'm gonna turn, and I'm gonna move behind the mana core so that it's now flanked, while Borky has it pinned or something. I, I don't All know. All right, you do not have that flank because Ty Porpington has pulled down a guy from the crow's nest who is currently like on the ground in front of Borky. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm at least going to turn to face the manacore hearing it scream and move over. All right. <sighs> it is now, Greckles, it is now your turn. All right, so who's in, who, who is within threatening space? Question, you have, did I even go? Yes, you're top of the round, buddy. You're top of the round, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I thought the round actually went to top. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. It's Greckle's turn, and then it's going to be allies, and then you. Okay. Okay. What about me? Right. Uh, I thought the, the allies went in between the enemies and me, though. They have two rounds because it's two oh, damn. allies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Sorry. I'll take you got, you, right. got, you got the rescue squad, and you got Skinny and Meryl. So oh, they're nice. two, two separate. All right, Grex, oh, you up. Different. Let's go. Yeah. All right, so who's in who who's within threat range? Uh, three dudes in front of you who are currently armed. One that missed you, one that I think hit almost hit one of your duplicates, and now another one has joined the fray and moved closer from the upper part of the deck. All right, so screw this. I'm actually gonna jump. I'm, I'm yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna jump off. Not do anything fancy that would require any crazy rolls, but just jump off and go after Arlo. All right, two of them are gonna attack some opportunity on you. Yep. The first one is going to be a nine. That misses. Which misses. The second one is a three, which hits a duplicate, I believe. Wait. Yeah, so are, you roll, are, you, wait, are you rolling to attack or? Yeah, I'm rolling to attack here. Oh, okay. wait, sorry. No, never mind. It misses. They both miss. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> no, nothing gets hit. You jump and you plunge in the water. The warm sea water fills your nostrils as you see Task nearby, deeper than you are, swimming towards Arlo. How far away is Arlo from me? Uh, Arlo from you is like maybe 60 feet, and this is swimming, so this is a bit more difficult. I want to do a cool thing if you will allow it. All right, what is your cool thing? Rule I'm cool! Going, I am going to cast Gust of Wind to propel myself down as fast Ooh. as possible. Ooh. Okay. I like that. Uh, I will allow that, yes. I'm going to say, click the spell for me. I did. It's there. Is it there? Oh, I was scrolled up looking That's at really well done, Gaijin. That's smart. I'm going to say there's going to be resistance, so it's going to be fine. half of it. So That's you move fine. 30 feet suddenly. You just launch 30 feet forward. At this point, you are you are side by side with Task at this point. All right. All right. Just water jetting away. <laughs> it is now the ally's turn. Uh, Meryl is unconscious, but it is subdued damage, so she does not have to roll death saving throws. Skinny is going to use her feline agility to run really fast and leap up in the air, which actually is pretty terrifying uh, to you, Remy and Borky, as yeah. you watch Skinny just just launch herself into the air. And she lands next to Zotira, kind of pulls out one of her claws and begins to start to cut the rope. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go teamwork, baby. Uh, Task, it is now your turn. You are under. I don't even know who that is, but I like her. She's the, uh, she's the naked tabaxi uh, waitress. Oh, no, above game, I know. Remy ain't never met this woman before. <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, uh, Taz. If, well, if, if you want to grab onto me, I would not... I, I, I wouldn't push against it, because I'm just jetting right next to you. Would I be able to reach Arlo or no? Uh, I would say you can roll an athletics check to see how close you can get. Yeah, at this point, I'm pretty useless outside of that, so I'll give it a go. Right. Oh. Fuck! Normal rate, so if you got higher, it would make you go faster, but you are just, like, swimming, and you're not really used to swimming at all. Like, this is really outside of your comfort zone at the moment, but yeah. you are, like, using your tail to kind of propel yourself. You're almost like, whoa, that's really weird that that's how that works. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, you're keeping pace with as Arlo is sinking. Uh, you do go past a little bit past Greckles, but he is within arm's reach of you. As you, I'm assuming you're gonna take the dash action, or are you gonna just do an action? Uh, I mean, it makes it, dash is smart because at least then you'll get more movement if you're trying to get to him. Yeah, he's about 20 feet away from you going down. All right, dash action to get on top of him. Okay, roll another athletics check to see if you get a bonus. Come on, baby. Okay, five. 
you are able to get to him. You grab onto him and, and you feel yourself being pulled. You feel like the speed of the sinking and you feel like the water is getting colder. You see now as giant fish swim past. As you look up, you see a shark kind of swimming past. Doesn't seem too bothered by you. It's just like, oh, hey, and just keeps going. But it makes your heart choke you're, you're, for a second. You're cold-blooded, so you, uh, you, you, you don't want to be down there. No. All right, but you have caught up to Arlo. That brings us around to Panic. Panic, you are chasing down this man inside oh, of the get cabin. Him, get him. He was, he was the lazy kid in gym class. Get him. <laughs> Connor? I'm thinking. Okay. He's thinking really hard. <laughs> uh, for my action, I'd like to cast Thaumaturgy on my voice. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. And Connor's going to do something crazy. I'm going to scream at him. I'm going to say, you hand me that girl right now, or if there isn't a force on this world that will fix what I do to you. Roll an intimidation check. Oh, 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 oh. 18? Oh, 18. Oh. Come on. 20 on the other side. Come on. Come on. Plus. Is it a, it's wisdom, yeah. Uh, 16. Wisdom. They run faster because they're scared of you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Curses, but you played yourself. But if you yourself. use your movement action, you manage to catch up to them. Oh, please tell me you have a bonus that you could do to him. I Let's just, see. I, can I, uh, I don't really have a, I don't really have anything I can do with my bonus action to him. I'll just. <laughs> I'll, I'll, for my, for my bonus action, I'll place a hand on his shoulder. I'll lean up to him and I'll. Scream in his ear. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll clasp my hand on his shoulder. I'll reach up and I'll lick his cheek. Oh, God! And I'll be like, this taste is the taste of someone who didn't do very well in gym. <laughs> Random monsters calling member. You realize now as you lick the face, it's not a man, it's a woman. Oh no! <laughs> Even better. No! <laughs> it's much worse. <laughs> All right, Borky, you're on deck. It is now your turn. You are fighting a manticore who is really fighting you now. Oh, really? He is? Yeah. Now he's actually pissed, yeah. All right, Borky. Get him, Borky. <laughs> Borky drags him. Walk and brawl. Walk and brawl. Borky has him in a headlock, takes him away from the main mast. Tell me, where is that propeller on our ship that just hit us? Uh, it is, uh, towards the opposite side of where Task and Greckles went up, so the, what would, if you were looking at the front of the ship, it would be the right side. Could I get there within 20 feet? Yes, there's actually not that many people over on that side. Oh, uh, Borky my goodness. walks him over to the- Technically speaking, you cannot, your, your grapple, your speed becomes zero when you grapple something, but I'm gonna say, so nobody else can get opportunity attacks, I will let you do this. Borky? Yells out as he's walking him as a bonus action. Eggy! Kick it into high gear! And Borky? You watch as Iggy turns to Taurus and goes, Go overdrive. And Taurus just, <laughs> but like starts going really fast on the hamster wheel. <laughs> and Borky starts yeah. pushing the face of the manicore into the, into the actual runner spinning. Okay, I'm going to say for this one, it's going to be contesting uh, athletics checks. I see it's you have advantage. And in the rage, the manticore also has advantage. We both have advantage? Yeah, because yep. he's in rage, because his master oh, just well. went down. Come on. Ah! Sorry, I made this a lot harder for you. Ooh, 25. Uh, he got a 16. Yeah! You grab the manticore, you shove his face, and the rider's like, bang, 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 start hitting him. Uh, I'm going to say for this, uh, I'm going to say for this, roll um, 3d10. <laughs> Roll 3d10. Rotor damage. Yeah, roll 3d10 plus your strength modifier. 3d10 plus four. Your strength modifier. Uh, and your rage, which is going to be plus two, so it's going to be uh, plus, plus six. six. So, yeah. And here we go. And that oh, is God. 30 damage. <laughs> oh, holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. You ever seen a motherfucker use a steamboat as a weapon? <laughs> You see now his teeth are flying up into the air like little streamers or confetti. Hair is flying. 
The Manticore roars and turns around. He is going to, uh, he's going to attempt to uh, attack you, Borky. Actually, he's going to do a contesting strength check to pull you into the some, rotors. Oh this shit! This is John Wick shit right here. <laughs> uh, I need you to roll another athletics check. Oh shit! Ah, okay. uh, twenty-four. Nineteen plus three is twenty-two. Ooh. He pulls you close. I'm gonna say for this, the damage is reduced. Okay. Ah! And oh shit! Ten. Ah! Ah, oh, beans! Ah! Uh, <laughs> ah! Twelve points. You take twelve points of bludgeoning damage, cut down in half to six. As you are pulled in, you're getting banged by the rotors. As you're getting banged by the rotors, Tarisk slows down and sticks Shilly. Just like, oh, ooh, time to slow down. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta agree with the chat. This is now Peter Griffin versus the chicken, and I want oh you all. Oh my god, it is! <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Alrighty, uh, the enemy's turn. Uh, panic. The member yes. that you are currently chasing. Uh huh. Pulls out a scimitar. <laughs> okay. Uh, and it puts a puts a blade to Meryl's throat and turns. He goes, "If you let me off the shit, I'll let her go." Let her go first, and I'll Ooh. let you go. Ooh. If you kill her, Your... I kill you. Your word. <laughs> On my honor. Oh. All right, are you telling the truth? You don't yes, have I'm telling that. the truth. Oh, I, I was so ready for you to be like, I have no honor. Bang! Even though I have a higher <laughs> deception score. Roll persuasion, then. Uh... Ooh. Okay. 25. Yeah. 17 for them. They shove Meryl towards you and immediately run into what looks like there is um, some dinghy boats, and they jump and dive into a dinghy boat through a portcullis. Tell Lobo if he ever fucks with the Unexpectables again, he's next. You hear a splashing noise. All right. That is their turn, and then the enemy's turn. Uh, Remy, the guy yeah. who was pulled off the, the, the crow's nest, kind of shakes his head and goes, ah, in front of you, and he's going to pull out a scimitar. Oh, get... <laughs> Pulls out a fucking you're sickle. Tanking. You're tanking, buddy. Uh, 16 to hit. Ah, uh, Remy is once again gonna call out with his reaction, Clipeum Valencia, and knock his blade away. <laughs> no, you're not. Punch drunk. So that's an 18 is his AC. All right, that doesn't hit then. Uh, Remy's just gonna sigh at him and shake his head. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think what's gonna happen here. Um, one of the guys is gonna attack Doros. Oh, good oh, luck. Oh, Why, are you Batman. dumb? Uh, he hits. No. Doris is not wearing, bad idea. Uh, Doris is not wearing armor. <laughs> I just imagine Meryl's like on a baby harness, <laughs> run, run, like on his chest. Willow, you mean? Yeah, yeah Willow. Willow. <laughs> yeah, sure. She's on his shoulders. I'm gonna say. Oh, I know. It's just, it's just funny. Is she master you watch... mastering with with him on his shoulders. That's fucking yeah. rad. You watch as someone comes up and they hit Doros, and like Doros turns and looks towards him, and the guy's just like. <laughs> Uh, and you watch as Doris reaches into his pocket and lifts up the Avon clergy, like, like, officer badge. And the guy just kind of drops the blade. And one more is going to, he's going to blindly shoot towards you, Greckles, as you dove him down. Uh, that's going to miss. And oh, the second I'm, I'm 30 one, feet in the wall. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. They can shoot. They have range. They shoot, but it's water, so it's a disadvantage. Okay. They're going to shoot saying. again. Uh, that is going to be plus two. That's gonna be a thirteen. Uh, sorry, a plus three. So that's gonna be a sixteen to hit you. All right, I still have three dupes, so that's okay. uh, d twenty. D twenty higher than six. Uh, Eleven. Yep, it, it hits. Uh, sixteen. So that kills one of my dupes. So I've got two now. He watches one of the guys like turns. And goes, I got him, and they high five. And then a log <laughs> hits the surface. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'll walk hit the surface. It's great. Yes. yes, yes. Oh, can we make that a thing, please? Yes, absolutely. I'll oh, hit thank the you, Monty. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's that was Zito. Zito. Thank you, like Zito. That. You're amazing. Well done, Chris. Bless that up, Chris. Really Bless That's up. Really fucking good. Alrighty, it is your ally's turn now. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Who is Doro's gonna turn into paste? 
Uh, Doros is gonna punch the guy who just hit him with a chair. Doros is just kicking guys off. Just with and what, he's like... gonna smite as well if he hits. Uh, that is going to be plus... Yeah, oh yeah, that's gonna hit. That's a 14 plus God knows what else. Oh, thank uh, you. Good night, sweet prince. No, he uh, flicks him with a finger. <laughs> he just flicks him off the side of the deck. You think Doros is cheap? <clears throat> Why are you not giving me... Oh, it's already up. Sorry, my bad. Uh, let's see. What is he? What spell levels does he have? Yeah, third level. Fuck it. Third level uh, smite. Oh. Uh, that's gonna be... I should remember this. Smite is a D8. Yes. So it's it, a D8 I... plus three, I believe, right? I don't have it written down here. Uh, this is for a paladin? Is this branding smite? Uh, it is just his normal smite. Uh, it is... Though? He is a Hang devotion on. paladin, it's, I believe. It's some, something for spell level, correct? Yeah, it's, you do damage based off the of spell level. I'm just going to check chat, because I do actually uh, have chat. No, so it's, 3d8, it's, 3d8. Everyone's saying 3d8, so I believe them, because I don't have a reference at the yeah, moment. Yeah, it's, so it's an extra. It's an extra, so it's 2d8 for the first level, and then a d8 afterwards. So I think it's 4d8, because you're at level 3. So that's initially with the unarmed attack, that's going to be 6 points of strength damage as he decks the guy in the face. And that's oh. going to be 3d8, that's going to be 6. Uh, four, ten, and then eight. That's eighteen plus, uh, eighteen plus the initial six. So that's going to be twenty-four. Yeah, the guy is just eviscerated. He like he does like the anime thing where he flies back, like standing up and crashes into a wall and falls down backwards. Doris just lifts up his knuckle and just whoosh, blows on his knuckle. Badass. Nice. Helga enters the scene now. Oh! Okay, just now, nice. here's the thing. How does she enter with a slight, like, kind of like a Fist of the North Star style aura going yeah. on? Yeah. Like... Yeah. She grabs a guy. She's going to grapple check with him. Rip and tear starts playing in the oh, background. Oh, yeah. She rolled a 19. The guy rolled a 1. She grabs the guy by the legs and swings him like a bat at another guy. <laughs> Get him, <laughs> hit a motherfucker with another motherfucker. She hits as an improvised weapon. Uh, that's going to be plus your strength modifier, which I believe is plus four to me. Eight. Eight points of damage as you hit some motherfucker with another motherfucker. <laughs> uh, and she's going to do a flurry of blows as she's going to throw the other guy into a wall. Uh, she keeps rolling 17s. Yay. She flings the other guy into, like, the, the side of the mask. You just hear a snapping noise as he falls down. And he oh. takes a really solid piece of damage. He falls flat on his face. Uh, I'm gonna say now Log steps into the center of like the fight. Like it's just kind of like walking around, just like da 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 da. And like he watches as one guy like pulls a knife and like runs towards Borky. And Log like time kind of slows down for Log. And Log's like, wait a second, that's illegal. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> And Log is going to do a max level Guiding Bolt. Oh, <laughs> oh. Wait, that's now, illegal. what do you mean by max level, Monty? Yes. Yeah, I was just going to ask, what is max Elaborate. level mean? I really hope you say subdue damage after this. I think it's going to be nine. <laughs> nine oh, level? What? Isn't that the ninth level? Ninth level? Ninth you're, about to, level. You're, about to hit, you're about to blast. This, er, this man is fucking just like erased from this <laughs> world. That's just this. And he doesn't even have to go this to the next world. world. This is how Cell died yeah. at the end of the Cell no, games. No. You're literally or... going to kill his ancestors. Oriara comes in with a giant fist and just erases I him. hope he hit. So that's going to be 46 plus 96 oh! as well. <gasps> what? If he hits. If he hits. Okay. But it's log, so he's probably going to fucking hit. Uh, yes, that absolutely hits. That's a 15 plus. You don't even know how to know what the number is. No, uh, I actually really do, but you can't tell, tell us. Across to the guy's forehead. Four plus nine is thirteen. Fuck. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna for fun. I'm gonna do this on on the stream. I'm gonna do this really quick. Uh huh. Be... You, you know, I, I imagine his eyes just turn red like Gur. Yeah. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Monty's just showing off now. Shut bang. Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow, and that's a low roll. Three ones, huh? That's yeah. a really low roll. You watch as, like, Log goes, wait a second, that's illegal. And then this giant, like, bazooka blast erupts from his finger, and he goes, 
<laughs> as he like flies through the air due to the recoil. <laughs> and blasts the goo you know, like in Smash Brothers, the trailer where like the beam of oh, light well, eviscerates them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. That happens. The exact well, same fun, sound effect. He just he day starred him. <laughs> yeah. He just whoosh, disappears, and Borky, you turn around, and you don't see anything. You're like, huh? Uh -huh. And you go back to fighting the Manticore. All right. Well, I'll just cast a Daybreak. Uh, it is now. Uh, where do we leave off? Uh, it yeah. is Fucking now Remy's it. turn. Remy, it is oh. now your turn. Uh, I'm still next to the corpse of the person running this ship, right? Yeah. No, you've you've moved towards the mast. Okay, got it. So there's this there's, dude in front of me. There's a guy in front of you. Yes. I guess I'm hitting crony dude because he doesn't know how to listen. Uh, right. I'm gonna hit him with a long sword, maybe 11. Uh, that misses, unfortunately. Curses. I'm gonna hit him one more time for a nat one. Hooray! Nat one. That also misses, unfortunately. Curses. Uh, I'm gonna roll severity. Okay. Uh, not severity, you just miss him. Roll of three. Cool, and then, uh, because I can, I'm gonna attempt to knock him down with my shield as a bonus action. All right. And that's gonna be a 12. That hits him. Thank you. So he is now prone. By the way, anyone who's asking, I didn't state it, but once the captain went down, any invisibility effect on these guys is gone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so he's on the ground, and Remy is going to narratively put the, the sword at his throat. <gasps> Attention, Cretans! Your leader is down! Put down your weapons, or you will perish! I'll kill you! Oh. I'll kill you dead! Says Kiwis, he's got a man in a headlock. <laughs> <laughs> Roll an intimidation with advantage. God, the uh, bloodlust on this boy. Intimidation with advantage. Oh, goody, it's a charisma check, guys. Here goes. Eight. Eight. Ooh. The other was a seven. All right. They're still fighting. What's Son good about Kiwi is that every time he talks, I just imagine he jiggles and gyrates. So it's just like, <laughs> he's in constant movement no matter what the fuck he does. If he blinks, he wiggles. <laughs> Pretty accurate. All right. <laughs> Greckles, it is now your turn. All right. I'm still jetting. Yep. So roll it. You'll have to use another spell slot to do Gust of Wind. That continues for a solid minute. Oh, does it? Oh yeah. my god. I'm jetting. <laughs> motor mode. He's a motor mode. <laughs> so I'm, if I can if I can reach him in 30 feet, yeah. I've, I've got you all in, my... You in, you in task at this point have reached Arlo. All right. I've got all my, I've got all my stuff. So I'm immediately going to slip on the pennant that I have over his neck and attempt to get all the chains and ropes off him. All right. As you put it on... Uh, you watch as his form kind of like glows and coalesces and you see like the Arlo you know with his hair completely tasseled mm -hmm. um, and he is like looking like close to unconsciousness at the moment. Uh, can I get all the restraints off of him? Uh, he slips out of it because now he's a human. So he just slips yeah, out so of all like of them. It, that makes sense. He all shrinks right. down essentially. All right. Um... Get him to the surface. I was about to yeah. say, I want to grab, so hang on a second. Let me let me double check something, so I want to make sure I can do this right. Um, do, 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 do. Ooh, I'm trying nice. to figure out how to redirect. Two feet movement, one foot every cast. Paper. As a bonus right action, through. as a bonus action on uh, on each of your turns before the spell ends, you can change the direction in which the line blasts for you. I want to yeah. grab him and Task and redirect it underneath me and zip back up. All right, it's with two go. people now. There's going to be halved again, so you're going to go fine. a bit slower now. That's no, it's fine. 15, it's 15 extra feet. 15 so plus your your speed. Yeah. So yeah. So 15 plus speed? 55. Yeah. No, so it's 15 plus whatever your normal speed would be. Well, your normal which speed is, would be. Which is 40, so 55. Yeah, Correct. so you begin to <laughs> go up towards the surface. <laughs> all right, that that's, that's, all, that's all I can do. All right. I'm going to I'm gonna pee really quick because we got a lot of people going through. And I can't yeah, no it. worries. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Sorry. It, is, it is now your uh, – actually, Gaijin oh, – we'll wait for him to get back. He might want to come back for this next part. Gaijin! <laughs> Curses. All Don't right. Worry, he's a speed peer. He'll be back in like four seconds. Monty, One, why you harm me with two, crew? three – Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I I, I, I can quote because uh, I've seen it. He actually has to 14. hold on to like things because he pees so quickly it'll shoot him off into the air. What are you talking about? <laughs> Someone actually in the previous episode timed how long it took for him to go to the bathroom. It was forty-two seconds. That's amazing. <laughs> That's actually not that slow. Like, it's pretty quick. That's really impressive. <laughs> like, All right, okay. I guess it's going on my search history. All right, uh, Google. 
fastest pee. Guinness World, Guinness World Book of Records. No, do it right. Oh. Alexa, what's the fastest pee of all time? There we go. <laughs> Have fun, everybody. <laughs> Alexa, play Despacito. Play Ale Despacito. Alexa, please subscribe to Zito. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Four. Jesus Christ, what was the time on that? Yeah, what was the time on that? <laughs> we timed you again, Gaijin, but we all lost track of what the timing is. Oh, I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> we care. Hey, fuck all of you. The all right, what's happening? You guys, you guys continued, yeah, didn't you? No, we seconds. waited for you. Oh, oh, well, I appreciate it, guys. I told you to go ahead. I'd be okay. Well, no, she wanted you to be here for this. I want okay, you to be sorry. here for this. Sorry, sorry. Okay, well, I'm here. <laughs> you watch as Hostrad, who's been hiding this entire battle, comes out. Oh god. Oh, oh. And he stands and he goes, Listen up, you motherfuckers! And everyone turns and looks. Lay down your arms and you'll be eaten by snakes! And he rips up his shirt and like, a eruption of snakes pours out. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. Ah, so he's the charisma character. Damn ah. got, a got a natural 20. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. On and we're just gonna, we're just really gonna pretend handy. that it was Remy, right? On it was Remy. Remy yielding amounts of snakes. Oh, yeah, it's just like an eruption of snakes. And one of the guys goes, I've had enough of these snakes on this goddamn boat! <laughs> oh my God. Damn it, Monty! One of his own men and kills him, point, right? <laughs> at this point, all the men just throw down their weapons and throw up their arms. The Manticore, bang, 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 no, bang, no. bang, bang, Say bang, bang, bang. Say uncle! Say uncle! Never! Say it! <laughs> Roll another uh, athletics check with advantage, Borky. Ah, 25! Uh, yeah, definitely. Roll another 3d10 plus your strength. Starts slurring. He's like, I'll never say Plus four. And that is 23 points 23. of damage. <laughs> yeah. He's out, you hold it there, bang, 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 you throw the manticore on the ground, he slides across the deck of the ship, unconscious. <laughs> Didn't let go of you once. <laughs> is that Working the end of initiative, away. Monty? That is end of initiative. You watch now as you throw it, run over the side of the deck, you see Arlo, Tass, and Grekel surface. <gasps> Rem Remy's know, gonna offer a hand to help them up onto the freaking boat. Yeah, yeah you throw them down there. a rope. There's a rope ladder that's kind of tied up on the edge. That'll work. You bring him up. At this point, Willow, Willow on Doros' shoulders yells out, You are all under arrest! Sorry. Uh, I asked you to put your hands up, if you don't mind. Uh, and we will be taking your information, if you have it on you. And your booze. Doros, like, points towards you, panic, like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's Is not that breathing. Loose. And as you guys begin to tie up the various, uh... I'm making various... sure the lady's tied up. Yeah, you tie her up, she is out like a light. The manticore is out like a light. And you, you, you do like a hog tie for the manticore. Mm -hmm. All four of his legs and his scorpion tail are all attached together. Excellent. You guys... Long. Utilizing uh, Ty's sailor expertise with Iggy's little tugboat, manned by Scarbles and Tarisk. Make your way into shore along with the things you brought with you. All the way back to Alavast. And that is where we're going to end the 100th episode. Woo! Hey! Monty, Fantastic. what oh an God. amazing you know, battle. I, that I was... had some... I, I had some... I had some reservations about the beach episode concept, but I got to say... That was a lot of fun. It was so that good. Was so good. <laughs> I'm so happy. Bye, wait, Austin. Wait, wait, wait. Before Bye, we Austin. sign out, before we sign out completely. Well, yeah. Before we sign out, Taz yeah. takes his crossbow and shoots Lady in the face. That's <laughs> 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 just a passed out body. Yeah, yeah, no, no. She, and she, wakes, also... and she wakes, starts waking up. It's like, what, what happened? Taz takes his crossbow and shoots her in the face. I would also like to do something. Uh, yeah. Because Prestidigitation doesn't, Prestidigitation doesn't have a, uh, a size limit for this specific effect. I'm going okay. to press that you take the, the sails of their ship to say, uh, <laughs> we, the unexpectables, have triumphed over the monster's calling yet again. <laughs> Suck it, Lobo Slackjaw. Eat it, the sweet dragon, Alabaster Lower General District. <laughs> more like Lobo. And when he was doing that, Morky goes more like Lobo Suckjaw. 
<laughs> yeah. Got him. Got him. Good. Bang. Where's Log? Log's at the front of the ship, like on like there's like a like a mermaid, like you know, like uh, what's it called? He's an emblem. Yeah, he's like hanging, like sitting on top of her head, like. Wee. Is that fun? <laughs> oh my god. All right, bye Austin. Bye Austin. Bye Austin. Bye Austin. Bye Austin. Well, we gotta immediately oh start. God. We gotta. That was so much fun. Monty, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at, at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can also find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, you can find me uh, on Wednesday. We're doing Unexpectables episode 101. Yay. It's going to be a big one. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys are there for it. It should be very interesting. Um, and you can also find me Thursday at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. I'll be playing Skies of Arcadia. Uh, episode 7, I believe, and then on Sunday, it's gonna be something. I'm not sure what, but it's gonna be something. Mm. Be hey, Bosco, where can they find you? They can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter, and then right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco, my name. Mm. That's what's up. Awesome. Hey, Zito, wh where can they find you? Oh, I mean, like, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Zito, where th this week's gonna be chock full of shit, so... If I do stream, it'll be a grab bag of many things. Awesome, dude. Hey, Goomba, where can they find you? You guys can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Gaijin Goomba. I've been playing some Borderlands 2, maiming my friends, because, you know, that's always fun. Uh, probably going to be picking up Link's Awakening when it comes out. But please check out my YouTube, which is also named Gaijin Goomba. I am doing an 18-minute long video talking about the origin of Nezuko from <sighs> Demon Slayer. I have poured so much into this. Please check it out. If you like Demon Slayer, you will not be disappointed. Woo! Hey, Connor, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at Snake. They can find me on Twitch at Distortion Devil, where tomorrow at 3 o'clock Central Standard Time, we're going to be having R.I.W. Roll Initiative Wrestling, my D&D-themed WWE 2K19 show. Uh, Friday is going to be Friday Funhouse. Uh, we're going to get to some good old boys together. I'm going to get drunk, and we're going to play some party games like Jackbox Party Pack and Tabletop Simulator. Saturday, uh, it's going to be a bit delayed because we're doing some stuff for the crew. Uh, but after that, it will be The Witcher 3. We just started Hearts of Stone, the DLC, the first DLC. And Sunday is going to be more 5e character creation, pushing characters to the limits. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find out what is the minimum level you need to learn every language. Mm. Awesome, and you can find me right here, and tomorrow we got Multiverse Nexus Wrestling, the semifinals of our trios tournament, and of course, the hat debacle intensifies. What will happen next, we'll find out, because in November we're gonna be doing a charity event. I'll be getting more information out as it becomes, like, I feel like I can say it and commit to it there. But yeah, it'll be in November. Yeah. But thank now, you so much. Also just- Before okay, we- I'm... Oh, I got it. Okay. We all want to say ahead, something Kurt. at the same time. I got a lot of bits I'd like to get through. Do you want to do that before or after what we want to do? I'd like to end on a note, if that's okay. Just so for can the I sake get... of leading into the next episode. So uh, it, okay. whatever Bosco... What I just wanted mean? to say a quick MNW thing because you reminded me. Oh. Since I can just piggyback on that. Uh, there will be an announcement coming up on Friday about the first ever Flashbang pay-per-view and the world title and what's going down with that. So there's an announcement. Got to tune in to find out what it is, though. Okay. Done. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, do you want me to get through all the bits before you do your announcement, Nadine? Yes. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of people with sub. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, TMS King 08, as well. The Talbs gifting 10 subs to the community. Thank you so much to the Talbs for 10 subs being gifted. It's very kind. Uh, I want to thank everyone else. Uh, Ice Booth. Uh, woo, woo to episode 100. Thank you so much. And also, real quick here, Biochem Knight. Thank you for the 100 bits. Hey, guys, I've been my stitcher for the first half of this stream. Here's to the 100 episodes and 100 more. Thank you for the 1,000 bits, Biochem Knight. Zane, 250,000 bits. Monty, you're the one who inspired me to be a DM. Thank you so much for all the content. Woo! And Last Fuffle with a 1,111 bits. I woke up this morning with a sore throat to immediately take a calculus test, but I think I did well. Unexpected was later today. Uh, made my day get progressively better. I'm loving the session so far. Well, thank you so much. Guys, thank you so much for the subs and bits. And Monty, please end us out here. I want to show you guys where you guys are picking up next week. Mm. I have finished a map, and we're going to talk about that after we close up the stream. But here Ooh. is your final... Battleground oh, for my. next week. Yowza, look at those hands. 
Oh man. Get these Those hands. are the hands of a working god. <laughs> That's a hand. Damn it, this is good. No, they're not. That is so cool. <laughs> Have you seen how fat he is? He's fat. So, I mean, oh he's man, fat. look at that. Yeah, I'll, I'll make him wake up. I'll make him Hold wake. on, look at all of those not. Look at all those not tanks in the front. Man, and now, now, now that you guys are like saying like he's so fat, I'm just like, I, and now I just imagine when he starts talking, he starts talking like burger side fat, like. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, that's where I think we the end before they make a mockery of Omelet Maw. No, we already made him a mockery when we called him Omelet Maw. Omelet Maw. I want wine with cheese and pepperoni. Uh, I, I want to say quickly, Ice Booth, a mean Bean Machine, Pop-Tart Depression, CG, Cramu. Thank you all for the bits and subs, guys. Really appreciate it. Pop-Tart Depression always gets me. I know, that name's so strong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ever, uh, is Zotira okay? The chat wants to know if Zotira's okay. Oh, yeah, she got out. Like, I'm assuming, like, I mean, I mean, Skinny was there. She was cutting her out, so she should be fine. Alrighty, folks, that is it from us here. Thank you so much for the hundred episodes that you've stuck around with us for. And, uh, well, we talk about an intense You're episode. 200 more. Well, let's, yeah, get, through, really, let's yeah. get through the Woo! next one. Let's, let's do it. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> All right, guys. Who should we raid? Who should we shake up? Uh, oh. Let's see. Uh, Octopimps uh, around. Official, Shinigami Jack, Eaters around. Jack the, the official Dungeons & Dragons, uh, the official Dungeons & Dragons uh, channel is streaming right now. We could go. We could yeah, go they're doing Actually, they're doing yeah. Average. Right now. Oh, they're doing Avarice? Fuck yeah. yeah. Who do I raid? Prop them up. Who do I, how do I, what's their name? DND. D D D D D three letters. Yeah. You cannot raid this channel. Raid D you can't raid those channels. What? Oh, really? It's unraidable. Uh, oh, really? Yes, yeah, oh. so you can turn off raids. Fine, Weird. fuck them. Who cares? Octopip it is. Uh, Damn it, Twitch. Octopip Why can't we give smaller channels a boost like that? We're going to raid Octopip because he's a good boy and we love him. Raid message. He said. He he sat through ten hours of Creeper All Man. Here's the here's the thing. You know what you guys gotta do? B movie. 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 Bambees if you got them.